Yo, what up? Let's restock my house. And be that girl while doing it. Cute place for toilet paper. I mean, come on. Scent beads. I'm putting my fruit in a sealed container this time. You guys said it would last longer, so I'm gonna try. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I never buy these. I just really wanted to. Do that. Wow. Flour. I always make the biggest mess. It's not even funny. Chunky Chips Ahoy, microwave them for 10 seconds. Look at this masterpiece. Beautiful. Capri Sun because I'm addicted. Cucumbers and grappas. Now I'm just restocking the lemons for my lemonade bar. Toilet wand refills. That's it for now. Next I gotta restock my beauty room and clean it because it's a mess. This is probably gonna take me hours, but I'm gonna try to make a glow-in-the-dark Starbucks cup. Tape in the cup so the glitter doesn't go everywhere. This is glow in the dark glitter. You can get it on Amazon or Michaels. Oh my god. I'm just gonna do the whole bottle because why not? Now I'm gonna make the snow globe mixture. It's one third cup Elmer's glue and two thirds cup of water. I'm just putting it in the squeeze bottle. Now we're gonna finna mix this up. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think I used too much glitter and everything clumped together. It's gonna take me hours to wash this out, so I'm gonna work on another one in the meantime. I'm just hoping this one doesn't clump because it's really cute. I sealed the hole with a cabinet bumper. You can get them at Target. I heard the best way to seal it is with resin. I don't know I'm doing I'm just gonna pour it on top <laughs> the resin takes a day to set let me show you the potential this cup has I'm gonna buy some more glitter to fix this so I will see you tomorrow let's restock the guest bathroom skincare first I'm putting it on this thing this is gonna be the shower bar Sol de Janeiro and Frenchie I think that's how you say it I don't know. next shop's gonna have Olaplex anyway last shop is kind of random yeah moving on found these drawers for under the sink extra hair stuff Stuff to shave with. Makeup, you never know. Lastly, dental stuff and more skincare. This is kind of how it's going to be laid out. Perfume in case they forgot. I'm also putting these bags here in case they want to take any minis. Lipstick deodorant. Tree hut scrub. Mini bath salts. How cute. Blue fuzz. And bath bombs. Let's ignore the no decorations. Or shower curtain. This looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. This looks amazing. Yo, what up? I've always wanted a boba bar, so I'm going to try and make one. It's also going to be a smoothie bar. I'm so excited. First, I'm filling the mini containers. We're about to get a funnel, so this is going to be really nice. Next, dragon fruit powder. R.I.P. to my Billie Eilish hoodie. I'm going to cry. Matcha. Acai berry powder. Chia seeds. And hemp seeds. These are going on the bottom. Time for the boba. I'm putting them in these containers. First, lychee. Taro. Black sugar. And golden tapioca. These are going up here. This looks so good. Now, I'm going to fill the bigger ones. I'm so excited for the honeydew mix. Taro. Strawberry. And honeydew. This smells so good. Last one's gonna have oats for the smoothies. Now I'm gonna fill this cute honey jar. Disco drink stirs on this side. That's pretty much it. It's so cute. Next, I'll try and make one. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make tang hulu. Yo, what up? I'm so excited for this one because I haven't tried it yet. And I can only do it with one hand because I haven't gone to the doctor yet. But I'm going tomorrow, so we'll see what he says. But let's see if I can do it. These are the fruits I'm going to use. And I also have skewers. I'm so excited. Got some help washing these. Look how pretty. Now we're going to dry them with paper towel -y. Pretty sure this was supposed to be the last step, but it's fine. Now we have a pop. One cup of sugar. You don't think I can do this, do you? The water goes first. What am I doing? <laughs> Two cups of water. One cup of sugar. Don't stir. This is on medium heat, and I'm using a candy thermometer, and I'm waiting till it gets to 300 degrees, which is the hard crack stage. I don't know if that's right, so I'm just winging it, but now I'm putting the fruit on the skewers. It didn't work! This time I'm doing one cup of sugar, half a cup of water. This is how you test it. It's supposed to be crunchy when you bite into it. It worked! Now you know how to make ton hulu. Let's try it. Put my hair up. Okay, here we go. What? Who put me in charge of snacks? My mom. My niece is turning two, and I have to be there in an hour. Post on the menu. Dolphin and friends, just wait for it. Drawing on the eyes. Grape goes in here. Now I'm gonna put the fruit on the tray. Same thing on this side. So cute. I'm gonna make the sea turtles. That's the process. Why am I shaking? It looks so bad. Hold on. You can see the toothpick, but it's fine. Next, the seashell watermelon. Using this to make the pearls. Now I'm gonna put them in. Okay, something easy. This is coral. We also have. Thank you, Pinterest. This is my favorite one. Now I'm making seaweed. My mom just called. I'm supposed to be there five minutes ago. Last one. Goldfish. Almost forgot the sea cucumber. Okay, that's about it. Everything is so cute. Get ready without me. Okay, I'll do my makeup there also. Okay, everything made it. So, what do you think of the snacks? Absolutely delicious. What up? I'm gonna try and decorate my entire house for fall. Starting with the DIYs, wish me luck. First doormat. This one should be easy. Draw my outline. This isn't working. Maybe I need more paint. Next, eyes. 
I'm trying to make it look like it's holding a pumpkin. Okay, I did it. Oh my- I'm DIYing my doormats from now on. This is so cute. Next, I'm making mini blanket ghosts. It'll make sense in a minute. Toothpicks first. So far, so good. Now, I'm gonna put these pieces of blanket on top. I made eyes. I have to glue them on. I'm also gluing these on. I found them at Target. It's gonna look like it's holding it. I put them on my stairs. These things are so cute. Little pumpkin. Oh my God. This will dry white. It's gonna be so cute. Next, I'm decorating my house with everything else. I'll see you in part two. Grab a mini watermelon. Wash it. Cut it in half long ways. Scrape out the watermelon, eat it, or save it for later. Now grab your favorite fruit. If you're using strawberries or kiwis, cut them in smaller pieces. Set that aside, grab a bowl. Okay, wait. Can we admire how aesthetic that looks? Wow. Add in two cups of room temp water, four packets of unflavored gelatin. If you want to, you can add in a half a cup of sugar. Whisk it together until it's dissolved. Now boil two cups of water. When it's done, pour it into the mixture. <laughs> bless you mix it slowly it should look like this once you've added in a handful of each fruit layer it with the mixture don't fill it with fruit all the way so that you can leave a layer of the mixture on top uh, don't mind my contraption but leave it in the fridge overnight i film my videos in real time and i'm tired so i will see you tomorrow morning i love you friend also i think i got gelatin in my belly but i don't know why i'm telling you that part two let's take it out of the fridge ah, i'm so excited so in part one, I told you to use four packets. I don't know why I said that. I meant four packets from two boxes. So eight total, don't forget. All right, I have my cutting board. I'm going to cut it straight in the middle. This is what it looks like cut in half. I'm going to cut it one more time. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. <laughs> I'm a little dramatic. Now you know how to make watermelon fruit slices. Let's try it. These are so cool. They're frozen in time. No, jelloed in time. Oh. Okay, here we go. What? What? This is so good! You know what? For me, it needs more sugar. Maybe put some vanilla extract in the mixture, but you need a little bit more of something sweet. But other than that, it's good. Mmm. So what is going on? Last night I had 3.1 million friends. Now I have 3.2 million friends. Oh my god! Hello, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, what up? Remember this mirror and how I thought I could carry it up the stairs myself? Well, now I need an MRI because my back has never been the same. Come with me to get my first MRI. I forgot I have to remove my forever jewelry, so... I'm so sad. My brother's taking me because I'm so claustrophobic. And they need to give me extra stuff so I'm not claustrophobic. We're in the waiting room. I get my own locker. And you're ready. We'll just have you come right over here. Okay, thank you. I'm scared. Apparently, I have to be in the room by myself. Just me and the MRI machine. I'm scared. My brother just said he wants to watch to see if I freak out or not. Can I stand right here? <laughs> That's messed up, man. It's my turn. I'm back. They give you like a squeeze emergency thing. I wanted to squeeze it so bad, but I didn't. So a win is a win. I'm going to treat myself to Target. Grab a pot. Add in two cups of sugar and a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup. Do not mix it. You're going to leave it like that. Set that aside and grab a cup of water. Add in some food coloring. I'm doing red because Valentine's Day is coming up. Mix it together until it's the color you want. And we're mixing. Yeah. Mixing until it's dissolved. Carefully add your food coloring water to the mixture. Okay, just just super careful. Just like that. Very slowly mix that together, maybe for like five seconds. Just like that. Now turn your stove on to medium heat. Place that on your stove. My stove is so dirty. And leave it there for five minutes. After five minutes, it'll look like this. You'll need a candy thermometer. You can get this at Target for like 10 bucks and you need to heat it to 269. After about every two minutes, take a damp brush. I don't have one, so I'm just using this and go around the sides so that crystals don't form. Once it gets there, take it off the heat and let it cool to 212. Pour that into a quart-sized container or a silicone mold. Let it sit for about three to four hours. I'll see you in part two. Part two, it's a little too hard. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds. In the meantime, grab a pan and fill it with cornstarch. Now hold the container upside down, squeeze the bottom of it, and try to get the puck out. It should end up looking like this. Now stick it in your cornstarch. Oh my god. Just toss it around in there until it's completely coated. Now form a donut shape and keep squeezing the edges. It's going to gradually get bigger. Your hands are probably going to hurt after this, but the end result is worth it. Also, if it gets way too hard, you can just pop it in the microwave for like five seconds. Once it's big enough, you're just going to make a figure eight and keep going. Got my driver's license last week. After a while, it'll look something like this. Yours will probably look better. And I you know how to make <laughs> make hand-pulled cotton candy or dragon's beard i messed up because i let it sit way too long i was supposed to wake up at 3 30 a.m to start pulling it and i accidentally woke up at eight o'clock <laughs> so don't let yours sit for nine hours and you should be fine let's try it anyway <laughs> i'm trying this again if you want to stick around for part three i'll see you oh my gosh part three let's hope i do it right this time i'm so determined okay i got my sugar corn syrup oh my gosh and oh 
colored water. And I remembered a teaspoon of vinegar this time. And we're mixing. Ah, okay, let's pour that in carefully. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there we go. Sorry, don't know why I'm breathing so heavy. I messed up again. I was supposed to <laughs> got distracted and let it get to 280 degrees instead of 269. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Good morning, everyone. Giving up is not an option. Colored water. Very carefully. I'm staying right here this time. It's gonna work. Okay, I formed the donut. I don't understand why it's hard in some spots. Oh, this is what I have so far. <laughs> this is the last time I'm doing this. I'll see you in part four. I need more sugar. Part four, I got more sugar because I ran out. I think I'm going to get it right this time. We'll see. We got the sugar. The f corn syrup. The colored water poured in very, <gasps> very carefully. Universe, look at me. I'm putting the sugar away because I'm not gonna have to do this again. A lot of you guys told me to use powdered sugar instead of cornstarch. This has both of them in it, so it's the best of both worlds. I don't even think I got it all figured out. I invested in a basting brush. Well, I have a good feeling about this one. Now you know how to make a giant lifesaver. It's finally working! Oh my god! Look at that! Oh my gosh! I'm so proud of myself right now. This is why you never give up, kids. This girl is on okay, here we go. Wow! Part two, I'm so excited. I have to take it all down because my light's broke. It's all over here now. Do I just leave it there and go to sleep? Yes, no, yes. I feel like I'm going to be here all night. Now I'm putting on the new ones. This looks so good. I'm gonna put the rope light up now. I'm doing the same paint drop thing like last time. I think that looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can finally put the cups back. This is gonna look so good. Finally, this looks so good. So this is with the lights on and the lights off. Next, I'm gonna finish decorating my room. I have to make nightstands. Anyways, I'll see you in that video. Part two, now I'm gonna unpack and organize the hotel room, starting with the shower. The shelf, so nice. First shampoo and conditioner. Body wash. Brought some sugar scrub. Hair mask, because why not? Razor and shave cream. Lastly, my silicone loofah. Now I'm gonna organize the sink. Face towels and makeup erasers will go here. Skincare is going on the side, too. Next, oral care, like toothbrush, toothpaste, and mouthwash. Putting this nail brush right here. Makeup right here, and my hair stuff is going right here. I'm actually putting all the makeup removing stuff down here. Body care, like lotion and sunscreen, is going right here. Last time I slept was the day before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. We're gonna pretend that looks good. Next, I put all my clothes in here. These are all my Coachella outfits, and I don't even want to show you out there because it's so bad, and I don't feel like unpacking it, so. Resetting my entire house part seven. Now I'm gonna restock the guest bathroom. The bathroom's really small, so I'm gonna put everything in these acrylic drawers and make a guest bath cart. On the first shelf, I'm doing shampoo and conditioner. A lot of few different kinds because I wanted them to have options, you know? Lastly, hair masks. Next shelf is gonna hold these cute mini razors. Oh my gosh. Shave cream. And body wash. Last shelf has bath fish, sugar cubes, and loofahs. I don't know. Almost forgot. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bobo. Now I'm gonna fill the drawers. This one's gonna be for skincare. Mini micellar water. Oh my. Is it micellar water? Cleanser. Serums and moisturizer. In the back, I'm doing face rollers, wax kits, mighty patches, and cleansing balls. Top ones for extra washcloths. This one's for hair. Got some extra brushes, bobby pins, and hair ties. This one's body slash hair, so I have some deodorant. Running out of time. Lotion. Olaplex. Dry shampoo. Chapstick. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. Mouthwash. Cloth. Also made a manicure bin. That's basically it. Next, I'm gonna try and organize my pantry. It's really bad, so I don't know if it's. Part two, I'm gonna fill these with dried fruit. First, strawberries, bananas, raspberries, blueberries, mango, and cherries. I'm gonna put them on these shelves I got off Amazon. I'm gonna put everything on my Amazon storefront, by the way. Anyways, let's fill these. This one's gonna have crushed Oreos. This one's gonna have chocolate chips. You can twist these and everything comes out so easy. That's why my favorite toppings are in them. Putting the chocolate and caramel drizzle up here. Put some tea down here. Now I'm gonna put the sprinkles in rainbow order. Oy gee, third, except that's pink. Lastly, I put these lollipops in this mushroom cup. Now let's make some soda and ice cream. This is my favorite thing I've ever made. Too bad I have to pack it up. And I have to pack my pantry because I got my keys to my new place. So, yeah. I'm going to try and make a Batgirl tote bag. I got this one at Cotton On. It's so cute. First, a hair clip. I'm going with this blue one. Sunscreen. Yeah. AirPods. I can't decide between this case or this one with a smiley face. So I'll just bring both. I don't even know where I'm going. Glossier or Glossier. I've never had this brand before, but hand cream. Now, some aesthetic rings. I chose these flower ones. Eventually, everything's supposed to match. So, I'm doing a pink smiley face necklace and angel number. Aesthetic lip products. We have chapstick, lip plump, lip oil, and lip gloss. Snacks. And just pretend I didn't just eat those. Sunglasses, but I can't decide. Do I match the sunscreen or the lip gloss? Hmm. I made paper ones. It's for the vision. Perfume matches the hair clip. Mascara that matches the ring. And 
cloud paint and gum and some bracelets and a scrunchie this plant putting all the makeup in this bag yes well if your carpet I was going somewhere with that but never mind anyways okay i think i did pretty good step a that girl sick routine Whoa. part three finally the pantry i'm gonna be here all night first i'm taking everything out and putting it on the counter thanks for watching bye just kidding i don't want to do this Okay, kind of. Now I'm gonna try and find all the expired stuff. I just found a mini pie and donut maker. Also, the sun's up now. <laughs> Gotta have these. Now I'm gonna check the can. There's so many crumbs. This expired in 2018. Ew. Oh my gosh, you guys, I finally did it. I'm gonna go pack my glow spot. Forgot I had this. It's a cherry toilet cleaner. Anyways. This is so sad. Well, I'm not crying. You are. See you in part four at the new place. I've never made boba before. I guess all I can do is try my best. Even if I fail, it should taste good, hopefully. First, I'm gonna boil the water. Now I'm adding the boba. I think I'll do that's a good amount. Hopefully, I don't need more. While that's boiling, I'm gonna make the drink. I don't have a shaker, so I'm gonna use this. I'm doing honeydew. This is gonna taste so good. That was creamer. Now I'm adding water. It also said to add hot water. I added ice. Now I'm gonna shake it. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna put this in the drink. It looks good. Hopefully, it tastes good. Okay, it's not bad. It could be better, but it tastes pretty good. Resetting my entire house, part six. This is so bad. Got new shelves, so first I gotta build those. Also, I just took everything down. It's so dusty. <laughs> Three days later, and the shelves are done. I get easily distracted. Now I'm putting up this rope plate. I'm trying to make it look like paint trips, but it keeps falling. I'm gonna have some patching to do when I leave. I didn't do it everywhere, by the way. It just did little dots here and there. Now I'm putting lights behind the shelves in a zigzag pattern. Um, what? Hold on. Okay, it's real. Time to put all the cups back. This is gonna take me forever. I should probably dust these. Okay, so I color coded everything. <laughs> Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bubba Bear. This is the best thing I've ever reset. It looks like a store. I could cry right now. Like when Next, I'm restocking the guest bathroom. Nobody's coming over, but I really want to do it. One more thing. This is what it looks like. This looks kind of cool, actually. Grab a bowl. Add in one cup of baking soda, half a cup of Epsom salt, half a cup of citric acid, and half a cup of cornstarch. Be careful. Don't drop it on yourself. Mix it all together. Set that aside and grab another bowl. Add in a half a teaspoon of water, two and a half teaspoons of fractionated coconut oil. I chose cucumber melon and I'm doing 10 drops. Mix that together and slowly add it into your dry mixture. If you add it in all at once, it'll cause a fizzing reaction and we don't want that yet. You'll know it's done when you can hold it in your hand without it breaking and this is what the texture should look like. I'm doing five colors, so I separated the mixture into five bowls. Now that the colors are separated, I'm going to put them in the silicone ice cube mold. Make sure you pack it down. Now stick it in your freezer for 10 minutes. Didn't want to wait for cloud mold, so I'm using seashells, unicorns, and rectangles. Pack in the first layer. Cubes were too big, so I just cut them in half and I'm lining them up like this. Now add your last layer. I hope this works. Stick it in your freezer for about an hour or two. Oh my gosh, it worked. The other ones failed. But these work. Here we go. It kind of works. <laughs> I'm addicted, y'all. I'm tired of seeing it and being the only person who hasn't tried it. At least that's what I feel like. Well, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? I have my fruit. Let's, let's try it. Lizzo had pomegranates in hers, and I could not find them anywhere, so I just made my own. I'm doing strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. I'm so excited. Time for the cocoa water. I don't really like coconut water, so this is going to be interesting. Can't forget the ice. Oh, okay, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> it tastes just how it looks. <laughs> but what if? We add a splash of almond milk. Let's try it. I don't know. I just wanted to try it. Don't do that. No, but honestly, I think my life has changed. I could literally eat this every morning. Yo, what up? We're going shopping for the 10 million follower giveaway. I already have a bunch of stuff, but we need more. I'll show you everything at the end, but seriously, guys, thank you so much for 10 million. Three years ago, I was celebrating one million. Three years is not a lot of time. Like, that's crazy. Love you guys. First, the Apple Store. I want to get you guys an iPad, maybe the purple. I went with the gray because I like it better. Now I'm at Ulta. Nice and hair dryer for sure. I want one of these so bad. It is. There. Got you guys the pink one instead. Where did I park? I lost my parking. Sephora. Okay, I'm back and I laid everything out. This is the highest value giveaway I've ever done. I've also never done two winners. I'm so excited. Winner number one is from here on. First, a Dyson hair dryer. I'm so jealous. Pink, I love it. And then this caboodle set. A bunch of my favorite hair care and this jewelry thing. White fox set so we can twist. Sol de Janeiro, a bunch of makeup. Hand sanitizer, P. Louise. You probably already know, but all of this is a mixture of PR and things I bought. This is what winner number two is getting. This is my personal favorite, a freaking iPad. So grateful I was able to buy this for you guys. I got the space gray. Moon, I love mine so much. Skincare, I love these masks. Body care, a bunch of makeup. Stony Clever patches, we can also twist. Love of my life, case to pop. And this jewelry thing. The rules to enter will be on my most recent post on my Instagram. Thank you again for 10 mil and good luck. I love it. Spring cleaning, even though it's not spring, the bathroom. I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the bathroom. Yay. 
every December, I like to declutter everything I have so I can have a fresh start for the New Year. So, what I'm basically saying is, this is going to be a series so that you can do this too. Yay! Woo! Whoa! Now that everything is out and the shower is rinsed, I'm going to start by scrubbing it. I can fly. To clean out this drawer, I'm putting everything in a separate bucket. I'm going to declutter this at the end. I did the same thing with the bottom drawer and under the sink. Now I'm just spraying the drawers and I'm going to wipe them down. Same thing with the counters. I'm going to let this sit and Windex the mirrors first. My mama hit me with a chicken wing. Okay, I'm tired of this hair. It's two in the morning. I work in four hours. Hi, it's the next day and I just got off of work. Next, I gotta clean the toilets. I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards because they're kind of gross. Lastly, I'm cleaning the floors with a Swiffer. Wow. Now that the bathroom's super clean, I'm gonna redecorate this with all the new winter stuff I bought, so I'm gonna go film that real quick. I'm also gonna show you how I organize these. Spring cleaning, even though it's not spring, the bathroom part two. Woo, it's time to decorate. I just picked out the ornaments I want to use. I'm gonna use what's left for a future DIY video. I chose the glitter ones. I'm putting hooks on them and setting them to the side. I'm just keeping the same shower curtain because I like that it's white and I'm hooking the ornaments onto the rings. As I'm putting these up, I realize I forgot to change out the hooks, so they're just gonna stay blue. I just hung this up. It is temporary. The one I actually ordered hasn't come yet. Oops, but I kind of like it. For the main towels, I decided to go with a dark gray. And then I got this hand towel set that has snowflakes on them. I just folded them over like that. I think it looks super cute. Cute. I made this glitter pine cone decoration. I'm putting that on top of the toilet. For the towel ring, I did white with a gray snowflake towel. At the top of the sink, I'm adding this candle, this frosted cranberry soap, and this lotion dispenser. I'm also going to try this toilet bowl light. I don't know how I feel about it, but here we go. Oh, that's cool. I've never had memory foam bath rugs. These were like five bucks at Home Goods, but I am obsessed now. Wow. Ah, I love the way this turned out. It is so cute. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in episode two. I'm doing it. I'm deep cleaning the laundry room. Viewer discretion advised. Hey, yeah. Oh, there we go. It's basically, it's pretty much, I obviously don't take care of it. First, I gotta get everything out of the laundry room. I'm gonna set everything on the table. Before I do that, I'm taking all the clothes out and putting them away. This is a cool angle. I feel like I'm on the show. So, uh, now that all of that is out, I'm starting to take things off the shelves. It's so dusty and dirty. Okay, so now I'm on my dryer and we're gonna use this multi-surface cleaner and I'm just gonna wipe everything down because we just got a letter. We just got a letter. I'm gonna clean the outsides of the washer and dryer. Well, let's see if I can get this. <laughs> and we're vacuuming, yeah! Somebody come get her. Wow, this is what it looks like so far. Here's everything I'm gonna use to decorate with. There's still a lot of work to do. I gotta fill the boxes and the jars with the detergent. So I will see you in part two. Deep cleaning my laundry room, part two. It's time for my favorite part, decorating! Okay, let me get down. First, I'm gonna fill these jars. In the first one, we're doing detergent. I'm gonna try to pour it all at once. Oh my gosh, cross your fingers for me. Oh yeah. The second one is going to hold the laundry booster. I cannot do laundry without this stuff. It makes my clothes smell so, so good. And this one is going to hold scent booster beads. There you go. I used about a fourth of a cup for each one of these, so I'm just going to stick this into the jar. I found this really cute jar for the laundry sanitizer, so I'm just going to pour that in. And I'm doing the same for the laundry softener. It kind of looks like milk. I got labels for each of these, so I'm just finishing up the last one. I got this bin. I thought it was perfect to put dryer sheets in. I also got one for kitchen towels. I'm putting these in order of how I use them. So excited! Don't know what I'm going to put there, but this one's going to hold my wallflowers. I added this rug, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Okay, let me tell you what I found. I went to Walmart! Walmart, yeah, Walmart! Um, they're already on the counter. I still want to eat, so we're going to pretend. Yay! We're going to make galaxy stuffed cookies, and I have a little stuff right here. I'm just a little concerned. I don't see any purple. Oh, well. ah, do not scroll. Do not scroll. Okay, let's come back over here. Ugh. Grab a bowl. You'll need two tablespoons of softened butter and two tablespoons of water. It says to add in the blue mix first. Whisk it until it looks like this, and I just transferred it to another plate. Do the same thing with the purple. Now freeze the dough for 20 minutes. <laughs> this is so messy. Roll them into logs like this, and then twist them together. They're going to end up looking like this. Okay, I cleaned up. It comes with chocolate. Cut the halves into halves, and then place them in the middle like that. Damn right. It's better than yours. Preheat your oven to 375. Preheat your oven. Cover the chocolate with the rest of the dough. Put them in your oven for about 12 minutes. I'll see you in part two, because I don't have any more time left, and it's already up, so yeah. Part two, grab a bowl. Put the rest of the chocolate into the bowl. Microwave the chocolate for about one minute. <laughs> I did not mean to slam that. Ten more seconds and those are <laughs> not looking good. I'm just going to take those out anyway. Grab your chocolate and drizzle it over, <laughs> over the cookies. 
Now sprinkle the pink sugar all over. I think I was pretty successful, kind of. I cut one in half so you can see what the middle looks like. It actually looks pretty good. Well, let's try them. <sighs> okay, here we go. Mm. I'm in love with the chocolate center. Mm. Wow, these are, these are freaking good. Day one of redecorating my bedroom. If you're wondering where I've been, I've been here eating chips, seaweed, going to Taco Bell. First, I gotta pick up because we are gonna be painting that wall. AKA throw everything in my closet. Oh. Ow. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Coming up and down. Just got done taping the outer parts of the window and the tops of the walls. Now I just gotta do the molding. That was way harder than it needed to be. Now I'm strolling out some cardboard paper to keep paint off my floors. Everything is now taped, it's time for the paint. I didn't know that this was just a liner. I didn't get a tray, so I just made a DIY one. I'm so excited to show you the color I chose. It's a lot darker in person, but it just looks so cool. I hope this works out. <gasps> oh, it looks First coat of the wall is done. Now I'm going in with a paintbrush and getting the corners. <laughs> the wall is done. There's so much more to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Day one of redecorating my filming room. Craig, we got this. We're gonna start off with the wall. I bought some new wallpaper off of Amazon. It's adhesive, so it'll stick right on. Just gonna move some out of the way. After removing everything off the wall, I went ahead and did a test patch, and it's gonna be so pretty. I started by laying the wallpaper on the floor and cut it at the end in hopes it would be the right size. That first part was so hard to do by myself, but I did it. First part down, I'm just gonna repeat the process. Roll it out and cut. This is so satisfying, by Next, I had to cut out little slits for the wall outlets, and I did a bad job, but oh well. Yay, I did it, you guys. It looks so good. Ooh, snap. I got this huge piece delivered today. I'm so excited to build it, so make sure you stick around for day two. Day two of redecorating my bedroom. The accent wall turned out so pretty, and I also painted around the door as well. Not the best paint job, but it's fixable. I haven't had a nightstand since I was eight years old. My stones. <sighs> Somebody to love. Whoa, that really made a difference. Oh my god. I went to Home Goods and I got these super cute lamps. Light bulb check. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. I love plants, but I can't take care of them, so I got a fake plant. My plan is to paint this one the same color as that one. But I'm too lazy, even though the paint is sitting right there. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the bedding. I ordered some new bedding, but it's not here yet. For now, we'll move on to this area. Ugh. Yay! Okay, now I don't know what to do here. There is so much more to do. You and I are going shopping tomorrow, so I'll see you soon. Redecorating my room, day three. This wall is so empty. So I go to Hobby Lobby and I see these. I really love them, but they're $89.99 and they say gather. <laughs> so I'm going to make them on my own for 20 bucks. I'm going to start this off with a matte black. Let's hope I don't mess this up because I only have one chance to do this. I mixed together this really pretty forest screen and I outlined where I wanted the wreath to be. Got a bit carried away because it's like two in the morning. Um, This is what I have so far. I'm adding more leaves so it doesn't look like a cartoon. I tried to outline the word cozy. Um, I think I ruined it, but we'll see. It's three in the morning and it's actually cute. I got this glow in the dark paint and I'm going to outline the word cozy. I'm going to let this dry and put on the second coat of glow in the dark paint tomorrow because it's not looking really good right now. <laughs> meantime let's decorate the nightstands this one says home and this one says love i got this garland at target i'm putting it by the tv <laughs> okay okay we're getting somewhere it's literally four in the morning i don't know what to do with this plant i named craig so i'll see you tomorrow well today after i go to sleep i'm doing it i'm decluttering and deep cleaning my bathroom especially this area I'm holding the phone with my forehead i'm trying to get the shower curtain off <laughs> so i can wash it <laughs> Everything in here is empty. I have been filling everything with water to make them last, so I'm just gonna throw those away. Now that everything is out, I'm gonna spray everything with this bathroom cleaner. I let that sit for a little bit. Now I'm gonna spray everything with the shower foam. Now I'm taking everything out of this cabinet so I can start wiping it down. It feels so refreshing to have everything gone. Now I'm gonna clean the sink. It's so echoey in here. Hurry and do the toilet really quick. I also did the drawers and the cabinets off camera. Now the bathroom is fully deep cleaned. I'm going to fill it back up with product. I'll see you in part two. I also bought new towels and bath rugs. I can't wait to show you. Deep cleaning my bathroom part two. It's time to put the product back in. The first shelf is going to hold shampoo and conditioner. I'm trying out this new brand. I've heard really good things about it and it smells amazing. It also comes with a body wash and lotion. I'm also going to try out this brand. I love their hair mask, so I decided to get the shampoo and conditioner. 
second shelf is going to hold body scrubs. I fell in love with these. I didn't even know about them until I started binge watching shower routines. So thank you. I feel like I have to talk so fast. Tree Hut, Tropical Mango, and Vitamin C. Mm. This is the mask I'm talking about. I always talk up on these because I feel like it should be sold out. I've always had an issue with split ends and rough hair because I straighten my hair all the time. But this mask seals those up and it makes your hair feel so healthy and so smooth. Also, this is not sponsored. I just love this stuff. You can get it at Target if you want to try it. I'm putting my scalp massager on top. The next shelf is going to hold more exfoliating products like this KP Bump Eraser. A coffee scrub. This shimmer scrub. I don't know. Sugar scrub cubes. If you want a nice clean shave and you want to smell good, this. I also got the razor. If you haven't tried this, it's amazing for washing upstairs and downstairs. Just not underneath the stairs, if you know what I mean. Yes and yes. Wow, I still have my after shower shelf to fill. I'll see you in part three. Deep cleaning my bathroom part three. Time to fill the after shower shelf. I don't know why I call it that. Anyway, a lot of people were asking where I got it from. I got it from Walmart. In here, I'm storing some body scrubs. You hear that? After every section I record, the sound starts out super low and then goes back to normal. Does anyone know how to fix that? It's so distracting. This is for a thumbnail, by the way. Okay, so I like to keep lotion up here. My favorite is the Hemp Sugar Banana, and I'm also trying this one. This stuff is amazing. It's almost like a spray-on lotion. Here I keep my three essential skincare products, two cleansers, and an SPF. As your master esthetician friend, I approve anything image skincare. I feel like I'm holding the secret. Oh. These are my two favorite after shower sprays. This one's getting discontinued. If you didn't know, Dr. Pimple Popper has a skincare line. This is their new body seal that they sent me. I'm so excited to try it. This is for dry, eczema-prone skin. Literally, look at my hand. Couldn't have come at a better time. This deodorant has changed my life. I don't sweat when I use it, and it doesn't smell like anything. Thank you, Mom. A basket for my towels and dry brush. Some cute decorations in my Lush basket. A non-slip shower mat. My shower curtain shrunk. It used to go all the way to the floor. And that is it. Wow. It's so cute. Grab a bowl. Add in three packets of unfavorable lips. On flavored gelatin. Add in half... <laughs> Do I even continue? Add in half a cup of cold water. Whisk until it looks like applesauce. Set that aside and grab a medium-sized pan. Add in one and a half cups of sugar. I can only get this right one time. One cup of light corn syrup. Ooh. Half cup of water. And a three-finger pinch of salt. On medium heat, stir until the sugar has dissolved. Once it's really smooth, you'll stir every three minutes until the edges start to bubble. Once it looks like it's boiling evenly, lower the temperature and simmer for 10 minutes. Slowly add in your mixture. It'll start to foam up and that's okay. Grab your hand mixer and start mixing. Once it starts to get foamy, add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we're mixing! Yeah, mixing! It'll look like white caramel when you're done. Grab a 9x13 pan and dust it with powdered sugar. Now that the top is flat, dust it with powdered sugar. This is best to do overnight. Grab some parchment paper. Let it sit for 16 to 20 hours. It's 1 a.m. I'll see you tomorrow. Part 2, take the parchment paper off. Grab a cutting board and dust it with powdered sugar. It'll look something like this. Grab your pan, flip it upside down. Tap, 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 tap. You'll end up getting something like that. Hey! Cut it into slices like this. Dip the edges in the powder because it's super sticky. Then cut them into cubes and do the same thing. I put mine on a cute platter and now you know to make homemade marshmallows. Let's try them. Really quick. Look at that. Oof. Okay, I had a little accident. That's okay. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Okay, here we go. Mmm, that is so good. Wow, you guys, this is so good. So easy to do. And oh, my new addiction. Bad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he won't give me the box. Okay, here's the box. Thank you. We have been waiting wait, a long wait, wait, time wait, wait, for wait, this. Wait, wait. So, make a video of you doing whatever's in the box, alright? And, you know what that? Maybe the last thing. There's a last thing? There's a last thing. Oh my god. Here's the first thing you had me do, which painting this plant made no sense. Here's the box. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I'm so confused. As I'm going through the box, I've been finding these charms. So far, I found a camera and a lightning bolt. I'm just gonna shake them so they all fall to the bottom. I found these, and the middle one is my birthstone. Ah, hey, yo, it's Craig! And I found a cat and some words. I found a cute little globe and a crown. I'm making a charm bracelet! Yay! I've laid everything out to how I want it to go. First one down, now the globe. Now, these ones are really hard because I have to open and close them with my teeth. Are almost done. The only one I know for a fact is that this one means boo. Thank you for my charm bracelet. Can I have my next thing? No. <laughs> Man! Look, this is where they put the needle. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> Shadow! Hold on. Send me a kiss. Let's see. Shadow. 
When does it go away? <laughs> it doesn't go away! I'm gonna call Lady. Lady? Yeah, I'm gonna do it to Lady. <laughs> Lady's my sister, by the way. It's like overnight. It'll go down. Okay, I hope so. It'll go down. The bruising part, some people are just prone, prone to bruising, so you may have that. <laughs> <laughs> I can reverse them. <laughs> it was fake. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> it was actually my sister Michelle, but anyway. Should I do a part three? Part two, let's take it out of the freezer. I tried to open it. I broke off the only tab I had to help me with that. I managed. Well, that's cool. Now you know how to make vanilla ice cream. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these videos just like to cut me off. This is way better than something you can get at the store. And you can make it for your mom for Mother's Day with her favorite topping. Look at that. Ooh, it's just me, myself, and I drinking homemade ice cream while I'm eating it, not drinking it. I rate this recipe a 10 out of 10. I will totally be making my own ice cream. Where are my words? I can't find them anymore. I'm making homemade ice cream from now on. Don't quote me on that. But... For now, for now on. And yeah. Yay! Grab some strawberries, raspberries, a mango, dragon fruits, two apples, a lime, I mean lemon. Wash them, cut them into small cubes. Side note, dragon fruit to me tastes like paper. So use it if you want, but I just use it for looks. Now pour all of it in a bowl. Now cut your lemon and squeeze half in. Now this, now that, now boo stop looking at me. Add about one spoon of preserves and mix it all together. Once you're done, it should look like this. Cover the bowl with something and put it in the fridge. Next, grab flour tortillas. Tortillas, okay? Oh, yeah. Pour some olive oil on it and spread it on each side. You don't need a lot, so you can use what's left over for the next tortilla. You'll need a third of a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix it. Now sprinkle it onto the tortilla. Once they're covered on both sides, place them on a baking sheet. Preheat your oven to 350. Now make it for about seven minutes. I don't have a lot of time left, but part two is already up, so I'll see you soon. Part two, let's take them out of the freezer. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. She's gonna love them. I'm gonna store them in a mason jar. These are the cutest dog treats I've ever seen. Just set everything up. Let's see if she likes her treats. Ready? Okay. <laughs> you like it. She's very gentle when she eats, so she's not gonna take a big bite out of it. Let's see if she likes the watermelon one. Yep. <laughs> She's so cute. Girl, high five. <laughs> Time to open presents. It's a look. Go through it. Toy. Oh my gosh. She's so happy right now. <laughs> get it out, baby. Oh my gosh. I got to open these for you. What else did you get? A mini pool. Here you go, baby. Happy birthday. Grab some Oreos. This time you'll need about 37. Crush them in a food processor. Bye. Or a Ziploc bag. It should look something like this. Measure out about a cup and put it into a separate bowl. Treat those to the side. <gasps> Yikes, grab six tablespoons of butter. Bye, BB. Can someone come clean my fridge? Put it in the microwave until it's melted. Oh, my camera's dirty. <gasps> wow, that was terrible. Add the butter to the bigger bowl of Oreo. It should look like uh, wet dirt when you pat it down. Grab some liners and line your cupcake pan. Add in about one tablespoon of the mixture to each liner. Now pack them down as hard as you can. Preheat your oven to 350. Bake for five minutes and then take them out. Grab that same bowl, 16 ounces of cream cheese. <laughs> Add in one fourth cup of sugar, a splash of vanilla extract, that was too much, and two eggs, then whisk everything together. Once it looks like this, add in your leftover cup of Oreos. This mixture should look like cookies and cream. I film my videos in real time and I have to let this sit overnight, so I'll see you tomorrow in part two. Bye! I'm still trying to become that girl and I can't be that girl without an aesthetic mirror. My old one broke RIP, but I have a better idea for the new one. And that's what I keep telling myself, this might go so bad. I've never seen a poster board this big, but I have to tape them onto the mirror. Now I'm chasing the mirror and then I'll draw my design. Okay, here it is. This could be so good as long as I don't mess it up. I have to cut this as carefully as possible. I messed up. I'm done. Never mind. We're good. I'm laying down a tarp because it's going to get messy. Now I'm going to spray it with this liquid foam stuff. I have to do this so carefully. This is going to be my day. <laughs> like, I think I got the hang of it. Ready? I need more foam. Okay, I'm back. I need to fill it in more because I'm going to sand it down when it's done. Finally done. I'm going to let this dry. There's still so much I have to do, especially with those buckets. So see you in part two. Part two. I'm going to finish sanding it. Then I'll add the spackle. Now I'm going to try and move this so I can clean up all the mess. So much better. I'm going to add the plaster now. I'm actually really scared because I don't want to mess it up.
I'm almost done. This is so fun. It's like icing a cake. I'm gonna cry. This took me three hours. It's fun. It's gonna be good. It's three o'clock now. This is gonna turn white when it dries. Hopefully it dries quick. It did not dry quick. It's the next day. And it's not even dry. It's also cracking. This is not good. My only option. Oh my god. My only option is to get this on here somehow. Let it crack and then fix it when it's on the mirror. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna slide it off. You guys, I did it. There is a lot of damage, but I did it all on my own. I'm so proud. Now I'm gonna fix the cracks by adding another layer. Okay, I think we're good this time. There's no way this is gonna dry tonight. So see you in part three. Wish me luck getting it up the stairs when it's done. Let's all just cross our fingers, hopefully. Part three, it's finally dry. Now I'm gonna paint it. I'm cleaning the dust with a blow dryer. Not the best idea. I still haven't decided on the color, but we're gonna do purple for now. Okay, I love the purple. I think I'll keep it. Now I'm gonna let this dry and then glue it on the mirror. You know what comes after that. Bringing it up the stairs by myself, I can do this. Okay, I was able to stand it up. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. I didn't mean to make this thing so heavy. It is so heavy, but four steps down, all of those to go. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. I made it, you guys. It's up. It's there. And it's not broken. Now I'm gonna put these LED lights behind it. I'm just gonna get to the point. This is the mirror. I don't know how to describe this. It's so much better in person. Single number one when you walk in. This is what my YouTube channel will see. It's just so pretty. I love it so much. Ah, so worth it. That looks disgusting right now. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, bye. Yo, what up? I'm gonna show you how to make your bed look and feel exquisite. This is my bed right now, plain and boring, just like oatmeal. First thing I'm doing is removing everything off my bed. Yay! We're removing! Yes! Removing! Tip number one, get a mattress cover. This is gonna help you with allergies. I don't have time for a flat sheet, so I only use a fitted sheet. Then I'll get a fabric spray and spray it all over the bed. I like to use the down comforter system. So here's my down comforter in the middle and I protect it with the down comforter protector. Then on top of that, I'll use my decorative duvet. And this one's super cute. I got it from Amazon. And it comes with two pillowcases. The easiest way to put this on is doing the rolling method. So flip your duvet inside out. Set your duvet on top and start rolling it towards the bottom of the bed. Tuck your duvet ends in like this and start unrolling. To make your bed appear super fluffy, fold down small and then big. These are my pillows. I make sure they all get lined with the protector. I try to use jersey knit or satin fabrics because they feel the best. You can make any bed look comfy with faux fur. Literally, yay! Two blankets on the end. Or fold them nicely. Don't forget the butt crack on your pillows. And that's it. Wow! shopping for one thing and came home with so much more haul so this is the reason i left my house mouthwash it's really cool i gotta fix that I got the 35g palette by morphe it's so pretty and the morphe 2 concealer also if you want to support me next time you shop at morphe use code glamfam 1650 for five dollars off your next ten dollar or more purchase wow. Oh, that's pretty. I got a makeup sponge. Kylie did a restock on her birthday lip balm, so I had to get those. I will be repurchasing this set just for these three. They smell amazing. My favorite is the watermelon, and then these? This one just smells like old, like my grandma's house. It's not a bad smell. It just, I don't know how else to describe that. And then this one? Imagine leaving a peach on your counter and leaving for vacation for one month and coming back and taking a whiff. That's better than sex mascara because I'm always running out. A watermelon sugar scrub. I'm addicted to these. This necklace with a K on it for my name. Anti-frizz hair wipe. Shave cream and peel off mask. I heard they were really good. This lotion super thin. That's why I like it And here's everything else because I'm out of time. Grab a bowl. You'll need one cup of cornmeal I'm using bun one cup of mozzarella a little bit of salt I'm just eyeing it set that aside and grab a pot You can either do a cup of milk or a cup of water My mom's probably watching this like go while that's warming up Let's open the griddle. I just bought for this recipe the milk is ready now pour it into your bowl Um, Don't pour in the milk all at once like I just did while it's still warm add in some butter You don't even have to use a griddle I just bought one because that's what my mom uses and you just kind of go like this. Okay, mom I got this. I have my stick of butter Putting it in my hand like lotion. Take a little bit of this. I don't have gloves. I only have Ziploc bags. When it's in a ball like this, you kind of go like this, transfer it to flatten it out, and then you hit the edges like that. Technique. Keep checking on them and flip them once the bottom goes brown. Now you know how I attempted to make arepas for my Colombian family. It's almost 1 a.m. I'm going to see if my mom's awake to get a reaction. I'll see you in part 10. Yo, what up? Anyone else feel like cups have been giving grandma's couch? Karen's kitchen towels? Casino floor? Until today. Look how cute these are. These ones color change. Let me get some ice. Okay, what the water looks blue and red well found the triangle cup i'm actually gonna use it this one looks like a disco ball it's so cute this one is so cute until you turn it around i'm gonna keep it facing forward this one's my favorite right now the straw the texture everything look at this masterpiece it's beautiful this reminds me of the very very hibiscus refresher summer 2023 maybe please bring it back i got this one in florida it's perfection Lastly, this one the straw oh my god and this one eee, it's so cute and that's pretty much it now i'm gonna put everything away let's open some pr if you want to know why i was gone check my ig stories later maybe i might post a story time you guys first we have morphe thank you we have the cherry coke collection look at that blush it actually smells like cherries and look at the palette it's so beautiful i'm definitely gonna be using these colors and we got a lip gloss you can use my code for money off. next oh there's so much in here oh my god i'm crying thank you so so much i did not expect all of this um i've never used oh cosmetics before they're vegan and cruelty free so i'm super excited to try them they even sent me some skincare hold on it's some swatches the lip 
Sleepies are super buttery and they smell amazing and the pigment on the eyeshadows are unreal. They're so beautiful. DW Home sent me some candles and this is how I know they pay attention. I use this room spray everywhere. It's in the back of my videos all the time and they sent me it in candle form. That's so cool. It all smells so good. Thank you so much. I'm totally sharing this with my mom. This one came at the perfect time. McCart sent me their brand new poly gel collection. I can't wait to use it. Thank you. I'm so grateful for everything. Let me know if you guys want a part two. I chose green and white this year. I think my mom is going to freaking love it. Here's her basket. I'm going to show you how I fill it. Basket is from Home Goods, and then I tied ribbon around it. First, I'm filling it with air pockets and paper so I can position everything nicely. Putting green and white tissue paper in the back, I'm going to start with the taller items. I found this at Target for $5. My plan is to put it in the back as decoration. This is what I have so far. I got her a bottle and a cup with a gift card in it and her loofah set. Some more of these, and I'm going to put her onto my favorite micellar water. She doesn't even know. Caffeine solution thumbnail, a jade roller, coconut lime sugar scrub, this beauty pillowcase, a really cute bracelet, and some lotion. My mom hates her tweezers, and she always forgets to buy them when she's out, so I just got her some. <laughs> this really pretty palette, and my mom's hair is dirty blonde. Isn't she gonna look so cute in this hair tie? How cute is this card? Target, run. It came out so cute. I'm also doing rose petals around the gift. <laughs> I'm hoping this helps with gift ideas in case you were looking for some. And siblings, if you're watching this, don't show this to mom. It's been about a month since Kelly has cleaned her room. Let's see what she's up to now. Eating freaking Cheetos and watching Love Island. Very productive. Oop, she's on the way to her room. Let's see if we can get her to notice it's dirty. On the count of three, yell, Kelly, clean your room. One, two, three. Kelly, clean your room. It doesn't look like she heard us. One, two, three. Kelly, clean your room. Hello? Will Kelly ever stop eating Cheetos and watching Love Island instead of cleaning her room? I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. Part two, I'm putting in all the lights now. There's a lot because it's kind of creepy when that's the only light on, so hopefully these will help. First, I'm putting these rope lights along the edges. First shelf is done. It already looks so much better. Now I'm doing the middle shelf. It looks so dreamy. Let me show you the potential. There's a random purse. Look how it glows. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna put in these pug lights. I think I got too many, but we'll see. So we're running so good on time. It's almost 2 a.m. I'm gonna cry. I put a closet like this on my vision board right there. And here it is. Vision boards work. I'm gonna finish putting the lights up. I'm doing two in the bigger section. I was worried about all the controllers, but they all sync to one. I just velcroed it to the light switch, and yeah. I'm gonna try them all at once now. Oh my god. This is so cool. I'm gonna cry. Lastly, I'm gonna organize my clothes back into the closet. I'll see you in part three. I'm so excited. I'm still trying to become that girl. I can't be that girl without a houseplant, so I'm gonna try and plant one. First, I have to make the pot look cute, so I'm doing blue. It looks like a sky, right? Now I'm gonna try and add clouds. What is that? Fake clouds are better. So cute, the little clouds. Okay, so now I have to put in the potting mix. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't decide on what seeds I want to plant. Do I do the mystery flowers from the Billie Eilish concert? Or do I go pro and do veggies from Coachella? JK, not a mystery. It says wildflowers. I'm supposed to soak these overnight, so I'll be back. like an hour is good enough. I'm going to put that on top. wish this came with instructions. I'm going to pour more potting soil on top. Just a little. I found this water bottle at Urban Outfitters, so now I'm just filling. There's a hole at the bottom, and I've just been standing. Figured that out. Uh, this is so cute. Okay, so now I'm watering it. Like, actually, Hazel's plant. She's still trying to become that dog. Anyways, now we wait. I don't think I did this right, but if you want an update, Instagram. Okay. Grab a bowl. You'll need one cup of chocolate chips and about a fourth of a cup of peanut butter. Mix it. I'm not trying to make anything gourmet, so we're going to use the microwave. Mix every 15 seconds until it's melted. I'll grab a pan and line it with parchment paper and pour the chocolate in. This one is a 7 by 11. Spread that evenly and freeze it for about 20 minutes. Grab another bowl. Add in one cup of powdered sugar, one cup of marshmallow fluff, Oh and one fourth cup of peanut butter. Mix it. I just used my hands and it should feel like dough when you're done. Put it on top of the first layer and even it out. Now take some peanuts and layer that on top and gently press them in. Set that aside and grab about a cup of soft caramel. Melt it in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds. Once it's melted, spread it on top as fast as you can and then push it in. The last layer is the same as the first one. One cup of chocolate chips, one fourth cup peanut butter and melt it. Whee! Okay, almost almost dropped that put it in your freezer for 20 minutes cut them up and now you know how to make homemade snickers let's try them okay here we go hi guys come with me to the ice castles so i'm going through this tunnel very narrow very claustrophobic building chairs that's cool. the entrance i'm scared like those are gonna fall this is everything during the day this is at night it's so pretty oh my God. that's cool i must have through a window okay okay they're dripping water look at that wall you can't really see me, but yeah. It's doing the thing. It's doing it. Oh yeah. my gosh. This is really glowing. Oh, must touch it. Oh, that's that was fun. Goodbye. Ice castles.
Yo, what up? I'm gonna make a Disney gift basket and give it to someone random. I'm gonna put everything in a backpack, but I can't decide this one or that. Now I'm trying to find the donut ears. It took me an hour, but I found them. Now let's go to Starbucks. Okay, the line's way too long. I'm gonna get this hat. So cute. Lollipop. Beach towel. Why not? Now I'm gonna pick out some pins, you know, start someone's collection. Little Mermaid. Also, there's a duck. Right? Mickey. Star Wars. Mystery pin set. Favorite one of the castle. Look at Little Mermaid. Hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I had to get one for me too. Also, I love how I'm just on the floor. This pen. Got this lanyard. Now I'm gonna fill the backpack. This view right here is so aesthetic. Oh my Someone to go give this to. Hi! Um, so I'm filming a TikTok where I just made this gift basket and I'm giving it to someone random. So I'm just gonna give this to you. That worked out perfect. She was actually a fan, so that was great. I literally love you if you're watching this. Okay. This is one of my 3 a.m. purchases. This is already, I feel like this is gonna be a series. It's such a problem. But I'm gonna try and make a breakable heart. I bought some colored chocolate. I'm gonna start out with these black sprinkles and I need to figure out a way to make swirls. I'm moving them around with this popsicle stick and I think that's good enough. I bumped it. Let me try this again. Now I'm going to melt the chocolate. I'm doing pink, white, purple, and blue. I'm mixing them after every 30 seconds until they melt. I'm so excited. I hope this works. So I'm going to put some white over here. And now the blue. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in random spots. Now we have pink. I'm just going to kind of throw it around. Now I'm just going to cover everything else in the purple. Like that. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting this decision. Let's just hope this comes out okay. <laughs> But at this point, all I can do is trust the process. I'm going to leave it in the fridge overnight to make sure it completely hardens. I will see you in the morning for part two. Everyone has already done this, but we're going to do it again with a slight twist. Grab some limes. Yay! Wash them. I'm using nine key limes because I didn't have any regular limes, so yeah. Roll them on the countertop. Also, do not remove the seeds because in seven days, you'll actually start to poop out limes. How do you think I got all these? Squeeze the lime into the cup. Add in eight teaspoons of stevia or sugar. It's gonna look gooey like this. If you want to remove the seeds, you can. I like them, so I'm not doing that. Next, grab some ice and pour it in. Now put a lid on your cup and shake the living- Now grab your blender and add in a handful of frozen dragon fruit. You'll need two teaspoons of honey and a splash of water. And we're blending! Ah, oh, we're gonna need more water. Give it a little one, two. We're back to blending! Yeah, blending! Grab a cute cup. Add your first mixture in. A full bottle of water. Stir that all together. Now add in your dragon fruit mixture, your favorite straw, and that's it. I've been making this for the longest time and I don't know what to call it. Okay, here we go. Wow, it needs more sugar. I'm gonna put rhinestones on this Windex bottle. Starting with the label, I'm gonna coat it in this glue. It's been an hour and this is all I have. That took me another hour, but oh my god. Almost done, this part's pretty easy. My filming room has a lot of glass, so I've been keeping this Windex bottle on the counter. I usually hide it behind this plant, but now I can display it. <laughs> it looks so fancy. What's that? A spot on your glass. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, but from a new house. First, Hazel's new bed. It's a flower. It's so cute. I also got matching food bowls. You can take them off the stand, but I'm going to leave them. This gumball machine. I don't know. A mini portal mirror. I'm going to put this on my entryway table. Balloon dog with a balloon poop. <laughs> ah, too. Checkered blanket. It's really soft, and it's going on my new couch. Steven, a.k.a. Benson in plush four. This rug from Lonely Ghost. If you're watching this, by the way, I love you. Also, everything before this rug is on Amazon. I'll link it on my storefront. This candle from Target by Tabitha Brown. It's so beautiful, and it smells amazing. Urban Outfitters cutting board. I'm getting a massive cutting board out just for one orange, so this will be good. More cloud pillows from Amazon. Amazon, they're so soft. This mushroom cup, also from Urban. A bubble maker and all of that. Yo, what up? Decorating my room part three. I need nightstands, so I'm gonna try and make them. Hopefully, I don't make a giant mess. Throwing that hope out the window. This is gonna be so messy. Now I'm putting on primer. Not sure if you have to, but just in case. Next, I'm putting drywall tape all over. Time for the messy part. I'm gonna mix everything in this bucket. I'm gonna start with two parts plaster and a cup of water. Well, I already messed up. It's very watery. Okay, I figured it out. I'm pouring the whole box in here. Then I'm adding water and mixing till it looks like frosting. Yeah, I did it. Okay, first layer. I'm done. I'm never doing that again. I the mess because it was that bad. Anyways, I primed it with this. Now I'm gonna put them in my room. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I think they're so cute. I still have a lot to do, but I'm gonna take a break and start working on my kitchen. LOL. Yeah, it needs part two. I just put these up. They're a little loose, but oh well. Now I'm putting LED lights pretty much everywhere, starting with the sink and around the mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna finish the ceiling. Starting on the shower now. I got these acrylic shelves from Amazon. They're so cute. Also found matching hooks. I'm putting them on this side to hold my loofah and razor. Back to the shelves. I forgot I got these. Okay, what? How is this my bathroom right now? Since my bathroom is pretty small, showering is even worse, so I bought a curved shower curtain rod. Hopefully, it'll make it feel bigger. For my shower curtain, I was going to use this cow print one, but when I put it up, it made my bathroom look so small, so instead, I'm using a clear shower curtain liner with these curtain lights. Wow, that's different. Okay, these are waterproof, by the way. It's 4 a.m., by the way. That's what it looks like with the lights off. Terrible. I like it better with the white shower curtain, but the outside is one thing. The inside is a whole experience. I have so much space now. Look at me. I'm crying at 4 a.m. because I love it so much. All I have to do now is fill with product, make a DIY bath cart, fill my drawers. I'll see you in part three. Yo, 
know what up i hope my mom doesn't see this but it's her birthday and i'm last minute again so what i have so far a makeup brush holder with a lid and some makeup just got back from sephora got her one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners this hair mask mom's hair is blonde so i also got her the purple shampoo and conditioner this lip butter so good a scalp massager Too Faced came out with this recently so she's gonna try it's going on a trip so i want to find her a makeup bag let's try here <sighs> i hate going to that location they're always so rude what did i do anyways i found a makeup bag it's really cute i found this mini flower bouquet time for the pinch and shake method i don't know it just always works hey not bad for last minute i think she'll like it hopefully Yo, what up? i'm gonna go last minute christmas shopping for corny so if you're watching this please stop she doesn't even know we don't have duncan where i live so we're getting this that and that oh they're out of the cream Now I'm gonna get some gift wrap. I'm thinking this one and this one. So I'll have to organize everything because, uh, yeah. It's giving Valentine's Day, but let's just say candy cane. Yeah, candy cane vibes. I like that better. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yo, what up? How do I have a video for you? I'm so tired. I really think you're gonna like this one. I'm posting that video later today. But for this video, I don't know why I yell. <gasps> Look, my hair kind of looks like a bow or a big butt crack. I went to Sally's and I got this quick dip kit. The kit comes with nail tips, glue, and a file. It also comes with the activator, brush on glue, and three dip powders. I'm going to be using white. So yeah, let's do my nails. I've never used a dipping powder before, so we'll see how it goes. I'm starting off by filing and buffing my nails. I'm not going to be using the nail tips that come with the kit because that's just too much work and too much filing to get the shape I want. I just bought some that cover your entire nail and their coffin shape, which is my favorite. I'm only doing one nail at a time in case I mess up. Ooh. Applying the glue. And I guess you just dip it in. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is the aftermath. Um, <laughs> I need more practice. I ripped my nails off because I filed them down too much. They looked like a birthday hat. Part two, I'm going to try to make spackle art for the wall above my bed. Should I do this in the garage? Yes. No. Yes. Covered the couch, so it's fine. I hope. Drew up my design so I don't mess up. Now I'm supposed to mix this. Hope I don't mess this up. Okay. It's flat. This is actually really fun. Okay, now I'm going to use this to make the wave. I almost fell on this corner. I'm gonna hurry and do the top now. I feel like I'm decorating a cake. Okay, this will turn white when it dries. I'm gonna work on the second one now. Let's look past the dump site I just made and look how cute these are. Now I'm gonna let them dry before I paint them, so yeah, I'll be right back. Grab six bowls, place a handful of cheese in each bowl, add food coloring to each one, and mix. Yes! Hot pan, yay! Lay down the cheese and put another tortilla on top. Mm -hmm. Now you know how to make rainbow quesadillas. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow! Yo, what up? I'm doing a giveaway. The first prize is vacation theme. The second one is self-care. For the vacation one, I got you this Starbucks cup and water bottle. Pineapple tree hut scrub. It smells so good. This travel set. And this one. I really want one now. My favorite palette. My favorite candle. Pina colada sunscreen. Cleanser. Vacation to me smells like this lotion, so I had to put it in. Lip injection. Liquid bronzer. Lip balm. More lip balm. Waterproof mascara. A cute makeup bag. We're twins because I bought myself some too. Pineapple squishmallow. Lastly, a Starbucks gift card. Now I'm doing self-care. I got you this Starbucks cup and water bottle. Lavender scrub. This one's my favorite. Tatcha cleansing and hydrating kit. My favorite eye patches. And eye Cream. When I light this candle, I feel so motivated. It's actually scary, but that's why I love it. Face roller, Laneige lip mask, a hair mask, lotion, cleanser, and moisturizer, glow recipe mist, lip balm, and all of this. Sorry, I'm running out of time. This giveaway is being held on my Instagram. The rules to enter will be in the caption of my most recent post. Good luck. Yo, what up? I've never had a snack drawer, so I'm going to try and make one. First, I'm filling the mini containers. Mini m &Ms. These are so good. Sour Patch Kids and Cocoa Pebbles. This is so cute. Now I'm going to fill the bigger ones. First, Oreos. Blue Takis. And cheese dips. Oh, now I'm gonna fill the even bigger containers. Anyone else like to snack on waffle cones? This one's gonna have fruit snacks. And fruit strips. So excited. Time to put everything in my nightstand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can properly binge watch Love Island. Goodbye. Resetting my entire house part five. Now I'm gonna restock the mini fridge. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Pomegranate cherry juice. This stuff is so good. Next, water. These ones are glass and they're a little bit taller. So I'm just gonna put it in. For fruit, I'm doing mango. Blackberries, raspberries, lastly strawberries. I love fruit. I'm putting these on the bottom shelf. It looks so good. Next, lunchable. Capri Sun. Yogurt. Yeah. Baby Bell cheese. Coffee. I'm filling the smaller ones with jelly beans. Oh. And chocolate eggs. I didn't know what else to put in here, but this looks good. Next step, I'm organizing my cup collection because it's so good. Grab a pool noodle and a jump rope. Cut a piece of the jump rope off and tie it around the pool noodle like this. Take a sharpie and draw a C shape on both sides. I'll stick a gift bow on the top like that. Cut out some ears and add googly eyes. And now you know how to make. Grab a bowl. Add in one cup of sugar. Set that aside. Grab some freeze dried strawberries. You can get this at Target. Grab about half a cup and put it into a Ziploc bag. Next. Yay, 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 yay. Correct.
fraction, this is a hefty bag, but what you can also do is grab a cup and just roll it around like this. Next, add in two tablespoons of the powder. Whisk it. It'll look something like this. Add in a half cup of coconut oil. Now you're gonna mix it. I prefer to use my hands, it's just a lot easier. You'll know when you're done mixing it when it feels like wet sand and it should look like this. Now grab a jar and pour your mixture in. Slap a lid on and now you know how to make a strawberry sugar scrub. Let's try it. Hi, welcome to my bathroom. Okay, let's try it. So you only need a little bit if you're doing just your hands and you can use this all over your body. You just need a little bit of water. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, wait, why does this feel really detailed? Like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, let me rinse it off before the video ends so I can tell you what it feels like. Oh, wait, what is going on? It feels like lotion. Oh my gosh, Mother's Day is coming up. You guys need to try this, seriously. Grab a bowl, add in one cup of heavy whipping cream, and one cup of milk, half a cup of sugar, and about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Whisk it all together, it might be stiff at first. Next, add in about a half a cup of condensed milk. And we're whisking for about two to three minutes. We're whisking. Once that's done, grab whatever topping you want. I'm using dragon fruit crunch. I mean, ch chunks. I'm putting in about a handful. Now grab a container with the lid and pour your mixture in. That sucker out. Oh, let's try it. I'm just kidding. You're in the fridge. I meant freezer. I really did. Now we just have to wait about two hours. I wish it were that time. It's actually 12 o'clock. I'll see you guys at 2 in the morning. I'm so excited because my boyfriend told me it'd be easier to eat an Oreo with a fork. So I'm going to try it. So I'm just getting a cup of milk. And I'm so excited because I didn't know that this was possible. So here's the milk. Yeah, 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 we'll leave that there, close the fridge, whoops, get a fork, okay, and then my Oreos are over here, I'm so excited, because normally when you stick it in, you dunk your fingers in, and it's like, wah, like, I don't want to do that, so, okay, we're going to try it with a fork, so I'm so excited, he said it's a lot easier, but I don't see, babe, it's not working, it's not working. How in the world? It doesn't work. Okay, I got everything I need, even some glitter. I'm gonna finish putting the trash bags on the floor. I think the space is missing something, so this is gonna be good. I have this bucket, I'm just filling it with black paint. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm adding in the glitter. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Aww. It's so pretty. There's so much. Oh my gosh. I just realized something about this color combo that's really special to me. My real dad used to work at the Manly Bay Casino in Las Vegas for years, like 10 plus years. Anyway, anytime there was a large event, he would take me to the back where only employees had access to, and the floors literally look like this. And I had so many good memories there. Anyway, this is going to be a really cool painting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh man, this is not going to look <laughs> Oh, maybe? Um, I decided on a textured piece instead. I can't wait to see it when it's dry. With his eyes. Yay! Okay! Take your spoon! Yeah! I actually saw this on Tati's Tati Tries Things, so if it's nasty, you don't have to. Her series is the best. Anyway, I have Kool-Aid. I don't know how much Kool-Aid I'm supposed to be using. <laughs> Maybe that's too much. This actually looks really good. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to think about this. Oh! Okay, here we go. Mmm, really good. Really sweet. Hello, yo what up? I'm dropping Hazel off to get surgery. She has a cyst on her head that they have to surgically remove. <laughs> now we wait. It's raining. That'd be cute to get her some of her favorite things. I got her this cuddler bed. I just want her to be comfy when we take her home. Got her a new blankie. She loves this material. I don't know how to describe it, but it's super soft and flush. Most of all her toys have names, so this is Spot. And Spot is very cute. Got her a lick mat for yogurt and stuff. For obvious reasons, I had to buy these. This whole thing makes me so sad. And then she's gonna have a cone. A cone. Hi, baby. She's so cute in her little cone. And she just farted. Yoda. Got this random box delivered today. It, well, really yesterday. I waited until today to film the video, but let's open it. Wow, oh my gosh, ah, it's so nice. Okay, what's inside? Yay. Oh, uh-oh. It's 
so cute. It says, hello, 2021, love from TikTok. Oh, let's see what's inside. No freaking way. This came at the perfect time because I am redecorating my beauty slash filming room. Eventually, I will put it up on top of my vanity, but I need to finish painting the wall. I'm going to put it on the shelf for now. Okay, I just got the box up. Now I'm going to lean the board on the box. Wow. Thank you, TikTok. Yo, what up? I'm back from Disney. Uh, yeah, and I also, yeah. This one's a core memory of all the churros I ate. This one looks like a mango, which is my favorite fruit. The lid opens on this one, so I'm doing strawberries, because that's all I have. Kind of cute, kind of not. Dinosaur egg. I also went to Vegas, and I found this cup. Yeah, I love it. This one's really cool. It's, like, reflective. I didn't even know this one existed, but yeah. This one is so pretty. One of my favorites, but I feel like it should have been released during Christmas time, because don't they look like ornaments? Just saying. This is the most aesthetic cup I have. It reminds me of that little circle thing. This. Got this one, too. I like it more. Color-changing mystery cups, and I'm trying to find all five colors. I don't have any ice, but chicken bakes are working just fine. Oh my gosh, yes. The only one I need to find is orange because I got two reds. It's actually not 3 a.m., so I can try these. They're sun-activated cups. I don't see an Aubrey effect, but maybe with a drink in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that does not look like that, but I can explain. Question mark. Walked into Target, and there they were. So I found these keychains. And the matching cups. I found the mid one. The jelly pink one. I'm actually going to use it and not put it on display. And dark green. Look how cute they all are. Also, the keychain's actually open. Look at this. I can't believe I found this one. It's the prettiest cup I have. This one reminds me of Barney, but it's really cute. Water bottle. They did such a good job. I love it so much. The swirls. I got this one because it looks like it's glowing, and I thought that was cool. Found the mint puffy cup. It's so cute. And these two. I love this one because it's matte. It did so good. This is my favorite round of cups so far. I want to design a cup so bad, but I'll keep drinking. Part two, let's stock the mini fridge. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Pomegranate juice. I'm probably going to spill everything. Coconut water. Last four with just water. I'm going to put these on the bottom shelf. Now for the fruit, I'm doing raspberries and blackberries. Baby bell cheese. Lunchables and gogurt on the side. I found these snack containers at Target, and I'm just filling them with grapes. I bought four more, so I'm just filling them with chocolate. Can't forget Capri Sun, because I'm addicted. I've never had these, so hopefully they're good. Pickle Ricks, these are the best. Found this really cool looking soda. Strawberry applesauce. And watermelon hints. Okay, this is so worth it. It's so cute. Grab a bowl. I broke all of mine, and I broke my nails, but this will work. Add in two cups of heavy whipping cream. Whisk it, and it should look like this when you're done. Now add in one cup of condensed milk. And a fourth of a cup of sour Kool-Aid. Mix it. Zang! It's so pretty. Put it in a squeeze bottle or a Ziploc bag. Grab a pan and some parchment paper and start making little dots. It's going to be tedious, but that's not a dot. Okay, one second. Ow, 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 ow. Put it in your freezer for a few hours. I'm putting the rest of it in this ice cream container I got at Target. And now we wait. Okay, it's been a few hours. And they're done. Well, I feel like I should have made more. Now you know how I attempted to make dots, which are now called Dippin' Dots. Okay, here we go. Mm-mm. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try. This is gonna go so bad. To make a snow globe glitter cup. Here's my glitter. Yikes. I also got some strawberries because grab some strawberries. You know, because of the recipes, grab some strawberries. Elmer's glue. Resin. Whatever it's called. Alcohol wipes. Distilled water. I forgot to buy a drill. Well, at least now, now you know how to make a glitter cup. I'm gonna make this video tomorrow, so excuse me while I go buy myself a new drill. I try not to open this door to avoid what's inside. Yeah. Reorganizing my cleaning closet. I'm gonna start by taking everything out. I'm debating whether I should DIY Hazel a mini closet. She has so many clothes. Look at you waiting. She loves when I take them out. The first shelf is done. I'm so glad I'm doing this. And why do I have pillows in here? Okay, wow. I just gotta grab this now. Whoop. I'm taking this out and I'm gonna use it in a different space. I can't wait to show you what I got instead. I got these two cube organizers. I already built one. I'm gonna hurry and build the second one. One more screw. First one is going in like this. I put the second one on top and I secured them together so they wouldn't move. Yeah, my IKEA was out of stock, but Target definitely came through. This is exactly what I wanted, minus the little space in the middle. Now I have to put everything back in and organize it. I'm also going to be decorating, so I will see you tomorrow for part two. I thought I was quick. No, I could not find the gold cups anywhere, but I did get some cute ones and I want to make a cup collection shelf now. Honestly, I'm just grateful I was able to get this one. <laughs> machine has been broken so we've been getting pebbled ice from the gas station imagine pebbled ice in here ah, look at them together i'm gonna start by taking everything out oh my gosh they're so cute together i've never had them all in one place at the same time i'm gonna clean the shelves before i put them on i should do it this in a year to see how many i've collected i'm using these two for now the random cups are going on the top part i'm a huge fan of love island so i got the cup and i use it every day i don't even know why i'm putting it away because i'm gonna use it but the drama on the show is so good anyway that's the first shelf. My Starbucks cups are going on the bottom. These two are staying together, though. I just don't have the heart to separate them. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are witnessing the start of my Starbucks cup collection. Bye.
Grab a bowl, pour in a big bag of M&M's, add in two eggs, I'm just trusting the process, and one bag of vanilla cake mix. I broke my whisk, so I'm just using this giant fork. I found this recipe on Pinterest, and it was just a video, so instructions were not included, so I'm on my own from here, I guess. I just don't see this going well for me, so let's preheat to about 350, that sounds about right. I'm just gonna leave it in here for like 10 to 15 minutes. That was 15 minutes, and I'm hoping the bottom didn't burn. Wow! Now just cut it in a circle, and now you know how to make a cookie cake. Let's try. It looks good. Look at that. Mm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's so good. You know what up? I should be packing, but I'm going to make an ice cream and soda bar instead. First, I'm filling the sprinkles. This one's going to be pink. I'll crack the flamingo sprinkles, so I'm mixing those in too. Next, yellow and yellow stars. Purple, green, blue, and some flowers. This one's my favorite. So cute. Oh my gosh. And orange. I'm gonna put them on top of this clear tray. It's gonna be so cute. Now I'm gonna fill the bigger containers. First one's gonna have onion, granola, sour punch straws, and the last one's gonna hold the ice cream cones. Now I'm gonna put the sodas in these organizers. I got these syrups at Starbucks and they gave me pumps. I'm running out of time, clear shelves. Dried fruit. Well, I tried. I'll see you in part two. And then I'll pack my pantry, which I really don't want to. I'm putting family makes fun of me for the way I make my orange juice, but all I do is grab some oranges. I use about five, wash them, and cut them in half. This is probably going to be one of my shortest videos, but I have that my cup. Right. <laughs> Stop looking at me. I have my cup, my orange, and then I just press down. And then I just scoop the pulp and put it back into the orange juice. But why don't you just eat the orange? Because I like to drink it. It just hits different. Yo, what up? I'm gonna restock my entire house, starting with laundry. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Pop Bear. Next, fabric softener. Laundry sanitizer. These are so cute. They're from Target, by the way. Oh, I tried. Next, I'm restocking my fridge. What up? I'm at Disney World for the first time. Getting a bubble wand. Just makes everything better. Also, Pinocchio scares me. Going on the Little Mermaid ride. Oh my gosh, look at my nails. I bought the Jingle Hopper. This is so cute. I'm at Hollywood Studios. On the pickles, why are they so good? Got this raspberry lunchbox tart. So good. Cute. Next, I got this overnight oats thing at this place. This donut matches my nails. I'm at the Epcot Center. I'm so excited. This empanada looks so good. So pretty. I want to find Japan. Found it. Let's go inside. Um, I need this. Oh my gosh, it's hazel. Yeah. It's a hazel rug. I have to get this. Came back here at night. It looks so cool. I'm finally back. My feet hurt so bad. I'm here for a few more days, so I'll see you in part two. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part three. I have to organize all of this back into there somehow. After I'm done with that, I can finally work on the rest of the room. I can't wait to eat this wallpaper. I'm gonna start by building these wickered baskets from Ikea. I have six of them, so the first one is gonna hold my wax supply. The second one is going to hold anything to do with lashes, so my lash extension, lift, and tint supply. I'm going to put all of my small disposable items in this six drawer container. Running low on supply, maybe I'll do a restock video. I decided to put it on the shelf and next to it, I'm putting my wax sticks and strips. In the third cube, I'm going to be keeping my favorite things like my microneedling pen, my ultrasonic skin scrubber, and my high frequency machine. The fourth cube is gonna hold any extra disposable disposable supply like gloves, q-tips, things like that. The fifth cube will hold any extra nail supply. On this shelf, I'm keeping my towel warmer, my wax machine, and my skincare fridge. These two baskets are from Home Goods. I'm putting cleaning and disinfecting in this one and hair tinsel in this one. I didn't know what else to put in here. Put those on the top shelf and look at this plant. It's so cute. I'm putting it in the middle. The closet is finally done for the most part. I have a plan for the rest of my stuff like makeup and skincare, so I'll see you in part four. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part four. I finally have all the things I need to paint. And Starbucks with my own eyes because the girl didn't put enough. I'm painting my entire room so I need to get all of this stuff out. I'm going to shove as much as I can in the closet. I just took out the big mirror and I'm finally getting rid of this stinking shelf. I put all the stuff that was on it on this shelf. This is only temporary. I have a plan and I cannot wait to show you how I'm going to organize my makeup and skincare. Oh, it's going to be a dream come true. There's tape on my floor. I'm almost done. I just need to take out this drawer and this one. I just have to take down this wallpaper. a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I'm almost done. I brought up all of the things I needed to paint, now I'm just taping up the edges of the molding and the ceiling. This is the color I chose, it's a light gray and I'm so in love with it. Here's the first coat! Oh my gosh, my voice! <laughs> I just finished the first coat on all the walls, except this one, which I'm going to start in a minute. I'm so excited for part five, but it's going to be delayed by a few days because the organizers I ordered are not here yet. We love it! 
Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part five. I repainted. This is the color it was originally going to do, but I think the white just reflects the light a lot better. Storage organizers are finally here, so I'm gonna start picking up and making space so I can build them. What the heck? Why was that so hard to open? Anyway, here it is. I'm so excited. I have to build two of these, so wish me luck. I've separated and organized all the pieces. This is what it looks like so far. I just have to put the top and the back on. This literally took me two days. This is the one from earlier, and I just got done building this one. Now we have to stand it up. I'm going to take a break from the cabinets and install the new light fixture. Oh my gosh, I love it so much! So I got this track light at Ikea, and the bulbs are called GU10 bulbs. I got the Philips Hue ones, but if you want to save some money, Amazon does have a dupe to these. It's a four-pack under $20. Wait, is anyone else having an issue with their volume? Like, as you film, it starts out really quiet, and then it goes back to normal. It is so late right now. I literally have work in four hours. Anyway, I'm going to finish putting in the drawers and the shelves, and I'll see you in part six where we're going to start organizing everything. It sounded like I said shelves. Like, yay, I can finally film this. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part six. I have so much to do. I'm going to start out with this area. When you go to Ikea, always go to the as is section. So I found this height extension shelf thing, and I have a really good idea for it. I'm putting it right where the mirror was. I'm putting the mirror on top of this. Oh, it's so still see my outfits i think even better and i can store things underneath now i'm gonna stick some led lights behind the mirror <laughs> i'm also putting some underneath the shelf it's gonna look so cute bought these cute plants from ikea i'm gonna stick them up in those two corners this is the last one. Oh my gosh i'm sure i got this decoration from home goods so i'm going for like a black and white beach theme so i'm putting it right next to the mirror then on accident i put one of these plants inside and now i really like it okay it seems like i didn't do anything but just watch this wow what should i put under there next i'm going to finally organize all my makeup and skincare i'll see you in part seven organizing my makeup and skincare part two i'm gonna start to fill the drawers with these containers i'm gonna clean the drawer really quick because there's a bunch of dust everywhere i'm doing two of the larger containers from target in each corner and i'm putting five of the smaller ones in between oh man <laughs> yikes i think the best way to do this is to put everything in little piles and then put it in the drawer Okay, I made some progress. These are my little piles. The first container is going to hold my face palettes. This one will be for highlighters. I actually like the way they look if I stand them up like this. So cute. This one will hold blush, powdered bronzer, cream and liquid bronzer, setting powder, baking powder. This area is kind of all jumbled up, so it's just powder area, I guess. As I learn more about makeup and try different brands, I'll be able to fill the back of the shelf. But for now, wow, I love the way it looks. In the next one, I just spaced out five of the larger containers. The first one is for tinted moisturizer. BB and CC cream, full coverage and stuff I want to try, powder foundation, blur sticks, and concealer. I still need to fill these and my whole skincare and lifestyle section. I'll see you in part Organizing my makeup and skincare part three, I'm going to hurry and fill the makeup side so I can move on to the skincare side. I'm going to make little piles again because that just makes things so much easier. I'm doing five of the longer containers on the left. One for mascara, eyelash glue, lip liners. I feel like these two need to go in the top drawer though, so I'm probably going to move them. Black liner and colored liner. These two trays are going to hold my eyebrow stuff. I can't decide. I think, I don't know what I'm thinking. I think the primers are just going to go here. I don't know how I feel about the front, but the ones that can't stand are going back here. To finish off the drawer, I'm doing setting sprays on the right. I've been practicing this line for the last 20 minutes. In the back, I am keeping my brush cleaning product and an extra beauty blender. And an extra eyelash curler, I don't know. For the last drawer, I'm using these marble trays. This one is for any product that brands send me or that I buy that I want to try or even do a video for. And the last one is going to be like a workout drawer. I think it's so cute. So I have decorations. I can't wait to show you those. And I'm working on the skincare section tonight. So I'll see you in the morning. We're finally here. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room. I feel like the series is never going to end. The shelves are here. Let's put them up. Yay, it's up. Oh man, I'm looking rough. I'm working on the fronts of the drawers first. And then I'm sorting my skincare by brand. This is what the front of the first drawer looks like. Now I'm organizing the second drawer. I'm matching the amount of containers on the makeup side to the skincare side. My floor is finally going to be clean. Let's start filling them. Also, I'm sorry about the audio going from low to crazy loud. I think it's happening to more people now, so hopefully TikTok is working on that. I forgot to film the process, but this is what the second drawer looks like. I'm doing five containers in this drawer. Also, drop your favorite makeup remover. I'm looking to move away from makeup wipes. I don't know why I keep using makeup wipes. It's so bad for your skin, but I heard micellar water is really good, so I'm going to try this. This drawer is like the body drawer. We have the pumps, the sprays, and the oils. Extra body scrubs, and after one leg, I realize that this is gradual tan. Can you imagine what my leg looks like right now? This one has serums and toners. The top one has cleansers and exfoliators i don't know i was just trying to fill the space three more drawers decorating cleaning and i will be done i will see you in a couple of hours yikes there is no way this room is not going to be clean tonight i'm doing it let's do it i need to stop
procrastinating. I'm going to start with this drawer. I'm using these white containers I got at Target. They don't really match, but they're going to be in the back, so I don't really care. This is where I'm going to hold all my hair products. This one is going to hold hair tools, hair brushes, and clips. Finally, at the last drawer, this one's going to hold some of my filming equipment. Now I gotta deal with all of this. I'm gonna start by picking up all the trash. I already have a trash bag over there. I gotta get a new one though, because that one's full. <laughs> the fact that that was mostly trash, yikes. Now I'm gonna make a pile of everything else in the middle of the room so I can pick it up. Wow. So the last thing I have to do is decorate and paint because my wall is still gray. My next video about this room is going to be the last part of the series and I'm really sad. But I'm still excited because it's the reveal video. So I'm going to hurry and paint this. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys. So I got the results back from my MRI. Not good news. It's not like the best news, but it's also not bad news. I have a tear in the bottom part of my tailbone and like the last part of like the, the last vertebrae, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh. I can't even. All that stuff just... I don't even know how to explain it. But between my tailbone and the last disc vertebrae thing. They said six weeks of physical therapy should heal it. It's like normally what happens with this type of injury. So that's good news. If it doesn't heal, if I still feel pain, then we're going to look at other options. So I know my body. I know I can do this. I'm going to stay consistent with physical therapy and I know I can heal. And you'll see what I got from Target in the next video. I'm so excited. Redecorating my office part two. Put the couch back, not sure if it's staying there. The desk is staying here, but now I'm gonna put up the wall art. Got these frames on Amazon, they're so perfect. I love them. I don't know what to do, which ones do I put up? I think I got it, these are going up. These are going in my hallway. This can't be real. This is by far my favorite room in my house. It's four in the morning. I'm gonna put this table here, turn around top. I'm gonna use this thing as a side table. It matches, also I just woke up. That's so cute. I love it in here. It's the closet situation. It's an organized mess. Office stuff, like I need to organize that. Camera stuff also needs to be organized. And all my filming stuff. We're just gonna close that. Next, I'm resetting my entire house for fall. It might as well be a house store because I'm decluttering every room. Yo, what up? I don't think I've ever... Well, this can only go two ways. I'm scared. Matches my nails. Okay, I got this. Let's plug it in. It's spinning. I'm supposed to wait five minutes and then pour the sugar in. Let's do blue first. Turning it on. Look. Okay. Oh, I don't want it to catch on fire. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's smoking. Uh, trying again. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. Maybe I need a new coat. <gasps> what am I doing wrong? Oh, it's working. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> this is good. I'm happy with this. Soda. <laughs> Spend the day with me in LA. This is my outfit. First air while I'm trying it for the first time. I forgot a knife. Also got mac and cheese. Got a smoothie. I forgot what it's called. 10 out of 10. Now we're at the Grove. These are cute. I already did damage. I need these. So pretty here. Now we're going to the Hollywood song. Part three, guess what just- That didn't look good. Anyway, guess what just came in? My chair, those poor dogs. Please tell me this will be easy. Okay, almost done. This is a lot heavier than I thought. <laughs> my gosh, look how pretty this is. I have no words. I'm also filming a YouTube video right now. This is the prettiest chair I have ever seen, and it swivels. Love that. Also, it's really comfy. I'm gonna link this on my storefront under office. Everything else is from Typo, like these pens. Like, I don't have enough. I don't have any neon ones, so that's going in there. Next is laptop stands. You can use it like this. When you're done, you can display your laptop like this. It looks so aesthetic on my desk. Definitely my favorite thing. A mushroom lamp. I love the color. Oh, that's cute. A Barbie candle, of course. It smells so good. Also got this one. I like to keep affirmation cards everywhere, so I got these. This everyday notebook to keep on my desk. I love that it's not dated and there's a mood spot. Check. I'm craving coffee right now. I don't know why I do this, but I have all my notes on my laptop, but I also had to write it down. This flower pen. I'm getting an acrylic calendar, so I got these erasable markers to go with it. Paint set because I'm DIYing some of the wall art in here, and I love the colors. This chunky mug. Lastly, this acrylic clothing rack. Makes me a little emotional. Guys, I got this for something I'm currently working on for you guys. Can't wait to tell you. Let me know what you think it is. Yo, what up? Started getting my armpits waxed. They have never been brighter or softer. I love it. But I feel like I can do this myself at home, so I'm gonna try and make a wax bar. First, I'm putting the wax beans in these containers. Next, the popsicle things are going in these jars. Okay, so they don't fit. Putting them in these acrylic drawers instead. I like this way better, and I can stack them. I'll just put the waxing strips in the jars. Putting the main waxing pot on the bottom and this mini one on, oh, on top. It's from Ulta. It's so cute. I love this so much. Oh my god. There it is. Also, I got lip filler. See you in that video. My mom's gonna spring cleaning my entire house part two. The pantry. First, I'm taking everything out, which won't take me long because all I have is seasoning and cereal. Really? Wow, it looks the same. Now I'm gonna wipe it all down. Should I? No. 
I shouldn't. My whole house is glowing at this point. Now I'm gonna plan everything out. I really want a pasta section. I don't even know how to make pasta. Just kidding, mom, if you're watching this cereal. I'm gonna put all my spices on this thing. These are going here. These bucket things are going on this shelf. I'm also putting these tray things on top. Rice, flour, sugar, pancake mix, a refresher section. Lastly, these buckets up here. Now I'm gonna stock everything, but I need to go grocery shopping. I'm going shopping tonight, but can you guys help me make a pantry grocery list? Tag me, DM me, whatever works. But I need help. I'll be right back. See you in the restock video. Yo, what up? I'm back. Time to restock the pantry. First popcorn. <laughs> Saw this on Pinterest. It's so cute. Cereal. Dried fruit. Rice. I'm so scared. Okay, flour. Sugar. Now I'm gonna fill the snacks. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bubba Bear. Look how cute the pasta looks. Running out of time. This is it. I love it so much. I can actually see everything. Spring cleaning part one because my house is a mess. Starting with the mini fridge, let's restock it. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Green Gatorade, I'm gonna try my best to pour it nicely. Berry. Smaller ones will have coconut water. Those are going on the middle shelf. Now I'm gonna fill the mini containers. Fruit snacks. And gushers. And the bigger ones will hold fruit. Grapes. Raspberries. Blackberries. Strawberries. Those are going on the bottom shelf. Strawberry soda is going up here. Can't forget the lunch bowls and Capri Sun because I'm a whole child. Charcuterie bites, is that how you say it? The door has the coconut water. Poppy. Mochi in the freezer. And that's pretty much it. I give it a week. Part two with Hazel. Jump charms. Hazel's trying to eat them. Hot legs. I was sitting too long. <laughs> they sent me so much. I'm so excited. This is my favorite cup. Charm goes on the cup. Hearts or stars. Why not both? Jump charms. <laughs> Thank you, Jump charms. Hot legs. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Oh I'm sweating. Love the little personalized note. I'm going to keep this for the rest of my life. There's so much in here. To the fashion show. I'm going to live in this. You can also wear it like this. Bam. There's a lot back. It just, it's gone. Where is it? Thank you, Pop Flex. Candles! I can't open it. Pinky up. Powerful strength, line reducing, and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum. Hyaluronic acid. Excited to try. Thank you, Kiehl's. Typo sent me this candy dispenser. I love them. And these bags. Thank you, Typo. That's it. Yo, what up? I'm back at Disney. This time I'm doing two bags and giving it to two random people. First one's gonna be Halloween themed. Look at this bag. It's so cute. I have to get them this. The candle. I kind of want one. Candy corn bucket. Mickey pumpkin ears. Oh my god. This won't fit in the bag, but it's fine. Rice Krispies. I found this light up necklace. Yes. I just found this bag. I'm getting it for me. Second bag is my favorite. Look at the front. Hopefully I can fit everything in here. First, this candle. It smells like apple. My favorite Starbucks cup. It's beautiful. Not gonna close. A wallet. You know. Socks and a matching hat. Little Pluto. His collar matches the cup. Rice Krispies. This light up pen. I don't. And chocolate coins. These are so good. Okay, the bags are done. Let's go find people to give them to. Hi, so I make. Next Pluto, say bye. Bag and I want to give it away. And I just want to give this. Bye Pluto. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. Definitely doing more when I come back next week. I'm going to give you a tour of some of my favorite things in my house. First, my DIY mirror. I'm so proud of myself for making it. It's so tall. And it's cute for pictures. The voice is so raspy. Don't mind the hair. Next, my YouTube plaques. I still can't believe it. I can stare at these all day. <laughs> This neon sign my brother gave me it says my name and it's Love Island colors. He did so good. My guest bathroom rugs. I don't know. I really need to put stuff in here. It's so empty. Next to my entire bathroom, especially the closet. I just love being in here. It's kind of messy though. This did not last. My office chair because Hazel likes to sleep on it. I woke her up. This mirror, I might buy another one for upstairs. And of course, all my cups, but this cabinet especially. Lastly, my kitchen island. Never had one before, so it's nice. Oh, and this ghost pillow. Anyways, that's it. Okay, I told my mom not to watch this. Trying to make her a gift basket for Mother's Day. This is also a giveaway, so everything I got my mom is also going to one of you. First, a blanket. Blush bath bomb set. Sol de Janeiro radiance cream. Tree hut sugar scrub. Glow recipe fruit babies. This candle, it smells so good. Found this ring holder, it's so cute. She loves gold, so it's perfect. Makeup headband. Satin pillowcase. Waist scalp serum. Laneige lip mask. Drunk elephant moisturizer, so good. Next, reusable under eye patches. I tried these and I love them. I also got the floor one skin gym gua sha sorry if i said that wrong heart eye brightener i got so many compliments when i use this so moon lip treatment also really good this bracelet set a love you more bracelet vlogalotti's high ponytail hat it's so cute just in case you want to gift anything i'm sending you these really cute gift bags and that's pretty much it i'm so excited all the info to enter will be on my instagram good luck guys pause on spring cleaning let's go shopping instead i get easily distracted found a cotton candy machine blue raspberry and pink vanilla pink prime yes please home goods this is so cute to put homemade drinks in hazel's getting us more and campfire this is cute found this i really need it now i'm at five below look how cute yep getting this pinata for hazel's birthday I went to ikea for new sheets so i can do this my bed's pink now i love it also got this new stuffed animal oh my gosh there's so much I'm doing another giveaway so that's what everything else is for still have to get a few more things so i'll be back in the morning or tonight depending on if i can find everything else i need but anyways i'm so excited Yoda. I'm bored, so I'm gonna try and set up one of those really cute flower photo shoots. It's between this or cleaning my car. Just setting up the flowers. Half of these are fake. Okay, they're all in vases. Now I'm gonna position them. This is going in the sink. I'm holding this one so it needs to go right here. Supposed to look like I'm filling the vases with flowers. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna set up my lights. Okay, but the lighting. Wow, I feel so professional. Okay, this is my outfit. Just got back from the grocery store vibes. I brought flowers home, you know. Time to fix my lips. Here first, this one's spicy. Anti-heat. Let it sit. 
burns a good bite in the middle of the night. My lips. It's a tough That's the lip combo. So cute. It's so cute. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm posting them after this video, so let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm excited. Parts here returning the pink palace. That's what they call it. It's so cute. Look how cute the wall is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going into the studio. Oh, so look at this. This is insane. We're gonna do a shopping spree right now. Fill to the top with every shade of every product. Thank we you. We were here for a little cutie tour. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to do a restock video. Mind if I do? Look how cute this is. Love these lashes. So these are so pretty. And we're opening up a new drawer. Bag number two. I don't even know where to start. Right now. The original eyeshadow primer. Oh, oh my god, look at this room. About to get shave match. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Didn't know they had upstairs. So crazy. Anyways, look at the view. Oh my god. Okay, this is insane. I'm already back home. I'm doing a giveaway for when I hit 10 million, so majority of this is for you guys. Also sharing with friends and family, but this is literally insane. Huge thank you to Too Faced for taking us on this trip. It was so much fun and I will never forget. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and organize my jewelry for obvious reasons. It's bad. This took me an hour to untangle. Basically making my own jewelry closet. Okay, first this mess. Almost done, just need this. Finally done. I forgot about a lot of these. Putting everything on the shelf. Earrings. These are so cute. Next bracelets. Now I'm putting my rings on these stands. I couldn't fit them all, but these are my favorites. Also, why? Every time. Still need to figure out the rest of my necklaces. I was able to fit everything. I think it's so cute. Now I just have all my accessories and then my jewelry. Love this so much. Especially this part with the hangers. I should probably organize my perfume next because... And this entire room, honestly. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm moving again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Can you imagine? Anyways, we're opening PR. Okay, I'm doing the colorful one first. <laughs> watched that back and realized I need lotion. Oh, I have a good idea for a flavor. I can tell you an honest thing too. I don't like grape soda. It gives water that was left in a car in 100 degree weather, but it's the only thing you have to drink because you're choking on a piece of chip. But if it's from Poppy, if you like grape, you would love this. This is my flavor. I drink this multiple times a day. Thank you, Poppy. Taste to the only phone case I use. They let me pick these out. So cute. Thank you. Char charms. I buy this stuff anonymously. Yeah. Charms for your cups. Look at this one. Oh, I forgot to press three minutes. I'm not used to it. Anyways, I'll see you in part two. Why do I do this every time? I just need to not open Amazon after midnight because it shows me cute things like this. First, these coasters look so cute. I'm in love. I think I want to buy two more. Purple matches. Gofi sent me this. It's a cylinder floor lamp. I feel like my living room needed something unique, so that's where this is going. Um, this is really cool. There's a bunch of different animated patterns. My favorite is this one. And this one because it's a fish tank. I'm getting another one for the other side, but it looks so cute. Next, these pink and purple cups came in this really cute box. Thought they were going to be glass, but they're acrylic. It's fine. Look how cute this cloud tray is. I can use it for my rings, but I'm going to use it as a spoon rest. Just imagine you're cooking. Oh, where do I put my spoon? On oh, my spoon rest. Moving on, more cups. These are different. You can use them with the straw or without because it closes on the top. Somebody take my card away. I'm going to put all of this on my Amazon store under things I recently bought. And I'll see you in part two because I bought some more. Um, it is 9 o'clock at night, and this white box was just delivered to me. This box is huge. It says my name. I'm scared. I was told the Too Faced team wanted to send me something, so I think this is it. Pause to read if you want to. Thank you so much, Too Faced. Let's open this box. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Hold on. What? This cannot be real. Oh my god. I have never... This is the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. This is so sick. Seriously, full circle moment. There was a part of my life where I could not afford to be buying makeup. One thing I worked really hard to save for was a better than sex mascara. I was finally able to buy one and I've been in love ever since. I think about those moments to now where I actually got to meet the team. They took me on my first makeup brand trip. They sent me PR all the time. They sent me a cake for 10 mil. Like, what? So full circle and I'm so grateful. Thank you to you because brands would not be sending me stuff like this if it weren't for you guys. I love you so much. Too Faced, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for sending this to me and thank you for being so incredible to me. Mwah! Happy time out. I don't know why I bought this, but here we are. I'm actually really excited. Toppings go here. First M&M's. I was so close. Sprinkles. <laughs> much better. And crushed Oreo. Moving on. Now I'm gonna make the base. One cup of whole milk. A cup of heavy whipping and little cream. This reminds me of my recipe videos. I was cut off. I don't think I'm supposed to whisk it, but I have no other options. It's bad. Now I have to pour it all in that bowl. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I have to wait 25 minutes. Love that this is happening at 2 a.m. My clock's wrong, I swear. Okay, here we go. You're supposed to pull this down. Some more cream, kind of. Some sprinkles. They kind of go everywhere, but other than that, this is the best thing. So cute. Part two of the mystery box Daniela sent. There's so much in here. Again, thank you, Daniela, for sending this. We have some ring pops. She has her own shop called Candy Boulevard, so if you see any candy in here you want, you can order from the link in her bio. This is so cute. It's a bath gift set. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my gosh. Pink lemonade candy straws. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. Flamingo lollipops. My heart. Cinnamon discs. Oh, perfect. A sticker that says you deserve it. I don't. I really don't. It's a binder zip case. I don't have a binder, but my sister does. My voice is starting to hurt. Ketchup 
and mustard on a chair on a freaking bench strawberry sour power straws yay slaps i see these on her page all the time and i've always wanted to try them Are these bullies yes they're bullies helados well i tried i'm trying to learn how to speak spanish fluently i know i'm colombian and i don't speak spanish that's a story for another time how please explain how there's still stuff in here and it's still so heavy okay part three is coming soon. Part two, I got different color tape for all the boxes. This room's gonna be pink, and I've already done that side, so I just need this one. I have a feeling I'm gonna be here till 3 a.m. Oh well. First door done. This is kinda sad, but I can't wait to set everything up in the new place. I'm putting all the loose lip glosses in this container. I'm so proud of myself. I got rid of a lot of palettes I don't use. These are mine, and I kept a pile for my sister. One day I'll wash my makeup brushes, but for now I'm throwing them in here. Okay, I'm almost done. I just need the workout drawer. Do I just skip this and start my pantry? Yes, no, yes, no. See you in part three. Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna unpack and organize my new kitchen. I have an island now, by the way. First, I'm organizing all the cups. I think I'll put all the clear ones on one shelf. I don't know. Got my nails done, by the way. I think they're so cute. Little girls. These remind me of being in chemistry. Next shelf's gonna hold my water bottles. And these ones on the other side. Almost forgot about these clear ones. Lastly, all my mugs are going on top. This is my favorite mug. It's so cute, except this part. Why'd they ruin it? Okay, I'm finally done. I'm gonna put my cutting board back and my flower vase. Still have to figure out how to decorate this area, but at least this part's done. Anyways, next I'm organizing my Starbucks cups. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Resetting my entire house part nine. Just kidding, I'm moving. First, I'm gonna pack my Starbucks cups. I can't wait to show you my new place. Anyways, here's my box. There may not be a good idea, but I'm taking the straws off so I can lay them in the box like that. Now I'm gonna put this paper on top. I have to hurry so I'm not here till 3 a.m. So please enjoy this day tomorrow. Bye, honey. Boo. I'm gonna keep the keychains in this container. That didn't work, so I put them in here. How to get a second box? Also, how do I pack the straws? Found a basket with the lid, so I'm putting them in here. I might as well put these in there too. I wrap the glass ones in foam, and I'm done. Oh my god. Yeah. So I have to pack my entire house. So I'll see you in part two. Part four. I'm putting these bins on the top shelf. I'm gonna fill those last, but I spaced them out better. Now I'm putting my favorite bags on this shelf. Next, I'm filling the main part of the closet, which will clear up at least the bed. I tried color coding, kinda. Let's just see if it looks good. Where's my shirt? Hoodies. Sweatshirts and crop tees. How oh, is this my closet right now? It doesn't feel real. It's so pretty so far. Da, 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 da. This side's gonna be my casual comfy side. Just made that up. I basically more sets. Putting my leggings on this shelf. I'm using the shelf divider to separate flared and regular. I'm also putting bodysuits here because those are comfy. That's it for this side, but what do I put here? The other side's gonna hold my dressier clothes. I think I'll put all my bottoms on these. Shorts, pants, sets, everything else. That's pretty much it. I'm going to Vegas in a few hours for my birthday. I'll do the bins when I come back. Actually, when we get back, because you're coming with me. Hi, Hazel. Yeah, come, come. You have too many toys. It's partly my fault, but still. We need to declutter. Up, ballerina. Good girl. I got a smaller toy bin from Home Goods. Whatever I can't fit in there is going to get donated. We're definitely keeping this elephant. I'm just going to put it in there. Yeah. What about this skateboard? Are we keeping it? Yeah. I'm just going to slowly put it in there. You're literally... You have- it's not Easter anymore, okay? Can I at least have the bunny? We're getting nowhere. We're for sure keeping your Capri Sun. She's distracted. She loves this pool party toy. Oh, walked out? Like, okay. No, she loves the bear and raccoon. Keep and Craig. Oh, welcome back, I guess. She's not really into burrow toys anymore. This one has crabs in it. It's so cute, but she doesn't play with them. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm just gonna take everything <laughs> out. Which ice cream cone do you want to keep? Okay, we'll keep that one. Also her favorite, so I'm keeping all of them. Keeping the sunscreen because it's cute. Yay, you did it! High five! Yo, what up? I'm gonna decorate my living room for Christmas. I'm so excited. First, I'm gonna use these Govee neon lights and white lights, a DIY candy cane, and a snowflake on my wall. Wish me luck. Starting with a snowflake, I'm putting it on this wall. Almost done. Just need one more. This is so cute. Time for the candy cane. I'm putting it right there. Ready for my masterpiece? I tried doing swirls in the middle, and I think it looks so good. Now, I'm gonna add Govee Christmas string lights to my tree to give it more color. Lastly, I'm adding these Govee LED strip lights to my couch and my TV stand. Oh my gosh, you guys, everything turned out so perfect. Look at the candy cane. I DIY'd it to where it's white and red on the inside. I think it's so cute. And the snowflake, I'm obsessed. Even did white and red under the couch and the TV stand. You can even see the Christmas tree. This room is definitely giving Christmas. Love this so much. Well, can I, guys? I'm gonna be here for the next month. Part three, it's dry. I'm gonna sand the edges so it's more smooth. First side's done. This is the only sandpaper I have left, so it's not gonna be the smoothest, but oh well. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna try and paint this now. I decided on pale blue with a glow in the dark layer on top. Just got done with the last layer. Now I'm gonna turn off the lights and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay. Why does that creep me out? No, thank you. Now I have to figure out how to get this onto the- Maybe I can just slide it on. Oh my gosh, I did. I'm gluing it together with this, but there's a problem. Not all the edges lay flat. Oops. I'm putting weights on them. Here it is. Ta-da! 
It's perfect. Don't mind the mess in the background, but oh my god. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. I may be doing a giveaway soon, just saying my soul left this earth when I saw this cup. Shout out to the person in front of me who gave me this cup. It's so beautiful. Las Vegas water bottle and tumbler. I'm from there. I had to. And it's so cute. Here's one more thing. This box. Beautiful. I don't know how to feel about the purple dome cup, but it's there. This one is so cute for Halloween. This one, it's giving a decorative pillow. Like, let's go to Barbara's house. This is what you'd see. It's, it's not a bad thing. I love the peach straw. And this one, super pretty. I love them all. I can't wait to display them. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. <laughs> Waited outside for three hours in the dark for cups. Oh well, this is the first one. She cute, she cute. Okay, this one's kind of ugly, but I didn't want to have FOMO, so I got her anyway. I think I'm going to trade it for something I do like. This was my favorite one. Oh, girl. Hi, you guys must have gotten here pretty early, huh? I just pulled up like five minutes ago. Oh, look, they're opening the doors. Yeah, someone did that, and they got a whole bunch of these. I got this blue stainless steel one. The straw, though, it's so cute. Like, everything matches. I usually don't get water bottles, but this one was so cute. Am I right? Like, they all go together. <laughs> so hard to find so i hope i don't break it because it's glass i also found this one these remind me of jello so i've been calling them the jello cup don't know what i feel about this one i might do a trade and this one also a trade now i get to organize them i'm so excited what? i'm actually pretty proud of myself for this one here's another one of my 3 a.m purchases it's actually 3 a.m anyways i'm gonna make 3 a.m ring pops what i'm doing one cup of strawberries fourth of a cup of honey and half a lemon and for the other side, I'm doing blueberries and blackberries. Imagine these dipped in tahini. Now I'm gonna freeze them. RIP to my thumbnail, by the way. Good night. Good morning. I'm so excited. Let me try to pop one out. Oh, wow. This is how I look with the glow filter. I wouldn't know how to act. Okay, let's try these. Mm hmm. This is so good. Imagine banana. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Well, a few. A honey pot plush. Now I have <laughs> honey boba bear. This. I'm just kidding. Um, this stuff though, like, oh. I'm spraying sour spray on my face and then this really. Wait, I should have made a three minute video. Water bottle drying rack and it holds strong. Okay, so like you have a cutie, right? And then you just go like this with the little ring thing and it's just easier to open. I get really motivated at 3 a.m. So I bought a shelf. Basically, when I buy something for a video or a company sends me product for a video, instead of throwing it around my room on the floor or just random places, I will organize it on here. <laughs> One of my 3 a.m. purchases. Well, if you only have one bag this time, and that's because all the other cups were not it, but this one. How cute it is. Oh my gosh. It's my new favorite. I know I say that a lot, but okay, this one, it looks normal, right? Bam, portal. <laughs> I was craving peeps, and then I don't know what happened after that. It's inflating. I love peeps. I'm gonna cry. Mostly because it's almost 4 a.m., but still, it's so cute. Pretty sure it goes outside, but I'm gonna keep it in my living room. Anyways, I got a desk and a few things for it, so I'm gonna be setting that up next, so I will see you tomorrow. Why? Just why? Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Also, I just got my nails done. I love that. Basically, a giant cube that lights up, and you can use it as a chair. But I'm gonna use it as a nightstand. Just kidding, a chair. Just kidding, it's 4 a.m., and I can't decide. Can you imagine the pictures? <laughs> this is why I shop at 3 a.m. Okay, do I use it as a nightstand or a vanity chair? Also, if you want one, search Glow Cube Chair on Amazon. It'll pop right up. Or if you want a link, I'll put it on my Amazon page in my bio. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl if I keep buying things at 3 a.m. Ice cream band-aids. Um, the box alone is so cute, but then look at the band-aids. Uh, printed fruit rinsing thingies. I don't know. I just put cherries in them. This Pisces candle, because I'm a Pisces. Says what a day, and I dropped it. But I'm bestie. Yeah. Power sponge and AirPods case. This is my favorite one. It's a fluffy journal, but it's like checkered. It's so cute. A self-care book because a milk frother and it comes with a stand ready. Oh my God. A bubble vase for a flower, a tulip. I don't know. What I ordered, what I got. I thought it was gonna be the same size as a normal. <laughs> Lastly, um, a cloud pillowcase and that candle. I'm gonna go clean them. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Literally just wearing them on my feet. These flower things, but I don't think you understand. They go in your vent. So now my car is cute and stuff. Cow print pillow covers. These bins for like skincare. They're so small. And I thought they were cute, you know? I finally got a sunset lamp. Expect this to be in every single video I do for the rest of my life. Thank you. So everything I just showed you is on my Amazon page under 3 a.m. purchases. Also, update on the mirror. There is no update. I bought clay though. Just, I'll see you in part. Usually I can explain. This time I can't. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Look how cute this is. I can't. I cannot. It comes apart just like the real cup. <laughs> just like the real cup. I got two of the icy white sets because I'm planning a giveaway. I found this dark green gridded cup. It reminds me of grass. Okay. I'm just gonna go quick. <laughs> I had to get two just in case one broke. Everyone 
everyone's calling this one the jeweled cup i got it in peach and dark green pink and black and green water bottle dark green stainless steel this is a color changing cup i'm not sure what color it changes into but both of them. Couldn't find this one in a venti, so I went with grande. Stainless steel one. As you turn it, it changes colors. Same with this one and the straw. <laughs> Try not to get grandes, but this one reminded me of candy cane. Never seen one like this before. This one is a mixture of those two put together. What? I'm running out of time. Those two. Looks bad in a mess, but it's a sorted mess. So this is my pile, which is probably really bad. But this is for gifts and some giveaways I'm planning. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. I don't even know what Stony Clover Lane is, but I saw an outfit before it dropped, and I had to go get it because I mean, come on. first this cooler, yeah. You name it. And that's why I bought it. Dog toy leash and bandana for Hazel. Okay, hold on. I think she likes it. This cute paddle set. I found these patches and duffel bag. I'm gonna put them on right now. There you go. I guess you just stick them on. Oh my gosh. Wait. I'm doing cherries for the fifth time. I can't get it centered. I feel like it's. I think I got it. I don't know. But anyways, I got this bag too. It's so cute. Next, this clear backpack and a beach bag. Sandals and a beach towel. Lastly, these cups. The straws are heart shaped. And I got a charm set. I feel like I need a new routine. I can't keep doing this. I understand how the time changes so fast. Like, I feel like I've only been standing here for a minute. That's probably my sign to go. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. I literally suck at camping because I bring things like this, but it's fine. How is it almost 4 a.m.? I have to hurry and stock this. Next, graham crackers. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Papa Bear. I didn't know how else to organize the marshmallows, so I'm putting them in these Ziploc bags. Look how perfect these fit in here. Ready? I also got this. It's supposed to help you make the perfect s'more, so that's going to go on the side. Yep, that's basically it. My camping trip also just got canceled. Good thing I got a s'mores roast. Mm -hmm. No excuses, but what am I to do now? Ta-da! I bought a mini fridge at 3 a.m. Before I stock it, I'm going to decorate the outside. I couldn't find a white fridge, so I'm wrapping it in this vinyl. Now I'm cutting out these shapes and sticking them onto... I don't think this is going to look good. It's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> Lost one. It's so ugly. <laughs> I had a totally different image in my head. Skipping <laughs> very much, Yoshi is on the way to my house to retrieve some eggs. Not my intention. <laughs> Next step, stocking the fridge. Yo, what up? I got a package in the mail today from Miles. This is a swap, so I have no idea what's inside here, so I'm excited. All I know is that the theme is self-care. Can I just say, this box smells like blueberries. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love this. Kind people are my kind of people. I love anything watermelon. Is this Haribo or Haribo? How do you pronounce that? This is so cute. It's a makeup brush cleaning mat. And it ha oh, it sticks onto your wall. Oh, mirror counter is what I was trying to say. This is a lychee sleeping mask. <gasps> some chocolate i've never had these before this is so fun you guys should tag a creator you want me to swap with next i'm trying to figure out what smells so good we got some eye masks i love strawberry pocky oh my gosh next we have this it's like wrapped up let me unwrap it real quick <gasps> no you freaking didn't miles it's wet there's still so much in the box i'm gonna have to do a part two but it should be up right now i'm still trying to become that girl my style is next but first i'm gonna make an aesthetic clothing rack Blah, i can't talk today okay i'm almost done i just need this side but what are those extra screws for these are so cute. I found them on Walmart's website at 3 a.m. They're LED signs, but I'm going to use them as hangers. I'm also going to use normal ones in white. Wow, I love it so much. Now I'm going to add some of my favorite clothes. Just kidding, I don't have any favorite clothes. Just these shoes. And this sweatshirt I got two days ago. It's so cute. Yeah, I want to dress cute, but I don't know how to. So if you guys want to help me, comment your favorite clothing brand. Next step, I'm going to be doing some clothing try-on hauls once I get some stuff in. So yeah, wish me luck. Just in case, the rack is on my Amazon storefront. These are from Pretty Little Thing. That's from White Fox. Those hangers are from Target, and those are from Walmart. Part five, I'm gonna hang eucalyptus onto my shower head with a hair towel. Why haven't I done this before? It looks so good. I've also never put a tray on my toilet before. It's 4 a.m. Haha, -ha. why do I do this to myself? Um, at least I have a cute bathroom. I just filled this with lush bath bombs and I'm putting them on the shelf. I got this candle at Home Goods. It says, Cupid, you're fired. I had to get it. The last thing going on the shelf is this book, and it's random, but it's so cute. I almost forgot lotion. I'm putting that on top. I feel like I'm in my dream bathroom. Almost done. Last thing I need to do is restock my cabinets and drawers, so please enjoy this ASMR while I do that. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done. Now you know how to make a glow spa. Good night. Yoda. I'm still trying to become that girl, but I can't be that girl without a cute entryway. <laughs> okay, one of my lights just fell on me. Anyways, first I'm gonna hang up the mirror. Okay, this is my favorite 3 a.m. purchase I've ever made. I have to clean it though, it's very dirty. I got this acrylic table from Home Goods. That's gonna go in the middle. Now I'm gonna decorate. I found these books on Amazon. I thought they were so cute. I'm gonna use the orange and yellow. Look how cute this chunky mug is. I'm gonna put it on top of the books. And a squiggle candle right behind it. I'm not sure what to do with the other side, so I'm going with this plant. A bubble candle that smells so bad, but it's really cute, so it's fine. Lastly, a tray. Clear or checkered, though. Yep, that's pretty much it. I love it so much. Next, I'm finishing part two of my Starbucks cup. I think it looks better without the rug. Anyways, okay. Part three, I have an idea. What if I turn my glow spot closet into a mini store slash pop-up shop? 
So that's what we're doing. First, I'm going to show you what I got. Also, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. What do I do? I found these smiley face bath bombs at Lush. I almost KO'd when I saw them, but just wait. I also had sad faces. Now I can properly take a sad bath. I also found these cloud ones. This one's really cool. You can actually open it and there's stuff inside. Like, what is that? Candy cane bubble bar and this ghost. Checkered bar soap. Apparently, Play Doh soap is a thing. So, yeah. I got that. This is a gift. This is for me, of course. I want to try it out too. Last thing from Lush are these. You pour it in your hand in the shower and it's body scrub, basically. These are from Target. They're shower steamers. This one smells like Fruit Loops. Can someone run to Target and tell me I'm wrong? Like, is my nose broken? I smell Fruit Loops. Why don't I? These are always sold out. Mini Tree Hub body scrub and I got the bigger one. Lollipop soap and these jars to put everything in. I'm gonna go start organizing everything. I'll be right back. Welcome to my car. I don't even want to show you the bag. I'm gonna try to clean and restock my car. First, let's go to the car wash. Now I'm gonna throw away all the trash. This is really embarrassing. Ew. Why does Hazel have so much hair? I'm cleaning the windows. Time for the car slime. I've seen people do this. Oh, it actually works. Okay, now I'm gonna restock. I'm gonna take everything out and replace it. Now I have a use for this bucket that's been in my car for so long. And my ghost keychain. This looks so good. In here, I just have lotion, a pen, teeth whitener, nail brush. Yeah, I found these zip bags on Amazon. I thought they were so perfect. Hair stuff in this one and girly things in this. I'm gonna stock the doors now. This is so cute. I have no more time. Lights are in, cars clean. Yay. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without an aesthetic mirror, so I'm gonna paint mine. First, I'm taping it. It's supposed to look like a portal, so I'm doing three sections. First section will be pale blue. It's not going back now. Okay, that's cute. That's actually cute. Wait, yeah, next dark blue. I'm gonna try to aesthetically paint this for you guys. It's not working out. <sighs> I give up. No, I don't. Now I'm peeling the tape off. Um, I don't think I did this right. It's peeling off because I didn't prep it right. What about a nice ombre? I'm gonna peel all the paint off and try this again. Maybe not the same design. Can't wait to see you in part two. And yes, it is 3 a.m. Grab some limes. Wash them. You're gonna need about eight of them. Cut the lime into pieces that look like this. To do that, cut a lime. Cut it in half again. Cut it in half again. Cut it in half again. Put the limes into a blender. Change of recipe. We're only gonna be using five limes because I just realized it's just me and Daniel here. Okay, okay. Add in three quarters of a cup of sugar, half a cup of condensed milk, and you'll need about four cups of water. And we're blending! We are blending! Yes! We are blending! Oh, snap! Grab a bowl with a strainer on top and pour your mixture in. See, we don't need all that. We don't need none of that. Put the mixture back into the blender and add three more cups of water. Blend that one more time. Grab a pitcher and pour it in. Oh yeah. Stir. Grab your cute cups out. <laughs> now you know how to make Brazilian limeade. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. <sighs> wow, what the? I'm going apple picking with my family. So let's get ready for it. First, Starbucks. Instead of my usual refresher, I'm gonna try the apple crisp macchiato. Good. Here's my apple basket. I'm gonna bring a picnic blanket, some water, snacks, and some hand wipes I just put in this. Almost forgot a portable charger. We're gonna be taking lots of pictures and videos. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm so excited. We are out here and it is beautiful. It's so cold and I lost a nail, RIP, but I got apples so it's all good. Yo, what up? I love the way I organize my makeup and skincare. It's so convenient until I have to do my everyday makeup. I basically use the same products every day, so I have to go through every single drawer just to find them. So I got these bathroom trays to put the product. Uh, this is the next day, guys. I can't go. I'm going to put the products I'm currently using on them, so I only have to go to one spot. Vanity drawer. Vanity. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try the drawer first. Starting with makeup, my favorite primer right now is this one. Colourpop Tinted Moisturizer, I'm always using these. It's gonna chill in the back, but I'm gonna put my beauty blenders in it. Fenty Contour Stick, It Cosmetics Blush. More blush by Colourpop. Benefit and NYX for my brows. I use clear mascara on my brows too. Better than sex mascara. I'm actually gonna put the smaller items in here so it looks less cluttered. Baking and translucent powder. Too Faced Lip Injection and NARS Lip Tint together. Yes! An eyelash curler. And some setting sprays. I forgot to change it to three minutes, so really quick, this is skincare. Bye. Now everything is all in one spot and I can switch out products when I want. Yo, what up? I never thought I'd be making this series. Products that change the freaking game! Ugh. This shower head is all over TikTok. I'm going to show you how it works and why I'm so crazy about this. Where I live, my water is contaminated with heavy metals, bacteria, and chemicals that are super harsh and bad for your skin. The stones on the shower head filter all of that out. If you jam out in the shower like me, now you have a maraca. Hey, hey, hey. Asher! Oh! On a serious note, there are three settings. Bam, bam, and bam. Do you do that? No. We. I've never been so excited about a shower head, but it just makes me want to shower like 50 times a day. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to shower now.
Yoda. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, but for my new house. <laughs> Took me 17 times to say that. First is cutting board from Nordstrom. It's wavy. I've never seen a wavy cutting board. Once I clean my dump site, it's gonna go over here somewhere. This is from Etsy. It's a cloud and a cube. That's all. It makes me very happy. You can't stop looking at it. It's really cool. Next, an oil diffuser from Seasons. It's giving very much a life in the dream house. I'll figure out how to use that later. Everything else is from Amazon, so I'll just put it on my storefront. But next, I got these disco ball drink stirs. Hey, so stop looking at me. Next, I found this tray. It's also wavy. I think I'm gonna use it for my kitchen sink to hold my soap and lotion. This face, it's so cute, and I'm putting tulips in them, which are also from Amazon. But anyways, they feel real. But they smell like chemical. Really bad. Hopefully that goes away. I saw this in pink, but I really like the green. I'm running out of time. I'll see you in part two of decorating my room or unpacking my filming room. I can't decide. I was told very very hibiscus is back, so I'm at Starbucks. Hi, can I get a very very hibiscus refresher with extra berries, please? And can you make that a venti size, please? I'm so excited. I haven't had one of these in a couple of months, so yay. Here we go. Ah, yeah. Wow. Wow. It's really good. Yes. I feel like I can do anything. Trick or treat. Unpacking my filming room part two. Now I'm gonna build the makeup table. Finally got a drill, you guys. I feel very professional. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Boat Bear. I'm almost done. I have a few more screws. Then I have to try and flip it upside down. Oh, is this? Oh, it's not even heavy. Okay. How am I gonna get this on top of the table? This is so heavy. Oh, okay. I can't believe I did that. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm gonna screw in the light bulbs. I think I lost my patience. Not mine. Okay, sorry. I can't stop jumping around. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's like a dream. I can finally start reorganizing my makeup. It's gonna take me all night. You know what? I'm going to bed. Just kidding. Just kidding again. I will see you in part three. Good night. Part three, it's very echoey in here. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. The only thing I know is how I want my shoes organized. So I'm starting there and I'm going to wing everything out. First, I'm building all the shoe boxes. Really cool. They have a door. I wear a seven and a half, so my shoes are going to look so small, but it's fine. Twelve more. Five more. I've been here for so long. Finally done. Now I'm going to stack them along the wall. Sorry, I'm just so happy. I don't think I have enough, but we'll see. I brought most of my favorite ones, so let's put them in the boxes. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Mama Bear. Just putting these on top for now. Definitely gonna need more boxes, but it looks so good. Now I'm gonna organize my workout clothes. I've always wanted a workout section, so that's gonna be this side. First, I'm putting in these tension rods. The workout sets are going here. Instead of, well, I can't even talk. 3 a.m. again. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna hang these up. Just wow. Um, can't wait to finish everything else. I'll see you in part four. Wow. Starbucks, congratulations on 50 years and cheers to many more. They also gave me this really cute gift box that I will be keeping for the rest of my life. Um, let's open it. It did come with this cup, a note with a gift card in it, medium roast coffee beans, and a hot cup. It's so cute. Thank you, Starbucks, and happy 50 years. Wash your hands. Grab a bowl. Add in about a half a cup of frosting. And one cup of powdered sugar. Mix that together. I'm just using a spoon. About halfway through, you can start using your hands to mix. I'm going to do the same thing with another color. Okay, hold on. Mix until you can hold it in your hand. And that's it. Now you know how to make DIY Play-Doh. I'm going to mix the two colors. Ha ha ha. I'm making purple. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is fun. Now you want a taquito? No problem. I got you. Hold on. One second here. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you want something to drink with that? No problem. This is our specialty cup. It's gonna be $59.99, but it's fine. You pay for gas, right? Here you go. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how to make the coolest thing, I think. I'll see you tomorrow. I've been wanting to declutter my cleaning closet for the longest time. But I'm saving that for the next video. We're going to be reorganizing my dog's things. I found this three-tier cart from Home Goods. I'm going to be putting the treats on the top tier. Let's fill these jars. I love that they come with chalk. <laughs> what? Chalk. I'm actually using a chalk marker to label them instead. We have the biscuits, jerky, bully sticks. These smell so bad, but they're her favorite. This jar is going to hold her dental treats. I also got one for her freeze-dried treat and one for her training treats. By the way, I got these jars at Burlington. For the middle tier, I got these two gray baskets. These baskets will hold anything we need for walks. In the first one, I'm holding leashes, collars, and harnesses. The second one is going to hold her portable food and water bowl, her portable tree container, and her poopy bag holder. The last tier will hold all the grooming items. These are some wipes for her stinky Dorito feet. I got another basket to hold her brushes. If you have a dog that sheds like crazy, try this brush. It gets so much of the loose hair out. It'll also hold her toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, and an extra poopy bag jar. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Deep cleaning my nail cart because it's so bad right now. I'm just going to start by taking everything off the cart. 
Wow. Okay, the first shelf is done. Let's see how long this takes me. It's about one o'clock right now. The second shelf is done. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now I'm just gonna wipe it down with the Lysol with hydrogen peroxide. This smells so good. Ew, there's so much dust. I took everything out of the bins. Now I'm gonna disinfect them with barbicide wipes. My setup is pretty much staying the same. I'm putting my most used products up top. Still keeping my nail tips and dual forms on this side. Um, wow! I forgot to mention I wiped all the little stuff with Barbicide too. I'm finally on the last shelf and it's three o'clock. Are you ready? Bam! Oh. My. God. Woo! Yo, what up? I'm gonna try to be that girl at Disneyland. I just had to get a bubble maker because, yeah. Next, key drinks and snacks is the confetti cake shake. It's so fruit. This is the lollipop and a piece of cake. It's really good. A cookie. Cotton candy. And the blue milk. Also, it has glitter in it. It's got a cute space soda. Carne asada fries. Not cute, but really good. Popcorn. Next shopping, I need to find the Starbucks cup. Oh my god. Ice chai is so good. This is cute. I need this and this. I can't decide. I think I'm gonna go with Snow White. Yeah. Two of these. Popcorn. These are all gifts, by the way. I forgot to mention. I'm trying to convince myself not to get these. Mint julep. A beignet. I wrote a bunch of rides, but I forgot to film it. <laughs> I've been wanting to buy this for so long, it's basically chalk wallpaper, and I'm gonna make a chalk wall. First, I'm cleaning the wall so that it sticks better. My walls are textured, so I'm using command strips to stick poster board to the wall so that it's smooth. Just like that, and I'm leaving a little gap on the side so the wallpaper has something else to stick to. I'll try my best to film me putting this on, but with my luck, I'm probably gonna mess it up. The start of the first side is up. Past all of the mess, you can see my clock. It's 9.05. Let's see how long this takes me. Oh, <laughs> It's 12.40. But... I finished, and now I'm gonna take some magnetic tape. I cut nine strips, now I'm sticking them to the wall. I'm taking the same tape, the scenery is divine by the way, and I'm cutting squares like this. Oh my gosh, these are rectangles. And I'm dabbing a little bit of crazy glue on it. And then you just lay the marker right on top. I wanted to make sure these were secure, okay? That way, I can do this. Can you imagine what it's gonna look like with all of them there? Exquisite! It is now three in the morning, I talk too much and get distracted, so I will see you in part two because i'm going to bed part two i gotta finish putting these on that took forever they're on now let's put them up a lot of you said i should store these horizontally which makes sense so i'll just fix them later and then i'll update you on my instagram or something this is the last one i'm so excited <gasps> wow it's not perfect but i'm just happy it came out decent I'm starting to draw on it and i've already messed up these markers are not the best but this is my fifth time doing this so it is what it is i'm also making a calendar which is the main reason why i wanted a chalkboard and i think it looks really cute so far yay I went a little overboard with all the colors because I was really excited about them, but I love this thing so much and I think I'm gonna redo it. But for now, this looks great and I can't wait to fill it out. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try to make a coffee candle. I don't know what I'm doing, but I've been winging it my whole life and it's gotten me this far. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm making the caramel drizzle, so I'm melting some wax for that. I'm heating up the jar and Hazel's going crazy. Now I'm just adding in a few drops of this candle wax dye and a few drops of this caramel latte scent. I'm waiting for this to cool down a little bit and my plan is to put it in this piping bag. <laughs> It worked! It actually worked! I'm using clear gel wax as my ice. Now I'm making the coffee. Here goes nothing. I'm trying to make a creamy brown color. I'm so excited. My place is going to smell like coffee all the time. I'm so scared. I don't want to mess this up. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so cute! Now let's make the whipped cream. I broke up a whole bunch of tea light candles and I'm gonna melt them in the microwave. Now I'm just whisking it and then I'm gonna put it in this piping bag. Okay, it kind of looks like whipped cream. Oh my god. Wow, it looks so real! Ah, it smells so good! It's so cute! It's Hazel's birthday and she's one years old now. <laughs> She's growing up. Let's make her some treats. Grab about a cup of watermelon, put it in a blender, and then add two scoops of plain yogurt. And we're blending! Once it looks like this, grab some molds and pour it in. I'm just using a measuring spoon. Aren't these molds so cute? For the next treat, all you need is one or two strawberries. Smash them with a fork and then put them in the mold, but don't fill it all the way. Fill the rest of it up with plain yogurt. Now put them in the freezer for a few hours. I also got her this gift and I put a little bow on it. One more gift I have to pick up, but her reaction to everything deserves a video on its own, so I'll see you later today. Grab a bowl, pour some chocolate into the bowl, melt the chocolate in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds. Your chocolate should look like this when you're done, and I got different colors from Amazon. Yay! Grab your chocolate and place it into the mold. You're gonna spread it around the walls. Also, you can use whatever molds. I'm using pumpkins, acorns, and cubes. Once the molds are filled, stick them in your fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, grab a baking pan and fill it with liners. They're done! Once you've taken them out of the molds, put them in your pan. That is just so cute. 
Fill in the bottom half with hot chocolate powder and top them off with marshmallows. Grab the other half and place it on a warm pan to melt the edges. Once the edges are melted, place them on top just like that. Put them back into the fridge for about five more minutes. Take them out and that's it. Now you know how to make hot chocolate bombs. There's the acorn, the red pumpkin. Okay, let's just try them. Here's my warm cup of milk. I've decided we're going with blue acorn. Hope this opens in time. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's bubbling. <gasps> that is so cool. Yay. And it's blue. I'm done with the smoothie bar. I'm going to make a lemonade bar. It's 11 11. Make a wish. Making this into a lemonade slash refresher bar. I don't know what else to call it. These kind of look like fish bowls. I feel like there's a popcorn kernel stuck in my gum. And I can't get it out. I'm filling the first jar with monk fruit. This one's going to have freeze dried strawberries. Oops. Can't forget the mangoes. Blueberries. This is for a thumbnail. Raspberries for the last one. Life pack. I put a Ziploc bag in here to make this jar look more full. Uh, Psych, like, wait, this is so cute. Okay, I got this from Home Goods, and I'm gonna put the lemons in it. Now I'm just topping off the honey. I got these mini reusable straws from Target, and I'm just putting them in this jar. Stirring sticks, and my favorite tea. Oh my god! Wow, this is the best one. We're almost at five million. I'll get a tattoo if we can hit five mil in the next ten seconds. Yo, what up? I made a DIY nail cart, so I'm gonna show you what's on it because I'm bored. Over here is where I keep my tools, like nail clippers, cuticle pushers, and a file. Here I keep my acetone, that's empty, slip solution, and a buffer. And underneath my tool tray, I keep little strawberries, which is so cute, some butterflies, and extra nail files. In the middle, I have my polygel brushes, which need to be cleaned, but they're so cute, they have little rhinestones on them. Then I have this little container that keeps, I don't even know what they're called, nail wipes. And my favorite cuticle oil, I love it, it's like holding a bubble. And on the right is where I keep all my gel polishes. I keep my dehydrator and primer here as well. On the second tier, I have a tray full of nail tips. My dual forms are on the bottom. The next tray has sanding bands and drill bits. This ring samples all the colors I have. I store that with my poly gel. In the back, I have barbicide, alcohol, and soak off. And on the bottom, I have a nail drill. It's perfect for beginners like me. A nail light. And a really cute dust collector. Not a pro at all. I got everything you see here from Amazon except the containers, and I watch a lot of YouTube. Part two, add a little over two tablespoons to each liner. And if you do that, you'll have less to clean. Woo! Preheat your oven to 350. Bake them for 15 minutes. Once you take them out, let them sit until room temperature. Once they're room temperature, I did not eat one, put it in your fridge for four to six hours. And they're done! Yay! Grab some mini Oreos and stick them on the top just like that. Now you know how to make Oreo cheesecake. They look as good as day! Let's try it. You mean we don't have milk? <laughs> oh, apparently we don't have milk, so I'm gonna have to drink this with ranch. Do you wanna have to do this? Okay, here we go. Oh my god, this is good. I want to scream, but I won't. I'm going to turn my hot chocolate bar into a smoothie bar. First, I got to get everything off the counter. Oh. Now I'm just spraying and wiping everything down. And we're cleaning. Yeah, cleaning. This is the new tiered shelf I got. It's so cute. Got these cute candy jars. You can find them on Amazon. Let's fill them. I'm filling the first jar with taro powder. This one with boba. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream protein powder. This one is getting filled with oats and chia seeds. I'm putting the jars on the top shelf. I'm using another jar for dried mangoes and dried strawberries. These smell so good. These are going on the bottom shelf. This jar that I found for honey is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm filling this one with super greens powder. I love this in my smoothies. I'm putting my magic bullet on the side here. I use it all the freaking time. It's so old. <laughs> this is the last cup I have. I might as well put it here. Okay. Wow! Oh my gosh, am I in a Pinterest ad? I almost forgot the scoops. Also, I wanted to say hi to all my new friends. We're almost at 4 million. Thank you so much for following me. After three hours of looking for this glitter, I found more and hopefully it works this time. Universe, hear me. Yo, what up? I need this glow in the dark cup. Now I'm just putting the tape on. I'm not sure if liquid is the way to go. I'm just gonna wing it and fill the whole thing. Pushing in the cabinet bumper. Yes, God. I'm cleaning it with an alcohol pad before the resin. I'm using UV resin this time and my nail lamp. I don't know if that's okay to do. I guess we'll find out here in a second. <laughs> That smells so bad. I looked it up and it's normal. Thank goodness. I'm gonna open a window. I'm also sealing this one. Oh my gosh. I did it. Okay, let's test it. This is what it looks like normally. This is the other one I made. It's like a snow globe. Hold on, let me shake it. Oh, do it, guys. Just do it. Bye.
like welcome to the fam i went to the dollar store and i found a whole bunch of cute stuff so i'm gonna do a short little haul first thing are these really pretty tweezers i can't believe the quality then we have an eyelash curler kind of crooked but it was a dollar cuticle trimmer i've been really needing one of these charcoal spa treatment mask and nose strips facial scrubbers they feel so weird beauty sponge i don't know how well that's gonna work makeup brushes these are wet and wild brushes but that's them up close then i got this bottle to where you put whatever you want in here and then when you press the top it sprays the liquid out did that make sense probably not then there's this thing which i get this all the time and this is bible and uh yeah that's it ball cleaning part six the sink come over here guys let me just show you how dirty it is Ugh. first i washed all of the okay, okay 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 daniel washed the dishes now i'm just throwing away these nasty sponges now i'm taking everything out and off of the sink these are the last two things and there we go i'm giving the sink a good rinse with hot water i clean my sink using baking soda i'm just gonna pour that all over i like to add dish soap and now i'm gonna show you a satisfying rinse wow okay not that satisfying i don't know where i learned this from but grab half of a lemon squeeze it all over your sink take what's left scrub your sink after you rinse it it's gonna be smelling good for days now that i've cleaned the top of the sink it's time to decorate first i'm taking these sponge holders i'm putting one on each side one side will hold this sponge and a copper scorer i'm also hanging this straw and bottle brush set on the handle and this side for bigger cleaning brushes i don't know what this is called but i'm going to show you what it's used for pour soap on top and it makes washing utensils so much easier now i'm just adding in a cute basket strainer got some hand soap and a lotion dispenser i added some leaves and this moonshine decoration and that's it you can get everything off of amazon or home goods fall cleaning part i don't even know anymore the closet your discretion advised hey yeah <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> First, I'm going to start by taking everything out of the closet. I cleared my office space, so everything is temporarily going here, on the floor. I'm starting with the floor first. Sorry if you see anything embarrassing. Everybody has chonies, okay? This will be load number five. Floor's done. Now I have to take out all of this stuff. But first, I'm going to do a load of laundry. I use a fourth of a cup of detergent and put it into this little compartment. Next, I use the blue downy and put it into here. Cheers. I don't even know why I said that. Next, I use these scent booster beads and I sprinkle them all over. Laundry booster. I know it's a lot, but this is how I get my clothes to smell so good. And lastly, some laundry sanitizer. Woo! I wish I had one of those fancy washing jars, the ones with like the touch screen, but this will do. This is great. This does the job. Back to the closet. I'm going to start with the top section. <laughs> <sighs> I am over it. Period. This shelf is now cleared. There we go. <sighs> I knew this was going to take a while. I'll be back. Fall cleaning my closet part two. Okay, well, let's continue taking everything out of here, starting from up there. Got my store because I'm short. What lotion do you guys use? Because I'm always ashy no matter what I do. Yeet. <gasps> a unicorn costume. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so making so much progress. Just kidding. I'm literally moving the mess to a different room. This was my prom dress. I use it as a scarf now. <laughs> this closet is never ending. I didn't know where to put the hanger, so I'm just putting them in this bucket. How do I even approach this? Let's see. This is what I have so far. I put all the shoes in this box. I'm going to try and separate the linens in one spot. One. Oh, now I just have to vacuum. And we're vacuuming! Yeah! Vacuum! Now I just have to sort everything. I'm gonna make a donate, trash, and keep pile. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, what up? I just bought my dream couch and it's on its way right now. It's white. Time to build it. Should be pretty easy. Just screw in the legs. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna set up the pieces. Not sure what I want to do. I think I'll do a U shape, actually. So, I found this cup today. It's really pretty. Anyway, moving on. Should I keep this on? Probably. Is this real? Just pinch myself. Ah. It's 3 a.m. and I'm decorating a couch. Hi, Kelly. Checkered blanket and these round pillows. That's all I have so far. I'm gonna cry. How is this happening right now? Well, good night, guys. It's like 4 a.m. This is your sign to do your laundry. I'll go first. Okay, I have piles now. Sorry if you see any chodies. I have darks, whites, bedding, towels, and colored clothes. And clothes that are still clean that I still need to put up. Let me show you why I like mesh laundry bins. Yeah. I do half a oh gosh. I do half a cup of this detergent. Let me just pour that more cream And then I get down with downy. Oops, I forgot these. I just made some space. I made a donation pile and I'm on the last load. I just have to put it away. Hey, okay, I'm done and my entire place smells like clean laundry. Hi, do you guys have the pink drink? Can I get a grande pink drink? And then, can I get a venti very berry hibiscus with extra scoops of berries, please? Yes, please. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm still getting familiar with this layout. Oh, no, you're 
Oh, totally fine. Thank you. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted this. I don't even know what it is. I said yes because it's free. Yeah. Never had the pink drink before. Here we are. I'm gonna try it on camera. Oh my god. This is definitely one of those like you gotta keep drinking it to like it. I'll probably never order this again. And I'll probably just eat the strawberries, but yeah. This is why I go to Starbucks. Very berry hibiscus, extra scoops of berries. You just can't go wrong. Look how beautiful this is. I want to be this drink right now. Let's try the pee pee drink. Mmm, that's pretty good. I'm going into a five below for the first time. They have makeup, clothes, so much candy. Oh my gosh. They have a party section. Look at this disco ball. This is so awkward. I was being followed majority of the time I was shopping, which was kind of fun, but awkward because that's never happened to me before. Usually they say hi and leave. I literally didn't know what to do. But if you're watching this, sorry for being awkward. They had the mini washing machine and I just had to get it. How cute is that? I got the disco ball for my IG story concerts. If you don't know about those, go to my highlights. This is what I'm most excited for. Yeah. I got a yoga dice, cup noodles, and Oreo lip balm. Why are these so cute? Makeup removing cloth, squishmallows. I was really bored, okay? Aw. Are you serious? A back scratcher keychain. <laughs> and the sport game. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, what up? You guys ever buy workout stuff just to get motivated to work out? Well, that's what I did. So I'm going to show you what I got. Lots of... Is that hair Oh, and a lot of you guys want to know what I do for a living. I literally work at a call center. Hi, thank you for calling blah blah blah. My name is Kelly. Who'd have the pleasure of speaking with today? Oh, we're yelling. Oh, we're attacking me personally. I'm actually really grateful to have this job. It's how I'm able to pay my bills. You gotta do what you gotta do anyway. I got a yoga mat. It's pink. That's what it looks like laid out. Then I got this ab wheel. I'm actually really excited to use it. <laughs> I just like throwing the box. Then I got some ankle weights and hand weights. Next I got a thigh toner. Look at this. It's genius. I get cramps in my feet all the time. I don't know why, but I got a foot roller and listen. It has water in it so you can stick it in the freezer. Next, I got this cute jump rope, this mini workout ball, these bands that go from extra light to extra heavy, a yoga knee mat, waist trimmer, and some new workout clothes, and this water bottle. I just took my before pictures, and I'm just really looking forward to being able to walk to the stairs without feeling winded. Part two, the LED lights have arrived. I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? I'm putting all of the cups on this table because I gotta flip that upside down. Just kidding, I'm just gonna put them behind these two things. <laughs> Okay, I'm at the bottom of the other side. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Now I have to figure out, do I color code? Do I go by type? Okay, but where does this one go? Blue, green, or pink, purple? Because of the red. It's gonna have its own section. This one can go anywhere, but I'm gonna put it here because that looks good. Now I'm switching up where they are. I'm doing black on top, then blue, pink, and purple. As I get more cups, I think the last two shelves will look a lot better. What that was, but oh my gosh, ta da! It looks so good. Oh my god, oh my god. This is just casually in my living room. This is off. This is on. You know what song is playing in my head right now? <laughs> Y'all, I hope my mom doesn't see this, but her birthday dinner is in an hour and I forgot to get her a gift. Let's go do that. I did make this cup for her, so I'm gonna base the gift off of this. How do this gift card? Maybe I'll stick it in the cup. She did say she needed more straws, some snackies. Okay, let's go to Target one and this tissue paper or that one i think i'm gonna go with this one okay i think i found the one i'm back look how cute this is okay i have 20 minutes open that okay i'm gonna try to wrap the cup oh my god wait this is cute straws snackies bracelet card and gift card i don't even have a pen pinch and shake method it's so cute okay let's go give it yo what up i'm gonna make a last minute gift basket Courtney's almost here <clears throat> also i lost a nail that hurt Found this box and i'm filling it with this this is so cute matching pen eye mask lip mask this stuff is so good it's like liquid chapstick these are our favorite sponges so i'm grabbing two. Oh my gosh that's cute next snacks look what i found birthday cake is <laughs> hey i'm back and i got a few extra things fluff this up book is gonna go here it's the next day um i also got starbucks so i had to figure out how to carry everything upstairs <laughs> playing my favorite game called for the girls yay we got the spinner we got the cards let's do this okay let's spin it there we go ah! literally hate pink but we're gonna do this anyway ah okay it says prank call the 15 contact in your phone ask if their refrigerator is running wait do i really want to do that <laughs> literally my old boss <laughs> just do it dude i have them as the old man <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> Is your refrigerator running? Oh uh, yeah, I had a good question. Um, and that is why oh, I hit my head, and that is why I love this game. You want to go again? No. <laughs> Fine. Part two, let's take it out of the mold. I'm so excited. I didn't realize that this is royal blue. I thought it was dark purple. What? I was reading the comments, and I guess I didn't read the bag, but why does it still look purple to me? So, okay, I'm just starting here. Oh my god. I'm going to be so sad if this breaks. Oh, the sprinkles didn't stick. Please, 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 please. <gasps> okay. It doesn't look like a galaxy yet. Let me try putting on the edible glitter spray. I hope this works. Let's see. <laughs> well, I tried. It's not horrible. It's, you know, it's pretty bad. I can't find the little hammer, so I'm going to break it with this. <laughs> oh, so cool. Yo, what up? I did a pickup order from Target, so I'm gonna do a little haul. Oh my gosh, I said that so fast. So the first thing I got is this really cute gray throw blanket. This $40 Target gift card. Watermelon sugar cubes. Cotton candy sugar scrub. This is my favorite mask by Revolution. A really cute self-care journal. And some pens to match it. A weekly monthly planner. And this waiver I heard really good things about. And I had to get my favorite lip oil. Also, sorry about my dry scaly hands. My skin is probably going to be like this until the summer. Got everything else from Home Goods. This mug set says you're my avo half. How cute. Oh my... Goodness, this smells so good. And some bath bombs. You guys know I love organizing, so I got this cute acrylic makeup organizer. I hit the jackpot when I found these baskets. I love these so much because they have the metal handle, so I got two small and two medium. I almost forgot these two. I'm just kidding, this is actually a Valentine's Day giveaway. Enter, all you have to do is follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Share this with one person and comment down on this video. All the links are in my bio. The winner will be announced one week from today. Good luck! Yo, what up? I'm sure you know what this is. First, I got this blanket for my couch. I've never had a weighted blanket before. This thing is so heavy. Or I'm just weak. It's really pretty. I love it. Next, I found this ring display. I'm going to show you how cute this is. Hold up. I'm trying to organize my jewelry, so I also got one for bracelets. Oh. So cute. I'm excited. Next, I got me bare lamp. I have a collection of nightlights because I'm still afraid of the dark. I just get so claustrophobic in it. Anyways, this is cute. Next, I bought an organizer. Ziploc bag organizer. There's a theme with everything. I think I was in a cleaning mood. This 11-11 necklace, a Pisces necklace, and a Wooble. I saw it on Shark Tank. Yeah, you can learn to crochet a penguin. Anyways, that's it. That's. I'm just gonna freaking do this. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but if it does, my mom's gonna be so disappointed. I'm kind of scared, actually. Oh god. Okay. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna tell her this is where they put the needle. Okay, I'm gonna do my bottom now. Oh my god. Yikes. Oh my god. Mom. And hi, Chitty Fini. What's up? I have something to show you. Okay. <sighs> oh my goodness. What the hell did you do? <laughs> I got lip injections. No, you didn't. No, I really did. <laughs> You're stupid. What did you do? <laughs> no, I really did. I think they messed up. Look, she got lip injections and they missed <laughs> Grab a bowl. You'll need one cup of water and three eggs. Yay! Ah. Add in a few drops of vanilla extract. Oh, whisk that together. And we're whisking! Yes, whisking! Add in a bag of cake mix. I'm using Betty Crocker. And we're still whisking! Set that aside. Grab a donut pan. Grease it. It's easiest to put the mixture in a baggie and squeeze it in like this. And don't fill them all the way. Put it in your oven at 350. Oh, almost put it on the top rack. I don't know how long we're leaving that in for. We're just gonna wing it. While that's baking, grab another bowl. Add in one and a half cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of melted butter. Mix that together. If it's still clumpy, add more milk. It'll look something like this when you're done. I separated mine into two bowls and I'm adding food coloring. 10 minutes! It was 10 minutes! Place one side into the icing and put it on your plate. Add some sprinkles. Now you know how to make cake donuts. Let's try them. I got my leche. Let's try it. Oh, oh this is good! Decorating my room part four. Coughing <laughs> helps my voice a little bit. Anyways, part four. Decorating my room. <laughs> my voice! Okay, I'm just gonna whisper. I bought a few things to add. First, these LED lights. I'm gonna put them on this wall. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I also put one on my bathroom door. I drank some tea. My voice is feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna build this chair I got on Amazon. I'm screaming. I didn't realize how, sm <laughs> how small this was until it came in the mail. I basically just bought a chair for my dog. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I also got this really cute side table. 
look how cute this candle is it's my birthday month i like to celebrate my birthday all month long it's horrible I'm adding a self-care jar because i'm sick next this turned into a different video and water everything is really cute so far i love it especially the door so cute anyways bye guys i'm going to sleep yo what up i was gonna clean my car but i'm not feeling good today it's that time of the month and all i want to do is lie down and go to sleep and wait. i'm gonna show you what i got for it so far and i'll restock and organize it tomorrow first a visor makeup mirror my car lighting is yellow so i like that you can change the color and there's two mirrors leds for the inside of my car i'm most excited for this swinging craig for my visor this bag to organize stuff for some reason i like eating in my car so i got a vacuum to pick up the crumbs any trash can so i stopped throwing stuff on the floor i got the car slot hopefully it actually works i like to keep affirmation cards in random places so i got these for my car these are some of them i think they're so cute registration holder bunch of hand sanitizer this cup nothing to do with anything i just thought it was cute cleaning stuff this is one of my favorite brands and this acrylic box that's all i have so far next i'm actually gonna restock and organize my car see you in that video good night guys. yo what up i'm here with my bro what up john he's the uh he's the one who made the jay queasy if you guys remember that if you're og you remember that but anyway we got a hack okay we got a hack for you i've never seen this hack before so let's get it so first you're gonna open up one side of the box box or case case and this way you can figure out which side of the can is the top and which side is the bottom so we'll open it up. Ooh, that's the top right there. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fold the bottom part of the case underneath and set it down inside your fridge like this. Then you open up the other side of the case completely. Then you're gonna put your hand against the cans on the inside, grab the box with the other hand, and pull the box <gasps> out. Wait, Boom. what? Wait, Done. what? That's it. Wait, what? We're gonna do it again? He's gonna do it again. Do it again. We're doing it again. I just can't believe it. How, how did I not know? Yo, what up? I used to work at Bed Bath Beyond, and the one thing I loved doing was folding towels. So I'm gonna show you how I fold my towels. At Bed Bath Beyond, they have these tables with measurements on them. Since I don't have that, I'm just gonna use my hand. First, I fold the bottom up about the size of my hand. <laughs> no! <sighs> I had to give Hazel her own towel and a bone. Anyway, so you take the bottom, you bring it towards you, and you fold it to the top. And then you do the same thing one more time, like that. I'll turn it towards the right and fold it in half, like that, and then fold it in half one more time, and that's it. I normally do this on a table, but it's full of stuff right now, so I'm going to have to wash these right after. But I just love the way they look when they're folded like this. They're super fluffy. I love it. This is my linen closet, and see? I like it. I'm seeing a whole bunch of videos of people showing how they make their coffee, so I'm going to show you how to make mine. I'm going to put this in the sun to make it more aesthetic. Reality. Grab a cup and fill it with ice. I like a lot of ice. Oh my gosh, I broke the cup. <gasps> okay. Grab another cup, fill it with ice. I use the silk almond creamer and pour like that much in. I know it's a lot, just trust. Me. Then I get chameleon cold brew. I like the mocha, but this is all we had. And pour about that much in. Now stir. And now the best part, cocoa pebbles! Yeah, so just get some in there. Just top it off. It's okay, that's okay. You can eat those later. Oh my god, so good! Back to the sun, grab your straw. Also, everyone needs to know about the straw. Basically, you open it up in the middle, super easy to clean, and then you close it back up, and we do be saving the turtles. Though. Give it a little press press, and there you have it. Couldn't figure out how to use a beauty filter, so okay, here we go. What? Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a giant advent calendar for my sister and niece. Wish me luck. Boxes in the middle and then bags on the side. Now that I have the layout, I'm gonna decorate them and then fill them. I'm gonna start with my nieces. I'm sticking these lollipop things to the back of the poster board. Okay, yes, and that's my sister's. So cute. Now I'm taking these ornaments and hanging them on the side. I wrote 1 through 12 in silver sharpie and now I'm sticking them onto the bags. I added some bows too. Oh my gosh, time to fill up. My niece loves turtles, so day one is a turtle ornament. And my sister gets a microphone because she loves to sing. Candy canes for day two. Day three, I'm doing bath bombs and a snowman. Oh my gosh. Day four, I found these wallet lanyard things but there's an extra pouch for extra stuff I don't day five a beauty sponge day six these candles they smell so good i'm gonna have to put extra tape on the bags though chapstick for day seven found these really cute hair ties for day eight and some makeup removing towels for day nine i'm excited for day 10 it's gel pens day 11 is an oreo house but i'm trying to wrap it and necklaces for day 12 <laughs> I'm gonna try to paint these baby pumpkins. I have all the colors for each design I'm gonna do, so yeah, wish me luck. This one's gonna be cute, just wait. I don't have a blow dry. Okay, first one done. That one took forever to dry, so I'm gonna do the first layer on all of them first. This one's green, yellow, white. This one's tan, light purple, and another green. Couldn't help it. I finished the culprit one. Now I'm working on this one. It has stars on it. Now I'm doing this abstract smiley face one. I don't know if it's gonna look good, but it's my favorite one. What? Now I'm gonna work on this one. Oh yeah, I did that. Don't know how I feel about it, but think about it. I am the only one 
in the universe at this exact angle at this is exact moment i'm just redoing this one I regret doing that oh my gosh don't mind that one but the rest though like i would separate them and put them all around my house but they just belong together you know why i haven't posted in two days it's because of these so bye yo what up i forgot i had this shirt by the way it's my denzel curry shirt anyway i've never tried slime before i don't even know what the heck it feels like so i'm gonna try it for the first time this slime was sent to me as a gift by boba bell slime so thank you again we're gonna start off with the cookie don't mind my dry ashy hands oh my gosh this is gonna be like an asmr oh oh my what whoa i don't even know how to describe this oh my God. that was cool this one is a crunchy slime i've always wanted to try it oh my gosh Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> this one is called Baby Yoda Boba. And you can see the little boba balls inside. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm pretty sure this one goes at the bottom. And this one at the top. Put the straw in. This is so stinking cute. Wee, this is so fun. I do how they do. Woo. <laughs> I got this tie-dye soap making kit, so I'm gonna try and make some soap. Okay, it doesn't seem like it'll be too hard, so I have white soap and clear soap, molds and instructions, and some soap colorant. I'm supposed to choose one of these and cut them into one and a half inch squares. Now I'm supposed to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. With my luck, my kitchen's probably gonna explode. I'm mixing it now. As you can see, this is take two. I'm pouring it in now. Ooh, that's cool. I'm excited! This one's gonna be yellow and red. Now I'm just swirling it around. I don't know if this is gonna look good. Oh my god. These are gonna look so ugly. It says to leave it here for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go watch some Love Island. I'll be back. Time to take them out of the mold. Let's see if I can do this. Gosh, this is the last one and just won't come out. Wow, they're not that bad. I really like them. This one's my favorite. I'm gonna go to my sink and see if it stains my hands. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I'm cleaning my entire house on my Instagram stories right now, so if you've ever wanted to see what my house actually looks like, go follow me on Instagram. There's probably 20 plus videos on there already, so if you're bored and want something to do, let's hang out and clean my house. Anyway, I'm already bored of the way my bathroom looks, so we're going to redecorate it again. I just took down the shower curtain and liner, and now I'm putting up a new one. I'm using actual curtains, but my mom inspired me to do it like this, so that way I can open them like that, maybe hook it onto the side, I don't know. I just took out the old bath mats, and these are the new ones. These are the towels I'm using. I can't go on. I'm sorry. This is a redecorating fail. Like, what? I don't even know where I'm going with this. If you guys can comment some ideas, I would appreciate it. My mom got me this box. It's kind of heavy, and I have no idea what's in it, so let's open it. I hope this isn't payback for the lip filler break. I'm so scared. If it's a bug, I will send mountains to your house. My mom has a phobia of mountains. Okay. <laughs> okay, like, Gift wrap and everything. So cute. <laughs> this is a cup I've been wanting and I missed out on. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I know what the rest of these are. She got me the Cosmo and Wanda cup I've been wanting. I can't. These are all the cups I missed out on last year. They're so perfect. The black and gold one. And the red stainless steel. I'm gonna go put them on my shelf right now. Thank you, mom. I just want money that's calm. Teenage never worry about I ain't never been with it. You know what up? I was going to paint my spackler, but then I forgot I was going to Vegas for JBL Fest. So, here I am. Okay, okay. I'm here. And my feet hurt so bad. It's kind of tall. Oh, hey. Don't you restaurant called Tao and they have all the necessities. I think it's really cute. Anyways, yeah, I gotta go back. Now we're at a Doja Cat concert and look what I got. Well, now let's figure out how to get James in the suitcase. So, okay. James the suitcase. I'll see you when I get back. Two days left. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's put up the tree. What do you think? It's giving my life right now. I'm kidding. I'm so- I'm gonna try to make a cloud-themed tree. So these are the raindrops, you know? Now I'm gonna stick this white garland around the tree. And the white ornaments are mini clouds. I actually got a tree topper this year. Hey, whoa. I didn't know it did that. Wow. That's really cool. I had to turn my flash on because the lighting is so bad. But now I'm adding this white fluffy tree skirt. The last thing I need is Hazel's paw print. One paw at a time. This was hers last year. They're the same. <laughs> but it's fine. It gets dark so quick. But this is what it looks like at night time. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Next up, I'm going to try and wrap gifts as that girl. So I moved back into my room. So part three of the mirror will be up soon. My brother left a fake cockroach in my drawer. I was planning on moving it. But now that I'm moving, I have to fear my brother. I'm coming for you. I might be right behind you. I'm too scared. Put paper towels on top of it so I wouldn't have to look at it. Right you see that thing? It's huge. Put double sided tape on the Swiffer. I don't want to touch anything that's touching it. Just... <laughs> that's the Swiffer. I'm not touching that. I don't think I can do this. Genuinely, I don't think I can do this. Kelly, come on. Pick it up and pretend it's not there. Pretend I don't see it. Throw the whole thing away. Okay. Got it. <laughs> 
been scaring Kelly all afternoon with this fake roach in her room. <laughs> She's downstairs not even paying attention. Went ahead and I planted this little roach right here. Hopefully she comes in here to do her next video. She will come across that thing and freak out. Payback for the, for the cricket. Getting my nails done, I can't decide between this one or this one. This is the closest I'll get to a bee thing because I'm actually pretty afraid of them. Or this one. Ah! Well, that didn't go well. Here they are, I guess. Okay, well, long story short, I'm going to try and fix them myself. Update, I went somewhere else. The nail tech was like, who did your nails? Because there was extra acrylic all along my... Oh, it was so bad. I just went with what I had before. I just want one set person to go to severe nail tech. DM me. <laughs> Starbucks. Followed me. Of course, I'm going to celebrate at Starbucks. I'm getting my favorite drink, a new drink to try, and my least favorite drink. Hi, can I please get a very, very hibiscus with extra scoops of berries, please? And then can I get a venti pink drink with salted cream foam on top? Matcha green tea latte with soy milk, please. A matcha green tea. I meant to say salted cream cold foam. I'm so awkward. I hate ordering. I always forget my lines. The car in front of me paid for me. That's so nice! So I paid for the person behind me, it was like 20 bucks, but I don't care! Okay, this is my favorite drink, very bare hibiscus, extra scoops of berries. Ah! I love it! This is beautiful! Okay, so this is the pink drink with salted cream cold foam on top. Let's try it. Wait, this is bomb? This is 100% my new favorite drink. This one, I'm not even gonna take a drink of. I'm just gonna give it to my BF, it's his favorite drink. It just tastes like grass to me, I just can't do it. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make an at-home workout card. I'm so shy at the gym. I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna figure it out here and maybe go back or not. Anyway, I'm gonna put everything in this acrylic card. Top Shelf is gonna hold protein bars. Someone said these are really good, so I'm excited to try them. I'll update you in the comments. Liquid IV in the back. This side is gonna hold resistance bands. Lastly, a water bottle in the back. It doesn't look that great, but oh well. Next Shelf is gonna hold hair ties. Hair clips. Yoga block, lemmy matcha, lemmy deep glow. These are really good to massage your muscles. This waist trainer is so good. I'll link it on my Amazon storefront. Ropeless jump rope. You can jump rope without hitting anything. Or yoga stuff. Lastly, body glow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm so excited to use it. It's so cute. Resetting my entire life. First, I'm getting my ears pierced. I'm so scared. <laughs> while this happening? Yeah. Dots <laughs> are on. I'm still scared. I'm gonna faint. How was it? What do you guys think? So my boyfriend comes up to me and hands me this plant. White paint and three brushes. Yay. All he says is make a video of you painting this plant and when you're done, bring it to me. I have something for you. I mean, here we go, I guess. I'm just getting paper towels so I don't get it on the granite. I'm nervous because he doesn't do things like this. I'm just gonna lay the plant like that and get this open. I'm gonna make a little dot. Oh my gosh, I think that's too much. Boop. At this point, I'm just making little dots. <gasps> this is a look. I don't know why, but I manage to make a mess every time I do something. Maybe that's why he's doing this, but I'm blaming it on the sponge things because they're really hard to work with. <laughs> I'm putting this on my tripod, and in about five minutes, I'll go in with the second layer. I'm trying to look back and think, why a plant? What have I ever said that would have anything to do with a plant? A plant has five letters. I don't freaking know. I just finished the second layer. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I just realized I'm verified. What? Okay, I'm done. Here's a video. I cannot wait to see what he has for me. Why does it have to be like this? I finally found pickled garlic. Oh my gosh. Whoa, dude. You just get used to the smell after a while. Ay, ay, ay. Please be good. Please. Chili powder. It kind of looks like pasta. And time. Maybe some more sriracha. Oh my. I think it's ready. I don't know, dude. Oh, come on. Okay. Here we go. Yo, 
what up i got two packages from tiktok oh my god bottom one is kind of heavy so i'm gonna open the top one first i'm so excited this is so cute oh my gosh this is so cute okay i'm gonna read the card so they sent gifts and products from latinx owned brands to show appreciation and celebration of latinx creators thank you so much tiktok i'm gonna facetime my mom and be like i got the junk out. shirt a hat some stickers and tattoos and then this box whoa whoa that is really cool this one is so good i'm scared to open this one <laughs> I'm sorry. Remain calm, Kelly. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. Very thoughtful. I feel so supported. We have some bum bum cream, some coffee, this cute tote bag. And I cannot wait to try these hair care products. And this candle smells amazing. And we got some good chips. Thank you, TikTok. And here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Actually, I woke up at 3 to get to my Starbucks at 5 a.m. I went a little crazy, but it's for the cup collection, so it's fine. The first one I got was this rainbow dome lid. Look at the straw. That's so cute. People are saying this was the pride cup. It's so pretty. Look at the top of this water bottle. They match. And then I got this one. Ah, it's like emerald, right? This is emerald. This one is so... this the only one on the shelf and i was first in line you should have seen me i was like Whoa. this reminds me of someone named flo that's what we call hazel when she smiles see doesn't she look like a flo this one is my favorite one same one but different color i got a stainless steel one i don't know i think i did a pretty good job at finding everything now it's time to put it away these were too tall so i had to take the straws out i need to find a better way to display these because i want to see them all but for now i'm obsessed part four i'm gonna restock and decorate my whole bathroom starting with the shower shelves first shelf is holding hair products so we have my shampoo a hair mask and scalp scrubber. I'm gonna use the hook to hang this fake eucalyptus plant. And this one for my razor. The shelf below that is gonna hold shaving products like the shaving oil, shave butter, and coconut milk. Sugar scrubs. This one smells like real orange, like freshly peeled. I'm I'm in love. How do I only have two shelves done? This one is for shower creams, body oils, and body masks. Last one's for body washes. Yeah, day night, and whenever I feel like I need more collagen. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a dream. Also, I linked the shelves on my Amazon storefront in my bio. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to decorate the main shelf. Top one's going to hold body brushes. Skipping to the middle, this one shelf is the reason why I redid my entire bathroom. So yeah. I found these at the container store. I'm using them for bath salts. This one's lavender, lemon, eucalyptus, and mandarin. I may or may not need a part five, but every video has been good so far, right? I'm so close. Also, it's almost 4 a.m. I'll see you in part five. I've been really wanting to try this. So you get a coconut, poke a hole in it with a screwdriver, clean it, of course, then pour the juice out. Once you do that, put it in a Ziploc bag, then put it into another Ziploc bag, and then... Yay! Okay, that did nothing to it. We're going to do it one more time. And... Yay! Make sure you do sound effects because it won't crack if you don't. Now just grab a spoon and start peeling it out. Now wash your coconut and cut it into long strips. Now cut up a lime and squeeze it all over. Just realize how many times I've said now. Grab some classic seasoning. I'm just kidding, don't come for me. It's called tahin and pour it all over. You can choose between chamoy, valentina, or both and just pour it all over. And you're done. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow! Part two, I bought clay. You guys told me to get sandpaper, so I did, and it's so smooth. Finally done, now I'm just cleaning it. Tape is on, now I'm gonna paint the whole thing white. I'm only worried about the clay part. Wait, this looks so good. Do I use the clay? Yes, no, yes, no. Should I use the clay? I need to move the mirror, so I'm gonna trace a line around it. Oh, well, there's no going back now. Okay, okay, the first rope is done. Now I have to shape it to the black line. If this actually works, I didn't take ceramics for nothing. Oh my gosh, okay, Kelly, okay. I'm gonna let this dry and then somehow pick it up and put it on the mirror. What color do I paint this? I was thinking this one, but no, I don't know. I'll see you in part three. This is so last minute, but I'm gonna try and wrap gifts as that girl. First, I'm wrapping everything in white gift wrap. I suck at wrapping, so I'm using boxes now. Don't know why that took me two hours. Anyway, now I'm gonna try and draw an aesthetic pattern on each box. Wish me luck. First two done, they're cow print. I don't even know what this one is. This one's cute from far away, but when you get close. Using a chalk marker for this one. This one's gonna be like a drippy smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> this one's kinda cute. Oh my gosh. Putting a silver bow on all of them, and now I'm gonna put them under the tree. Are you ready to open presents? You don't even know what's going on. Hazel's gonna be opening all her gifts on Instagram stories, so I'll see you there. Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna unpack my Starbucks cups. I'm so excited. I'm gonna move all this to a different corner and deal with it later. Okay, that's embarrassing. I actually have a lot of space. Now I'm gonna take all the cups out and lay them on the floor. I would keep going, but there's too many layers, so there's a problem. I didn't think this through. I don't know what straws go with which cups, so. I'm just gonna wing it. This looks kind of right. Now I'm gonna put the keychains next to their matching cup. Okay, kind of. It's not done yet. I still have a lot to do, like putting my lights up. I need to reorganize this, because it's not doing it for me. See you in part two. Okay, you guys are gonna kill me. Um, I found a few more. We have the gridded pink and blue cup. It looks like a disco ball. Look at the straw. And I found the red and purple one. Look how cute they're sisters. 
I found the confetti cup. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. I also got one that has swirls on it. I just want to say that this makes me happy. It just makes me happy. Oh, I don't know what I've done, but this just it makes me happy for some reason. Yo, what up? I found more miniverse making mini food balls, so I'm gonna try and make more. It was so much fun last time, so let's see what I get this time. I'm so excited. First, I'm gonna open them. The little ingredients are so cute. It also comes with a recipe card and collection guide. I will be needing that. First, I'm pouring the syrup on the bread. Bananas. And blueberries. I'm trying to use the mini tongs, but it's not working out. This is so cute. Now I'm gonna let it sit in the sun. Well, that's there. I'm gonna make a few more. First, mini boba. Look how cute the ice bag is. Ice first. Boba. And milk tea. Oh my god, I can't. This one's my favorite one. I'm gonna try and find the other colors so I can collect them. Look at the pink one. Oh my god. I just made these two. Now I'm gonna make a milkshake. Oh, it's a chocolate milkshake. Okay. These mini chocolate bars are so cute. I'm really hoping this one is the berry refresher because I need to collect it. I got pineapple smoothie, still a good one. I think I did good. This is so cute. I'm gonna let these sit in the sun so the resin can cure. Oh my god. Okay, they're done. This was so much fun. Now I can add these to my collection. Part four, I'm gonna fill the jars first. I'm so excited. This one's gonna hold bath bombs. Next, loofahs. I used to have a bread shaped one, but I lost it. Last big one's gonna hold face masks. And the last two are gonna hold shower steamers and soap. Also, I rolled up my towels and they're going on that shelf. Found these display risers. These are going to be the pop-up shops and so de Janeiro gets the middle. Lush on the left. Tree hut on the right. Lastly, I'm putting bath stuff on this shelf. And that's it. I love it so much. I'm going to cry. While I take a bath though, because Yoda, follow me. <laughs> I'm going to try and organize under the kitchen sink. Okay, first I'm taking everything out. Now I'm going to fill the mini drawers with all the small stuff. This one's going to hold sink cleaning stuff. Magic erasers. Scrub daddies. I have to put them in like this or they won't fit. Dishwasher pods. Next, plates. And cleaning sponges on the side. I'm excited about this one. It's a cup cleaning drawer. Lastly, cleaning rags. And trash bags. Now I'm going to put the drawers back in the cabinet. I'm putting four on this side. And the other four like this so I can stack cleaners on top. Putting a few more on this side in this bucket. Lastly, a section for lotion because I always keep it by my sink. This looks so good. I actually want to clean now. If only the rest of my house could look like this. But if it did, I wouldn't have a TikTok. So I really want to start Christmas decorating. So guess what the next video is going to be? so excited it's finally fall my mom and i wait all year long just to redecorate for it together and I'm going over today and i thought it'd be super cute to surprise her with a fall gift basket and some starbucks to get her in the mood you all want to see grandma i got us pumpkin spice lattes because that's our favorite here's the gift basket i got her a gift card so she's all set on pumpkin spice lattes some bath bombs caramel popcorn this cute starbucks cup and a little toy for her puppies are you excited to decorate mm-hmm Part three, I wish I could scream. I'm so excited. Finally gonna decorate and restock everything, starting with my DIY bath car. For the first shelf, I'm filling two jars with lavender and eucalyptus foaming bath. Next shelf is gonna hold bath flowers, and I'm putting them in these cute little jars. Also, I put sugar cubes in this jar, and that's going in the middle. Last shelf is holding cow print face masks, white bath bombs, and then this. I thought they were fake roses, but it's actually soap. <laughs> Couldn't find cloud-shaped bath mats, so I'm gonna make my own. I can do this. I just cut it in half. Now I have to make those two look like that. Poof. Now I'm gonna wash them and see what happens. How does that work? I thought it was gonna fall apart in the washer, but it didn't. Oh, normal house and then bam, portal. Last thing I have to do is restock my shower shelves, normal shelves, and my drawers. I'll see you in part four. And no, it won't take three days to stop. I'm getting my nails done. These are them right now. So cute. Hazel, you're in love, you're in love, you're in I think I'm gonna do a mixture of this one and this one. Oh my gosh. <sighs> they're so cute. Like, they're so cute. They're pretty girly, but I am okay with that. They are so cute! Um, yeah, I can explain. I had to push everything that way so it wouldn't look as bad, but that did not work. So, I'm gonna try and reset my entire closet. First, I'm taking everything out. I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch. I already know. Okay, this side is great. That side. Oh my god. Okay, it's finally empty. Now, I'm gonna make a keep and donate pile. I kept some of this because of the memory, so I'm gonna try really hard to let those go. Okay, I'm finally done. This is what I'm keeping. And the donate pile is over there. I really wanna pick stuff out, but I just never wear them, so I'm hoping someone else can enjoy them, but I'm gonna miss them. Why am I like this? Before I put it all back, I have an idea for this closet. Putting in new lights everywhere, and I bought a bunch of organizing stuff. Most of it gets here tomorrow, so I'll see you in part two. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a get well basket for Courtney. She's sick, and since I can't be there, I'm hoping this helps. First slippers and a blanket. She wrote out notes for the last gift she gave me. So, of course, I'm doing the same for her. Next, a mug and tea. Okay, but this mug is so cute. The notes. Next, a candle. And a key plan to keep by her nightstand. Courtney loves coffee, but what if it was delivered? Things that help me when I feel sick. This one, she gets bored. Got one too, we'll see how that goes. Goldfish, her favorite snack. Thought everything would fit. I'll just put everything else in the box. Stuff I thought was cute, but also funny. <laughs> Lastly, she does mystery unboxings. That's what everything else is for. She probably already has the mystery stuff. We'll see, maybe not. Just decorated the box, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna send it to her, and yeah. Yo, what up, I'm at Coachella. I'm gonna try and make one of those get ready stations. I think they're so cute, and this table is perfect. First, the hair section. body makeup all the other makeup's going in the middle we have the lip section screenshot these are all my favorites blush 
base makeup. I don't this has like primer, concealer, all that. Eye makeup. This section has eyebrows too. Contour. Brushes and highlighter. Last section is going to have perfume. Favorite makeup wipes. And jewelry. I got this on Amazon. When you open it, there's like a mirror. This is go behind the mirror. It's so cute. And that's pretty much it. I love it so much. It's so perfect. I'm posting all my outfits on IG. So if you want to see them, just in case, you can go there. <laughs> Bye. Yo, what up? I'm going to Coachella. I was invited to Coachella. Like, what? Like me. What is Honey Bow Bear going to do at Coachella? Probably just like stand there, you know? But I it's better. I was also invited to the Neon Carnival by DirecTV. So that happened and I'm so grateful. I'm so excited and I'm packing right now. It's like 3 a.m. and my flight leaves in four or five hours. So let's pack. I got these packing cubes from Amazon and I was able to fit six outfits in this one little cube and then some extra t-shirts and sweaters are in this one. But like, gosh, I did it. Now I just have to close. I have overpacked. These are the nails. Yeah. JK, I just had to rearrange. Thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be doing any of this if it weren't for you. I literally never thought I'd see an opportunity like this in real life. It's just insane. I made it to the airport and I'm here with another creator. Let's see if you can guess who it is. <laughs> I have to be at a Halloween party in an hour, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some last minute treats. One bag of brownie mix, fourth of a cup of water, one egg, and a third of a cup of veggie oil. Mix and spray a cupcake pan with Pam. Preheat your oven to 325 and leave them in there for like 35 minutes. Yeah, don't fill them too much. They're going back in now. I'll grab a bowl and fill it with cream cheese frosting. Add in some green food coloring. Once you take them out of the oven, grab an ice cream scoop and press down to create a bowl shape. Mix and put it into one of these things. I forgot what they're called. Fill them with frosting. Now I'm just adding big and small pearls. Add a pretzel stick and now you know how to make bubbling cauldron brownies. They're so cute. I also made these. So cute. Okay, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm Wow. It's really Yo, what up? I haven't done laundry in about a month, but I thought it'd be a good idea to refill on the supplies and maybe I'll be motivated to do it. Please enjoy ASMR by Honey Boba Bear, episode one. Laundry. That's a long title. Next we have scent beads. Oh my god. <laughs> Dryer sheets. Okay, that's everything. Let's put it back in my laundry room. Also, thank you for all the love in my last video. I promise I'm okay. I was just really tired. Well, I'm gonna get started on laundry. Okay, I was gonna clean my room, but Disney invited me to a mini brunch, so I'm here instead. So excited. I'm here. It's so pretty. Got little ears. There's a make your own candle section, so let's make one. I think I'll do an orange and pink swirl inspired by someone else's candle, so this is what we're doing now. About to have brunch. Look at the view. This is the place setting. Look how cute. Take an egg. Really good so far. Then we have this. I'm about to take a picture with her. So Filling it with a bunch of product. Look how gorgeous this is. We have lip balm. Just made it home. They gave us so much. Can I just say, I had the best time. Thank you for inviting me, Disney, and let me know if you want to Yo, what up? The living room is finally done. I can finally do a reveal, kind of. There's still some things I want to do. Look at Hazel, she's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see how many times she does this. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't think she's going to stop. <laughs> you getting tired? <laughs> Oh, still want to do something with the bottom of this plant and hide some cables, but other than that, it's pretty much done. The light, the Shiba Inu, everything just looks so perfect. <laughs> I feel like I have no energy. I fell asleep at like four in the morning and I'm just so tired. I didn't do anything else with the couch. It's still the same and so is the mess, but it's cute. It's mine. The vacuum lines on this rug. I would show myself using the couch, but I look like a horse stomped on me and left me to die. I found these at Walmart while I was shopping for a really cool recipe video I'm posting tonight. I'm almost positive Courtney has done a video on these. I'm going to tag her because her content just makes my day. I'm just going to read the ones that are kind of funny. Cop tarts. Yeah. <clears throat> More on salt. Oh my gosh, look. This one's shaped like a cereal box. So I went, ah, this one's cute. Rice Krispies. Bing mints. Okay, we're getting to the good stuff. This feels like a candy bar. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. There we go. Ah, dang it. Two milk drones and peas. And the last one feels like a bottle of sauce. Fish bone. <laughs> if you turn your screen with me, that's everything. The only one I really liked was the Rice Krispies. I'm gonna try to make an aesthetic wreath or just a wreath. What is this even called? I don't even, anyway, so first I need to figure out how to get it on, like, stuck onto here. Just finished tying the gorland around the middle part. Now I need to do the outside. Now I'm gonna spray it with fake snow. <gasps> I'm actually gonna put the pine cones on first. 
Okay, just trust the process. I'm gonna <laughs> now I'm gonna put the ornaments on. I went with gray, clear and gray. Bought a bunch of hooks for nothing. It's so much easier to just tie them onto the pine needle thing. <laughs> okay, let's hang it up. It's not even for my front door. It is for my room. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. So you walk in. Bam. Like. This is a DIY for my last minute Mother's Day shoppers. Find three pictures of you and your family, make them small, and print them out. Cut them, set them aside, grab three jars. Grab some decorative filler. My mom's house is full of gold, so I chose this color to match it. Fill your jars. They're gonna look like this. Grab some ribbon and glue it to the back of your first picture. Now that you have your ribbon on your pictures, place them in the bottle and measure how much you'll need. Because you're gonna glue the top of your picture to your lid, in this case, cork. Now put your pictures back into the bottle, and there you go. I chose to add ribbon to the top of mine. This is what the back looks like. And there you have it. They're super cute and my mom's gonna love them. I have to restock random things around my house. Starting with scent beads. You guys talked me out of getting another doll. I really want Hazel to have a little sister. But still, talk me out of it. More laundry stuff. Cereal. Moment of truth. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Next, my bathroom drawer. That's pretty much it. Next, I'm organizing and restocking my car. It's so bad. Part five, I'm gonna fill the bins now. Also, TikTok might be banned. So be sure to follow me on YouTube and Instagram. I'm sure we'll be fine, but just in case, you know, you never know. First, I'm organizing my swimwear. Usually I have a pile for tops and bottoms, but now I'm gonna put each set in these mesh bags. Now I'm gonna put them in the bins. This is so much better, I could cry. It's gonna be so much easier to find my swimsuits now. Next bin's gonna hold my belt bags, sweatpants, shapewear, I tried folding it, I don't know. Extra bags, hats, almost done, I'm getting rid of the ladder. I found this acrylic stool on Amazon. That's going here. I'm short, so it's perfect. Lastly, a rug. That's pretty much it. This is what it looks like when I walk in. And here's a slow clip of the whole thing. Yup, that's it. I'm obsessed, I could cry. I've never had a clip this long. Anyways, I love it. I really wanna redo my office now. Yo, what up? I was gonna try and unpack my room. Then Glow Recipe invited me to Malibu, so I'm gonna do that instead. Oh my gosh, we're here. This is the table. Oh my god, this beautiful drink. Why do I want my house to look like this now? Well, I'm a vitamin C eye cream. Oh my god. First course looks good. Dessert is here. I'm so excited. Really good. Watch the view is amazing. Now I'm gonna grab a gift bag. Super cute. Thank you, Glow Recipe. I'm home now. Broke two nails. Time to unpack my filming room. I'm tired. I was at Walmart, right? I didn't know. That they sold aloe vera there! <laughs> so we're just gonna yeah. cut it open. So we're just washing the aloe vera that I didn't know was easily accessible. What in the jack and the crack? Wait, what did I just say? Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. And there you have it. Aloe vera. Wow. Oh, it's so slimy. Now, I don't know what I can create with this, but I will figure that out. by tomorrow so my friends another adventure awaits <laughs> see you in part two redecorating my beauty slash filming room for the second time i'm even getting rid of my boy shando bye bye i'm gonna start off with the closet not too long ago i fell and i broke my closet door and i was gonna fix it but then i was like no wait i could do something with that so this door is coming off too now that the doors are off, it feels so much bigger in here. I'm gonna start taking everything out of the closet and putting it in this corner. I seriously need to find a new spot for my massage table. I forgot I had this. It's a neon cloud sign. I'm totally using it for the new room. Everything is out. I'm gonna spray and wipe down the wired shelves. Now I'm gonna wipe down the molding and clean the floor. I'm so excited. I got some LED lights for Christmas. I'm gonna put them behind the frame of the closet. I'm so excited. So I'm just making sure <laughs> that was for a thumbnail. I'm just making sure that the light is behind this frame thingy. Changed my mind. I like the look of it being shown. Wow. I'm gonna pick up my storage and organizational things tomorrow so I can start putting everything back in. So I'll see you in part two. Deep cleaning and redecorating my living room part two. All of this mess and this needs to be moved out. I'm gonna start with the storage cubes. Oh gosh, what is in here? Oh my gosh, I think this is my stepdad's, but my brother and I would play it all the time. See, that stands for Andrew and Kelly. Can you tell I love card games? It's so cute. It's all sorted. Now I'm gonna clear off the table. This was my little call center desk and it's still so weird not seeing a computer on it. Yikes, I'm glad I'm cleaning this. This does not work anymore. I'll be using this in a different room. It totally looks like I just moved in. And there's even an echo, Coco! I have five boxes of stuff I need to build to fill this area and I can't even bring them in because they're so heavy. I'm gonna be honest, it's probably gonna take me all day to build them, so I will see you at two or three o'clock in the morning for part three. 
you're still here okay you get a little sneak peek of some more things i bought for decorations and don't don't mind me it's one of those days i'm really proud of this one so i found one of these knitted ball seat things and i found it for 30 bucks at home goods what i saw this and i just had to buy it it's so cute but i'm actually gonna repaint it another plant why not this basket is so cute it's from target and i'm gonna use it for my blankets but i'm spray painting a different color redecorating my living room part three how i spent my last two days building this tv stand and the tv is mounted to the wall we're getting somewhere I just organized most of the cables in this drawer and i ordered some stuff from amazon to hide these ones it's so cold out here now i'm gonna spray paint the basket i got from target okay i'm gonna let that dry i was gonna wait to do this but i can't i'm just gonna reveal the couch and we're gonna decorate it yikes this place is a disaster because of this project so sorry you have to see that it took me a while to find the right couch because i wanted a specific color and size because i'm picky but i finally found it and i got it at costco and this is hazel's new spot i've always wanted an ottoman this big it's basically a giant dog bed okay i don't think this is gonna look good until i clean the rest of my house but oh well i thought this blanket was so cute it's from target this pillow is from target as well it's from their bedding section can you believe i found these at walmart what this is what i came up with and i don't like it as much as i thought i would i think it's way too plain and it needs pattern or color or something but i'll come back to the couch later i'm gonna start working on the two sides the wall and the ceiling i will see you in part four redecorating my living room part four i finally figured out the couch and pillow situation so i'm keeping this blanket she's not happy i tried to move her <laughs> gotta give it a good butt crack i decided to keep the black pillow and i bought another one i'm keeping the pillow i found at walmart and i took your advice bam pattern this is an outdoor pillow from target it's so cute and it was only 10 bucks okay just pretend the mess isn't there Aww, right right this is so cute i want to start working on the walls and the ceilings but the stuff i ordered to finish it isn't getting here until tuesday technically tomorrow but i'm going to show you what's in this box instead i got it at ikea for 30 dollars, and i do have to build it let me just show you what it is so instead of having this or having your shoes on the floor bam times two look at this ah! oh they're kind of messy there we go ah! nobody's gonna know i can't stop doing this it's fun <laughs> i'm almost done finding decorations for this area so far i found this isn't it so cute it's just gonna go right there yikes it's like three o'clock in the morning well i'm gonna film a haul in a few hours and then i'm gonna film part five so i'll see you in part five redecorating my living room part five all the lights i ordered off of amazon are finally here i'm so excited because it's gonna look so good first i ordered these phillips hue lights and i found these really cute lamps at ikea that i'm gonna put them in i'm putting one at the very top and bottom for each lamp i am on the floor now where is my inhaler i'll show you the whole thing at the end it's gonna be worth it now i'm gonna work on these led strip lights this first box is going behind the tv i really hope i'm doing this right especially with the corners please tell me there's a better way you know what i'm just gonna trust the process the second box is going behind the tv stand oh my gosh this is so cool i told you it was gonna be worth it so all i have to do now is hide all of those cables yikes then put a rug down and all of my decorations so i will see you in part six redecorating my living room part six i found a rug not that one that one and i found everything else to finish this today it's a gray and white rug from ikea i don't know how to pronounce it so i'll just have to show you staying jerem i don't know but it's perfect now i'm gonna work on the two sides i found these at tj maxx i know they're for plants but i'm gonna use them for my lamps yes i think it looks so much better higher up now i can decorate in front of it i got this at home goods i'm adding this plant because it makes me feel like i'm on vacation and that's basically the theme of this whole living room i'm debating whether i should paint this or buy a whole separate planter we'll see now i'm adding this thing and i ordered a small blanket to put on top of this to break the colors up that's it for the right half I did the same thing on the left side and i'm adding this basket for blankets i like to roll my blankets up before i put them in ah, so cute they look like gray cinnamon rolls i can finally start decorating the tv stand i'm leaving this over here everything is love island inspired i have a problem somebody watch it with me i also got some fairy lights to put into each of these i'm doing a separate reveal video this time because last time i didn't have enough time to show you my room but at least you'll be able to see what it looks like during the day and nighttime i will see you tomorrow redecorating my living room part one ah! a disaster right now but this is what i'm working with and i'm really gonna miss our old couch it's broken and ripped though so i'm excited to build the new one before i start tearing everything apart literally everything is gonna get replaced i'm gonna give you a little haul of what i got so far i'm going for an outdoor vacation vibe because that's what's most relaxing to me so i got these stream lights at target and i'm gonna hang them from my ceiling it'll make more sense once they're up there and then i got these from home goods i can't wait to show you where i'm gonna put them these are from ikea i could cry of excitement right now oh hold up let me do a thumbnail there we go these are also from ikea they were on sale for really cheap so i got a whole bag of them <laughs> the living room is also gonna have pops of peach pops of peach i'm so excited bath and body works has some new scents of candles and i am obsessed with this one and it matches also this one is really good too she loves the new couch oh my gosh how did i get so lucky well the real work starts i will see you in part two cleaning my cleaning closet part two i have to go to the kitchen so i normally 
use these cleaners, but I'm gonna wait till they're empty. And I saw these glass spray bottles and I'm gonna try and make homemade cleaner. In case I don't like it, comment down below your favorite cleaners or recipes you think I should try. But for now, I might as well be cute while I have them. If you just wanna do this and skip the homemade recipes, most containers will tell you if you have to store it in its original container. With what I read on my other cleaners, these are the only two I'm putting in glass bottles. I'm labeling them with this and a paint marker. These are so cute! Also, I saw that a lot of people wanted to know how my hand was doing. I just want to say thank you. I feel so loved and cared for. My hand is doing so much better. I'm almost able to make a full fist, and it's getting better every day. These bins are from Ikea. I'm putting Swiffer pads in this one. I almost forgot I got these command hooks. You stick them to your wall, and you can hang your broom or mop on them. My cleaning cloths are going in this basket. I'm putting the cleaners I use the most on the first shelf. The rest of them are going under here and under my sink. This is so cute. I'm adding a fake plant on the side. This basket for Hazel's clothes and that one for random things. Oh my gosh, it looks so good in here. I'm sleeping in the closet. Good oh my gosh, look at my hand. It's so swollen and stiff. I can't fully straighten it, so I'm kind of scared. But if you want a story time or an update like this to let me know, I am going to be taking it easy today and answering questions. When I record, I just use my phone. I don't have like a fancy camera or anything, and I even use my phone for YouTube videos. For lighting, if I'm going to film anything in this room, I just use my vanity lights, and then sometimes I'll use my box lights. Bam, there they are. I got these like three years ago. They're either the Mount Dog ones or the Limo Studio ones. I can't remember. I get my bulbs from Amazon as well. That's the wattage in case you want to buy them. This is the tripod I use. I love this tripod so much. I got it at Best Buy. I love it because you can adjust the height, and it's so easy to use. For my recipe videos, this is the kitchen I use, and this is the counter I film on. Google, change lights to ivory. I use the Philips Hue lights in my kitchen for the lighting, and I always use filter F1, and that's how I'm able to get my recipe videos to look like this. I always keep an extension cord around, and if I want color in the background of my videos, I use this thing. Got it off of Amazon. You can change it to literally any color you want using this dial, and that's it. Yay! I'm excited for this one. Everything I'm going to show you is on my Amazon page. If it's not, I will let you know where I got it from, but the link is in my bio. I am so low on everything right now. I haven't done lashes in a few months because my focus is somewhere else, but I think I got this container at Bed Bath Beyond or Home Goods. Up here I have micro and lip applicators. I use these for so many things like adding pre-treatment or sealant or even removing the lashes. I keep my under iPads. I've tried so many. These are the best ones I've found so far. For any service before I set up, I like to lay a dental bib down and then put my stuff on top, and I just keep them on that bottom drawer. Spoolies, cotton swabs, and tape. If you're willing to spend a little bit more on tape, next care is so much easier to remove. Oh my gosh. And it's more comfortable for your client. I get my tiles from Home Depot. I thought these ones were so cute. I got this at Michael's. When I make my pre-made fans, I just store them in here. My Nano Mister. It's so cute. Lash shampoo that I love. This manual air blower. Honestly, I just use this fan. I know I should try other lash brands, but I just love Minky's lashes. When I practice, I keep the tiles in photo boxes. These magnifying glasses come with a light. Super helpful. If I missed anything, I'll list it in the comments. I've gotten a lot of requests asking me to make a smoothie, so I'm going to show you how to make my favorite breakfast smoothie. I'm going to grab my Magic Bullet Cup. This is the taller one. I just filled it a third of the way with ice. Two scoops of the Super Greens powder, which is about a half a tablespoon. One scoop of protein powder. Now I just stuff it with a whole bunch of greens. Add in half a banana and freeze the other half for next time. Fill the cup halfway with almond milk and the rest with cold water. And that is it. Wow. Let me know if you want to see more smoothie recipes. Also, I am filming part five as we speak. As you can see, there's paint all over my hands and fingers. I tried to wash it off, but it didn't come off. Okay, for real this time, I'm right here and I'm back to posting every single day. I still haven't unpacked, so let's do that. First, I'm taking everything out and putting it in a pile. I didn't even use half this stuff, so why the f did I pack it? Mm -hmm. Now that everything is in a pile, I'm going to disinfect everything and put it in that basket. I'm almost done. I gotta make another pile for the brushes because I'm washing those. Hmm, do I put it away now? Or watch Love Island? Forget about it and put it away later. Okay, I'm gonna put it away and Hazel's gonna help me. Hey! <laughs> I'm trying to make this satisfying and it's just not working. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm gonna go watch these and start filming my next TikTok. Yo, what up? This is a video I never thought I would ever make, but I'm gonna show you guys my laundry routine. First, I bring the laundry basket down. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay, we're at the laundry room now. I'm just gonna throw the clothes in. I'm mainly doing dark clothes right now. There we go. This is all in order. I start with the detergent. My washer has a pull-out tray. For a large load like this one, I usually do a fourth of a cup of detergent. And then about a fourth of a cup of laundry booster, and I just sprinkle that all over the clothes. For the scent beads, I use a little less than fourth of a cup, and I sprinkle that all over as well. For the softener, I kind of just eyeball it, but it goes in this blue compartment right here. Let's see if I can... There we go. I also eyeball the laundry sanitizer, so you can give it a little one-two. I've only ever used one setting, and that's cotton normal. Whee! These are already dry.
dry from earlier, but I gotta clean the lint dry. I don't know why, I just love cleaning this thing. Keep all of my dryer sheets in this box. If I did need to dry anything, I would just pick one up, throw one in, and start the dryer. I just love it in here now that it looks nice. My beauty slash filming room is basically done, so I'm gonna do a mini tour. Also, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's for my room, but I can only show it to you at nighttime, so if you wanna see what it is, I will post a video later tonight. This is where I do my makeup, of course, but I also film my YouTube videos here. I got the desk from Ikea, this I DIY'd, and then the chair I got from Home Goods. The neon signs are from Amazon. That I think I got at Ross, as well as those. When you turn around, this is what you'll see in my YouTube videos. This is kind of like my esthetician supply closet. So over here, I have my nail cart. This basket system is so helpful. So this unit is from Target. This long one is from Ikea, as well as the basket. Back here, I have my LED lights, which I framed on my closet. And these were from Amazon. And I also have a train case. In case you do want to see what's in my drawers, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting a detailed room tour, and I will try to link everything possible. This unit is from Ikea, and you can customize it, so I just got two of the biggest ones. This side is for all of my makeup. It's my side hobby, so I wanted one spot for all of it. This side holds skin, body, and hair products. And then my mirror, and I'm going to put slippers here. And that's it. Yeah. I ordered this off of Amazon. It's for a pool or like a hot tub. I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to use it for my room. It comes with hooks that I'm not going to use, some batteries and controllers. Inside of the white boxes are these pool lights, and let me show you what they do the batteries are in now i'm just laying them all around my room so i have this controller all you do is press on oh my gosh you can change the colors you can do like half and half it's just the best purchase ever this is what they look like with the lights off i feel like i'm in avatar the movie part two resetting my room I'm actually proud of myself it's been worse i'm gonna start with the obvious issue well at least i can see my floor now i'm gonna clear off the nightstands now my favorite part. Ew. Now I'm gonna clear off my bed and put some new sheets on. Almost done. Now I'm putting everything back. Um, I forgot about the floor. This is so bad. It's so clean. Next step, decluttering and redecorating my dump site. I mean my bed. Let's restock my fridge as that girl. First water. Filling two of these with cucumber. This one with limon. This is so aesthetic reality. You got some trash, just dump it at my house. Next, Capri Sun, Pacific Cooler. Friggin' oatmeal. Well, this is awkward. It's turning into a pantry restock. Halloween cookies, so good. Granola. Oh my God. Do you guys like that? <laughs> These are for my refresher bar. We have blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. Cute container for lemons. I know this is not food, but I might as well. Could go on and pretend this is all I have to restock, but there is so much more. <laughs> Part two, I'm gonna restock and decorate the shower. First, I'm taking everything out. Also, I broke a nail, so don't mind that. I tried, anyway. So clean. Finally, now I'm gonna put these clear shelves up. You guys, it looks so good. Let's put my stuff back. Top shelf's gonna hold shampoo and conditioner, hair mask, hair clip for the hair mask, for shampoo and conditioner. Next shelf's gonna hold body conditioner, body scrub. These shower gels are my favorite. They smell so good. Look at these mini tree hub body scrubs. They're so cute and they smell amazing. Lastly, candy cane shave oil. Last shelf's gonna hold body wash and body conditioner. Also, I bought this thinking it was candy cane body wash, but it wasn't. It's conditioner. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that right here. I'm also gonna put a Christmas tree here. And this, I don't know, but it's festive. I put up these acrylic hooks to hold my loofah, my razor. Oh, nice, I'm running out of time. See you in part three. Yo, what up? I'm so excited because I'm doing another giveaway. That thing is so cute. Anyways, let's pack the box. I got these bags and I filled them with all my recent favorites for makeup, skincare, and hair. Before I continue, I got you guys a Craig picnic basket. It's so cute. I have one too. For makeup, I got you my favorite lash kit, papaya beauty blender, blueberry buzz lip injection, Fenty beauty gloss bomb. I love anything Fenty beauty. Hair beauty mascara. Favorite palette. Lash glue. For skincare, I got you this drunk elephant kit, favorite hyaluronic acid serum, and eye gel. Cookies and clean mask by Fenty Skin. I've gone through three of these already. It's so good. Super Goop Daily Moisturizer. Niacinamide Dew Drop. Totally. Cotaly. One of my favorite brands that I can't even pronounce right. That's kind of embarrassing, but this. I swear by this. If you don't have this, go buy it right now. And eye mask. Okay, the sun's going down and I'm running out of time. This is what I got you for hair. Shower stuff, hand sanitizer, these two cups, and a beach towel. And a stony clover lane tote. This giveaway is being held on my Instagram. Just look for the giveaway post. But yeah, good luck, you guys. I love you. And thank you for 8 million. The sun's gone. I should probably go inside late again let's hurry and pack my little sister's birthday gift i do a theme every year this one is neon and musical theater the first bag i got her a playbill puzzle a broadway tote bag and some broadway socks in this bag some eyeshadow palettes i found a playbill charm bracelet on amazon and this hamilton necklace it says not throwing away my shot pop it and some earrings next bag a yellow water bottle this cute yellow wallet and a note because there's something inside a yellow pop it and her favorite gum thought this would be so cute to hold her jewelry it actually goes in this bag for the last bag i got her one of these things i don't know neon wire lights to decorate her room pizza pop it and some icebreakers just random stuff and some more random stuff she likes to practice acting at home so i thought props out of light blue for the tissue paper and then i made this card now i'm gonna go get balloons i'm back she loved everything
Part two, welcome to my room. Doing Amazon first because I don't remember what I ordered. ASMR. I space roller. Hazel thinks it's a toy. I needed a car vacuum and this one looked cool. Here's your hint for my next video. Wasn't gonna show this one, but here we are. My elbows are so dry, so when you put lotion on them, you put these on your elbows and it's supposed to help. Car hooks. Mini glass straws. This was supposed to be a lot bigger. I'll still use it. Next box. So excited about this. Not this because I love s'mores, but you extend it and then you turn this. Now I can make the perfect roasted marshmallow. <laughs> Cereal dispensers. More car stuff. Look how cool this is. It sticks to your fridge. Also comes with this clear notepad. My new favorite thing. Acrylic drawer organizers. That's it for Amazon. I'll link everything on my storefront under things I recently bought. Next is skins. I kind of went a little crazy. I'm excited for the skincare, but I'm sorry. Does this not look like the talking hat from Harry Potter? <laughs> I love these, so I stocked up and I got this bodysuit. I've never tried set active, so I got some things. Fenty and ColourPop. I have more Amazon stuff coming, but that's it for now. I'm still trying to become that girl, but I can't be that girl without a cute room. First, I gotta build this. It's 10 p.m., by the way. I'm gonna cry. Good morning, kind of fell asleep. This is what I have so far. Okay, we might have a problem. Okay, Kelly, come on. It'll be easier if I move the bed frame closer. I hope this doesn't break the bed. Yeah! I'm putting LED lights under the bed. Now that I have a giant marshmallow, I'm gonna add the pillows. Okay, this is what I have for the room so far. So much more I need to do, like a whole other side. I also need to redo this mirror because it broke, so yeah, I'll see you in that video. Yo, what up? I made it to Vegas for my birthday. So let's set up the hotel room. First, I'm laying out my makeup. Isn't this bag so cute? You can actually hang it up. Forever 21, don't know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, you need one. Anytime I travel, these are my makeup must -haves. Also, there's a whole bench in the shower. I just bumped into that and now my hair is wet. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever had a hotel room this big. I'm very proud of myself. The only clothes I packed are in here. I'm an overpacker, so this feels very off. This is us. <laughs> Resetting my entire house part four, I got a desk. What? Way better than my bed. I'm gonna be so productive. Since I have no drawers, I got these from Target and I'm gonna use them to organize everything. Let's enjoy this ASMR by Honey Pelican. <laughs> this one's gonna hold highlighters. Gel pens. Last one is for editing. It's gonna hold batteries, SD cards, headphones. So I just put my desk in this room. Now I'm gonna decorate the wall. Lighting is so bad in here, but it's so cute so far, and I put that up. Fast forward, I added lights. I stacked these two because I thought it would look better, and now I'm adding a plan. I usually have my to-do list on my phone, but I thought this was so cute. I got it off Amazon. That's going right there. Lastly, an ice cream candle. I'm gonna be so productive, hopefully. Next up, I'm restocking my mini fridge. Grab some cherries. Yay! Wash them, cut them in half, and take out the seeds. Grab two lemons, wash them, and do the same thing. Set those aside, grab a bowl, pour in some chocolate. Melt the chocolate in the microwave, stirring every minute. I'm making two servings, so once you have the chocolate, grab two cups. Dip the rims of the cups into the chocolate. Put the cups in the fridge in the meantime. Grab a larger cup that has a lid. Pour your cherries in. Squeeze in your lemons. Wow, that was hard to do with one hand. Add in about two tablespoons of sugar. More or less, depending on how sweet you like it. Mush everything together. I'm using a whisk. <laughs> Once you're done, it should look similar to a jam, but not as thick. Put some ice into the cup, put your lid on, and shake it for three minutes. When you're done, it's going to look like an almost melted slushy. Add in about a bottle of water. Stir that together. This is where you can choose to add more sugar. I'm adding a half a tablespoon. Grab your cups out of the fridge. Pour it in, pour it in. Now you know how to make chocolate cherry lemonade. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow. I've got to try this. Grab some strawberries. Wash them and cut the tops off. Now cut out the middle so they look like strawberry cups. This part is optional. You can cut the bottoms off so they stand up. Set those aside. Grab a bowl. You'll need 8 ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix everything together. I'm going to get some help because I can't do it with one hand. It's going to look something like this when you're done. Put some graham crackers in a Ziploc bag and crush them. You can also use a cup if you don't have a rolling pin, a food processor, or a blender. <laughs> bowl and start filling your strawberries with the filling I'm using a cereal spoon because i haven't done dishes please observe there you go dip the strawberry into the graham cracker like that and now you know how to make strawberry cheesecake bites let's try them okay here we go <laughs> this is really good wow so excited i'm making a whole bunch i hope i got enough corn syrup to fill those first honey this feels so wrong corn syrup and tic tacs can't remember why i was pouring that into a bowl i'm gonna store them upside down so i don't use as much ready love island do you see it with the hearts found these white pearls i'm pretty excited for them pink and purple light blue and dark blue this one is a pink sanding sugar it's so pretty purple holiday one because it's close enough this one's my favorite so messy they don't look edible but they're really pretty let's freeze them i heard it takes five hours let's speed that up i can't get over how pretty they are okay i'll be back i'm not ready for the mouth noises i'm probably gonna throw my phone at the wall multiple times editing this video i'm doing frozen honey first this one kind of looks like styrofoam i feel a 
like I did something wrong. It doesn't really taste like anything. Maybe the Tic Tac one will. <gasps> oh, no! Got my hair. Bye. The Love Island one. Maybe. Okay, it's obviously not gonna taste like anything, but. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh -uh. Why did I think these were gonna be sweet? Um, let me know if you want a part two. Trying the rest of these. Grab your favorite sour candy. <laughs> I like to lay them out, grab some popsicle mold, place it in. To get the floating effect, bend the candy in different ways. Fill it with Sprite. <gasps> Leave them in the freezer overnight. <sighs> okay, they're done. Now you know how to make sour popsicles. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Spring cleaning part one, the guest bathroom. <gasps> My pockets are out. Hope you guys join me on this cleaning series so you guys can get spring cleaned little by little. See that stuff over there? We are cleaning and redecorating today. I'm going to start by taking everything out of the bathroom. <laughs> I actually really like this theme. I'm over it. This is the part I've been procrastinating about. See how much stuff is in here? Clutter! Sorry about that. Putting everything I have in this drawer into a bucket. So many things, oh my gosh. Ah. Emptied out all the drawers, now I'm just gonna spray them down. It's funny because I put everything in its spot and I don't even know what to use this drawer for anymore. I just finished scrubbing the sink and the counters, now I'm gonna get the mirror and then the toilet, which I'm not gonna show the toilet part. Oh yeah! And I'm done! Time to decorate! I just finished washing everything. Here's a new shower curtain. Rugs down. Here are the fancy towels, and I also have a basket tier thing for stuff like that. The succulent. Soap and lotion. And I'm done! See you guys in part two! Spring cleaning part two, the junk drawer. I want to say the last time I cleaned this was about never ago. I bought these organizer baskets at the dollar store, so I'm going to be using it at the end. I put all of Boo's stuff in this bag because I'm starting to pack it, and I'll explain that more in the next video. I started by putting things in piles. This will all go in the tool bucket, tech bucket, random bucket upstairs. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is going to take forever. Oh, I know where this goes. <gasps> you guys. Oh. <laughs> this is my old iPhone 4. Let me know in the comments if you want me to charge it and show you guys what's on it. There we go, now I've made progress. I finally cleared off most of the countertop and no, I did not just transfer it to the other table. Okay, here we go. Wow, now I'm just gonna take a cleaner and a rag and wipe it down. And we're spraying, we're spraying. Okay, that was a little too much. I put the white baskets in, now I just have to fill them. So my chapsticks will go here. AirPods, upcoming TikTok basket, I don't know. And now it's an organized junk drawer. If you end up cleaning yours, tag me so I can see it. Spring cleaning part three, the main bathroom. And I already yeeted down the shower curtain. I got this space saver at Walmart for $35, so I'm going to be building that first. I just finished putting it in. I think it looks really nice. Now I'm going to work on cleaning off the counters and getting everything out of the bathroom. Counters are clean. I'm going to start wiping them down. Wipe. Now that that's super clean, I'm going to spray down the mirror and scrub the toilet, but I'm not going to show that part because, ew. Also, I recommend everyone buying one of these. It's a toothbrush holder. It also dispenses your toothpaste in the perfect amount. Look at that. I got it because I hated fighting with the toothpaste too, but just, just buy it. $12.99 on Amazon, tr trust me. Now for the shower, I'm just going to organize this a little bit better. Here's the before and after. So cute. Everything is super clean. It's time to decorate. I ended up putting my face wash cloths here, my body ones here, and this bucket is going to hold the dirty ones so I can wash them at the end of the week. These are the towels I chose for this bathroom and the shower curtain. I have a matching hand towel and I have this plant to pull it all together. Lastly, I just put in this cute toilet paper holder. Almost forgot to show you guys. I cleaned and organized my drawers too. And that is it. I'll see you guys in part four. Spring cleaning part four. Oh, part four, the pantry. Also part four. Gotta make space for my pre-workout, so I'm clearing out this bottom shelf. I got motivated and I cleaned the entire cabinet, so time to put the stuff in. All right, let's move on. Now time to fill the cereal containers. Wow! I made sure to label them with the date they expire on. Time to put them in the pantry! Now I'm just finishing up the labels for the flour, sugar, and cookies. Wait, did I spell flour right? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Last container is for our coffee beans. Oof. And this is the last thing I needed to do. Final reveal! Wow, this looks so amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you for joining me on this series. I have so much more to do. <laughs> Make sure to follow me to see what's next. Spring cleaning my pantry part two of part four. I'm going to start off with taking all the food and organizing it into the buckets. Okay, I cleared off most of the countertop, so I separated it. So here are my sauces. I have a breakfast bin, more cans, and then instant foods. And this is going to be like a dessert box. I organized the spices into the smaller bins. 
It's one in the morning and I'm missing four bins, so I'll be right back. So much has happened to me in the last 24 hours. It's insane. I just got home from We Humming Boo, so I had to wait till I was calm and collected to finish this video. I hit 2.1 million followers, so thank you. And I can't find the bins. I am an individual and I am strong and I just got to keep the party bus rolling. Since I don't have the bins, I'm just going to put the ones I have in place. I have a couple of these bins with the wood top, and I'm just going to be putting my teas in here. Also, if you want to start making iced teas at home, I recommend these three flavors. They are my favorite. I put the rest of the food in four piles, so they're ready for the bins that I'm getting tomorrow morning. This is what I have so far. There is so much more to do. Why is this taking forever? Um, I can't wait to label, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. Spring cleaning part four, the pantry. Viewer discretion advised. Hiya! That's <laughs> so bad. Oh. I'm going to start by taking everything out of the pantry and putting it on the counter. I knew it! I knew we had pepper! I kept going to the store to buy more! The set of the pantry is done and I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's still a hole on their side! And I'm done! And Boo's on a shelf. Now I'm gonna organize everything. I'm gonna have a pile for keeping and a pile for donating. Now that everything is kind of organized, I'm gonna take this method cleaner and spray the wired shelves down. And we're vacuuming! Now that the cleaning is done, I can start organizing and decorating. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got this can tracker. It can hold 54 cans, so I'm going to put this at the bottom shelf and we're going to start to fill it. This did not make sense to me at first, but now it does and it's really cool. So you put the can on and then you just push it and it aligns with the bottom. How did I not know this existed? That's all of my cans. Now I just have to put things in the buckets and label them. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Yo, what up? I bought Crocs for the first time and I'm going to try and decorate them. I'm going to start with the white ones, but look how cute these are. I just organized all the gibbets. Now I'm putting them on this side to plan them out. First, I'm doing a lollipop and ice cream cone. Down with the cherries and the seashell. Found these bubbles and I got a few because they're so cute. And I'm going to use this mushroom. Also had Craig the flamingo. Literally, when I saw him, I screamed. That side's done. This one's going to have an alien. A jellyfish. I'm going to put them in. I'm so excited. Put the bubble right behind Craig and I just think that's funny. <laughs> it's not even 3 a.m. <sighs> they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. I. What? I need lotion. These are so cute. Even Hazel thinks so, right? I saw this video, it's where they took a block of cotton candy, just like this, they fill the bowl with hot water, then they just put the cotton candy on top and... Oh, well that was pretty cool, but it wasn't quite supposed to do that. And now you know how to make Windex! Summer cleaning part 5, under the kitchen sink. Viewer discretion advised, oh my gosh, my hands are ashy. Hiya! And yeah! It's, it's just bad. I'm laying down a trash bag in case anything falls, I don't want it to get on the floor. Time to get everything out of here. Okay, that just happened. Moving on. Now I'm spraying everything down with Lysol. Sponsor me. Please. My first kiss went a little like this. Hey, yeah. No, like he really threw something at me. Liner, home goods, transition, ready? <gasps> that was loud. Hey, Google, broadcast, I'm okay. First thing I'm putting in is this drawer organizer, and it's so cute because it opens at the bottom, so I'm putting it on the left side. I decided to put our sponges in the bottom drawer. Super aesthetic. Oh. And on the top drawer, I'm keeping dishwashing gloves. Boop. Next, I'm putting in this cute wired basket. In here, I'll be keeping my rags. I rolled them up because it looks better that way. So far, so good. So much more to do, as you can see. And of course, I run out of time. I'll see you in a sec. Yo, what up? I'm doing another giveaway. This time, it's that girl theme. So let's pack the box. I'm putting in this stuff first. There's a lot, so I have to go fast. This Stanley. A blend it. I have the pink one. It's my favorite thing. Glow in the dark Starbucks cup and keychain. I went back to buy myself one of these, but they were sold out. So, mwah, goodbye. Also from Lululemon, this band set. And a yoga block. I might need a bigger box. A new Bum Bum body oil. Lip butter. Body wash. Hair mask. Lonely go socks. So cute. One of my favorite hair oils. Grande Lash and Brow. Charlotte Tilbury. Makeup by Mario. Rare Beauty, of course. Too Faced. Lululemon hair ties. And beauty toner and pimple paste. Fancy Beauty sunscreen. Pharmacy honey mask. This one's really cool. I put it in here so you can try. Scalp massager. To do list notebook set. This planner. It's so cute. Sticky notes. My favorite gel pens. Valentine's Day mini waffle maker. My Valentine's Day blanket. Maybe if I organize it, it'll all fit. Lastly, a Starbucks and Target gift card. Okay, I just went with two boxes. The giveaway is going to be held on my Instagram, so go there for all the rules and how to enter. So yeah, anyways, bye guys. Part two of the mystery box. I'm taking more of this out. Thank you, Courtney. I needed this. My lips are always so crusty. Ooh, some mascara. <gasps> yes, I'm using this tonight. An eye mask. <laughs> this is so cute. Some jelly bellies. Glitter pens. These are really cool. Another eraser thing. A baby bottle pop. I haven't had these in forever. It's my birthday week, so this is like opening a birthday gift. <laughs> A pink chocolate bear. Why was I wrong? This is actually an eyeshadow palette by Revolution. It's so adorable. Some more candy. Strawberry chapstick. Another eyeshadow palette and it's squishy. What? 
found these hearts and they're full of really cute erasers a pink tumbler oh my gosh this is so cute it's a matte pink mug another makeup palette but this one's shaped like a burger i gotta open it are you kidding me this is now my favorite thing in my makeup collection courtney this is so cute thank you we spent a budget of 50 bucks and this is definitely more than that thank you so much and i yikes i hope you like what i got you <laughs> oh kelly yo what up Oop. I bought myself some flowers. Here's the thing. I like flowers. I work hard. I deserve these flowers. I'm a baby. So I bought myself some flowers. Wow, maybe this is your sign. Don't wait around for no one. Get them yourself because you deserve them. Let's put them in a vase. I got this weird shaped vase. Oh, snap. And I also have some scotch tape. I'm going to tag the account I got this hack from, but first I'll put tape going one way. Oh, and don't forget to fill it with water first. Oops. And then do it going the other way. Boop. Now just cut your flowers to fit the size of the vase and stick them in. Filling the middle first. I'm going to add a few pieces of baby's breath. And that is it. Wow. Oh my gosh, these are probably going to die soon. I need to put more water in them. Also, I got the vase at Michael's in case anyone wanted to know. And hopefully these last till Valentine's Day. <sighs> what does this mean for me? Yo, I got a package from TikTok. What? Not just one, but two. I don't even know what this could be. These are my countertops. There are my dirty dishes. And there's the box. It's just like sitting on the... I make food here. I'm just so grateful. Thank you. We're going to open the first box. I cut the tape off. So let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. Boo's going to help me open it as our day 12 of days left with Boo. Oh my, don't eat that. First thing in here is a tie-dye kit. I have the perfect idea for this. Next we have oh, Yeezys. What? Oh, my knees are ashy. Okay, I need to know what's in here. Oh my. Yay, yay, yay. It's a cup. It's a for you cup. I use this hashtag way too much. Aw, be well entry A. I know they're just colored pencils, but that's just so cute. There are so many things. Let's do this one next. What? Go take out part two. It's already up. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Yo, what up? White Fox sent me $1,500 worth of clothes. Um, I'm gonna cry. The best part is I got to choose every single piece, so I'm gonna show you my favorite outfits. I'm so excited. First, this really cute sweat set in the color gray. It's so cute. And it's really soft. I got another color. I can't decide which one I like more. Like, this green is everything. Okay, keep these two in mind for just a second. I'm going to Florida, so which one of these should be my airport thing? Before you decide, look at the back of this one. See what I'm saying? What do I do? I also got this really pretty bodysuit, and it's all the way open in the back. <laughs> The last thing I want to show you are these bike shorts and shirt. I just want summer to be here. It's like 12 degrees outside, so I'm going to have to wait on these. But for the summertime, you will see me in this. There's still so much more. They also gave me a really cute code. It's Honey TikTok. I'm doing a try-on haul of everything I got on my YouTube channel. That's a thank you to White Fox for sending me these. I'm so excited to wear everything I could cry. Yo, what up? My family coming in an hour. So I'm going to try and make a mini snack bar. I have to hurry. First, I'm filling the bowl. This one's going to have strawberry cream marshmallows. I have to tell you guys why my family is coming. It's really exciting. Hershey's Kisses. These are so cute. I was nominated for Lifestyle Influencer of the Year. They're announcing the winners today. I don't think I'll win, but who knows? I just wanted to celebrate that I was even nominated. That in itself is crazy, so thank you guys so much. This one's going to have mini eggs. I got mini tongues for these two, but this one broke, so I'll just use a scoop. Putting everything on my island. Putting all this stuff on the stand popcorn in the middle strawberry soda i don't know so i did not end up winning but i'm so grateful that i was even nominated like that was insane but anyway, i don't even have words for it but i just want to thank you guys for even putting me in that category like being put amongst five other uh, incredible people that is insane so thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next video i got a package from tiktok it says refrigerate upon arrival but it's pretty cold so i'm just gonna open it and it says open immediately so technically i'm following instructions oh my god oh my god i think it's a cake i think it's a freaking i've never been sent a cake before Oh, it's heavy. Okay, let oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do I do? Hold on. I've never seen a cake this tall. It says the bigger the slice, the bigger the surprise. So I have a butter knife because I didn't do dishes and we're gonna cut those for I got one side. Let's do the other side. Okay. Here we go. Oh, so oh whoa! <gasps> what? So cool. I've never seen a cake like this in real life and it's literally in my kitchen. Um, wow. Cool. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year. 2022, I'm coming. Yo, what up? I'm going to try and make a That Girl Igloo. I don't know how it's still snowing in April, but look at this. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, so first I'm building the base. I've never done this before. Maybe I should look it up. It's going good so far. Okay, I think I'm giving up. Here. I'm going to try and make a giant snowball. This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to make my niece push it around. Just kidding, she's making me push it. Taking a break and going upstairs. Just got to clear. <laughs> the last one. Okay, we made it. We're on top of the pool. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta be this big. This looks good. Oh! <laughs> Get my hair. 
I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without a body skincare routine, so let's plan one out. This is everything I'm going to use. First step, dry brushing. I always brush towards the heart, and this is the best for exfoliating. Next step, a body wash that has skincare ingredients in it, like collagen and vitamin B3 complex. My favorite is Olay's Collagen Body Wash. It always makes my skin feeling super soft and hydrated, and it smells good. Body conditioner. Time for lotion. Ole now has a matching collagen body lotion that includes all the same skincare ingredients as the body wash. Since using it, my skin is visibly firmer and more radiant and it smells amazing. There's no greasy residue, which is amazing. I just feel fresh after using it. And that's it. It's a pretty simple routine since these products already have amazing skincare ingredients in them. I'm gonna make a That Girl Car Essentials kit. Hairbrush, hair ties, first aid kit, anti frizz hair wipes, waxing strips, you never know. Lip balm, look how cute this is on my lotion, bobby pins, sunscreen, toothbrush, floss, and toothpaste, wrinkle releaser, hand sanitizer, lint roller, flashlight, tahin, leg, extra ball for hazel, and extra poop bags, some cliff bars, a mini gorilla pod, charger, and an empty lipstick bottle with cash in it just for emergencies, a pen, and that's pretty much yo it up. I lost the paint to my spackle, so I need to get more, but they're closed. They open in six hours. So instead of sleeping, I'm gonna try and unpack my filming room. First, I'm building my makeup drawers. I'm almost done with this one. Not bad. Now I'm gonna put the drawers in. Also, it's morning now. I'm gonna go get the paint. I got the paint and I'm putting these on top of the boxes so I can get the edges. Here goes nothing. I just hope I don't make a giant mess. Almost done. I'm so excited. These are so cute. I really, I was worried for a second. It turned out so cute. I can't wait to hang them up. I keep decorating my room when I wake up, but I'm so tired. Good night. Yo, what up? I'm getting my nails done because that thing destroyed them. Worth it though. It's beautiful. I'm gonna show them this. I put it together myself. Thank you. Girls don't cry and the sad face. So cute. Here's a little before action. The other side. My nail tech is gone till March. I'm going to a complete stranger. Same place though. Cross your fingers for me. I love them. Do you want to see it? Probably my favorite nails. It says girls don't cry. I might cry over these. Other side. These are the longest nails I've ever had, too. <laughs> I love them. Please do not do this at home. Let me do it for you. Okay. Plugged in. No, it's stuck in my head. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Putting some parchment paper down, and I'm going to use tweezers so I don't burn myself. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. Putting another piece on top, and going to close it. Oh, my God. Ew, it stinks, but that's what it looks like. I'm holding it like this until it cools down. Hey, did I do it? <gasps> okay. I tried to put it on, and it broke. Hold on. Let me make another one. I'm going to try to do my name. I did it, but they're so easy to break. Watch. Whoops. Um, very creative, though. So I saw these at Target and they reminded me of a very small inconvenience that I have every time I do my makeup. Let me just show you. So they're these things and they stick onto your mirror. Let me just clean the mirror really quick. They're really weird. There's no adhesive on them, but they stick just like that. Like what? This is how I have mine set up. I'm going to reenact what happens to me all the time. Disregard the fact that these are all dirty. So I go in and I use a makeup brush. It's clean. I use it. It's dirty. Put it back. I end up having to wash all of them at the end of the week because I can't remember which ones are clean or dirty, especially the darker ones. Now when I'm done using them, the dirty ones will have their own spot. I'm using the smaller ones to hold beauty blenders. And when you're done washing the brushes, boom, you hang them to dry. It gets better. This thing holds your beauty blender when you're not using it. Wow. It's like a whole system. Like, hold on, let me back up. Like, that's cute. It's the little things I do at 3 a.m. Good night. <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm in a hurry, but I'm going to try and decorate before I hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Starting with the cake, I'm just scraping this off. Same with this one. I didn't have time to bake a cake. Put buttercream in a bowl, and now I'm adding food coloring. Now I'm going to spread it on the cake. I don't know what I'm doing. Put these red sprinkles all over. I already messed up. Fine. Everything's fine. We're just going to go fast. This is so cute. Now I'm going to carefully add white glitter on top. I'm doing one more cake, and it's going to have these sprinkles. Pink border. And I'm using fondant for the eyes and mouth. Can't believe I just pulled that off. These are so cute, especially this one. Anyways, it's in my mom's house. This is what we have so far. I'll be here till 3 a.m., so I brought some snacks. This one's going to have MMs. Okay. That was so loud. This one's going to have different types of chips. Now John's gonna help me put the numbers on the cake. There we go. To go down. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Grab a bowl, add in one cup of flour, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. Can you chew with your mouth closed, please? Set that aside, grab a grater, and a block of cheddar. Yay! Use the side that looks like this. This is gonna look like a lot, but if you were to squish it all together, it would be able to fit in this one cup. Add in your one cup of cheddar, and mix it. Now add in four tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of water. Now mix that all together. It's easier if you use your clean hands. If it's still crumbly like this, add more water. When you're done, it should look like a ball of Play-Doh. Preheat your oven to 375. 
Line a pan with parchment paper. Roll out your dough. You're gonna want it pretty thin. Frequently push in your edges so you can avoid the cracks. Carefully transfer that over to your pan. With whatever you have, I was lucky to have this, cut out little squares. And then, I think you already know where this is going, poke little holes into that. Bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let them cool for about five to 10 minutes, and now you know how to make homemade Cheez-Its or cheese crackers. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Besides the thickness, they literally taste like a cheese. Ah! Grab some strawberries, wash them, grab a small spoon, take your spoon and cut into the strawberry, but not all the way, and pull out. Do this until you make your way around the whole thing. Don't mind my nails, by the way. Now that you have your first layer, start higher up and make a second layer. Once it looks like this, you can either leave the top like that or cut it in half. Now grab a skewer and poke it into the bottom of the strawberry. Put a whole bunch in a vase, and now you know how to make a strawberry rose bouquet. Every Mother's Day, I like to make my mom a DIY gift basket because she loves anything DIY. I'm doing a Mother's Day series. You can see how I make and what my mom's basket ends up looking like this year. So hopefully you can pull some inspiration. I have to try this. Grab some Oreos. You'll need about 27. Put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them. I've been through a lot the last few days. Set that aside. Grab a pot. Pour in one bag of white chocolate chips and a can of sweetened condensed milk. Put that on the stove on medium heat. Constantly stir it until it's melted. Take it off the heat and add in your Oreos. Mix it all together and then pour it into a baking dish and flatten it out. Um, oh my god. I forgot the parchment paper. If you want, you can add extra Oreo pieces to the top. Leave it in your fridge for a few hours and I'll see you in I'm just kidding. There's not going to be a part two. Yes, it's been a few hours. Now I got to cut it into squares. Now you know how to make Oreo fudge. Let's try it. <laughs> how do you guys do that? Okay, here we go. Wow, it's really good and it's really chewy. I didn't, I thought it was gonna be hard as a rock. Hi guys, so I just got a package from the American Influencer Awards and how to break it out. This is so crazy. I was nominated for Lifestyle Influencer of the Year for 2022. I just wanted to come on here and thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you and <laughs> just freaking out, I don't even know how to like make words right now. Voting ends August 31st. You can vote every single day and I would truly appreciate your vote. I keep doing this just cause I'm just so excited. I just want to jump around. Ah! Thank you so much. I love you. Um, Link will be in my bio. I'll be in the lifestyle category. Just scroll all the way down and don't forget to vote for all your favorite creators too. Okay, love you. I'm waiting for the paint to dry and I'm so bored. So I'm gonna read some of these cards. Going all out and using one of these thingies. Okay, there's my foot. What do we have? Okay. When your class returns from gym and they smell like onions, bro, there's always that one kid that's smelling like B.O. Oh, this is like my worst nightmare. When you can't figure out who keeps carving. <laughs> carving corn. <laughs> when a kid flicks a booger at you and you find it in your hair four hours later. Okay, one more. This is fine. When you accidentally stick your hand in the gum under the desk, this is fine. It is not fine. This has happened to me so many times as a student. The room reveal will be uploaded tomorrow. I can't wait. Yo, what up? I just woke up. Broke off all my nails last night, so I'm getting them done tomorrow. Can't decide what I want, so I'm gonna let the top comment choose for me. I forgot I bought these, so let's open them because I'm freaking bored. I'm looking for Lunchables and Capri Sun if they have. Okay, that's a shopping cart. What is this? Not a Lunchable. Nope. No, but the baby bell is really cute. I refuse to do a part two. Speed round. No. Nope. 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 Kool-Aid. That's close enough. Come on, Lunchable. How many times am I gonna get this one? Nope. No. This is my last one. Come on, I just want a little Lunchable. Nope. Things are not looking <laughs> Okay, well, all that for nothing. Well, Kool-Aid. My sister is really crafty, so I'm gonna give them to her and see what she made. Yo, what up? I'm trying this again. This time I'm doing a Halloween theme. I'm putting tape around the edges so the glitter doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna try and do a green and black ombre, so wish me luck. First layer done, now I'm mixing green and black. I'm on the last layer, this looks so cool. I just discovered something, so if you go like this, it makes these little swirls. Oh my god. I wanna seal them at the same time, so I'm working on the orange one now. I'm so excited. To seal the hole, I'm using cabinet bumpers. I have my nail lamp, now I'm pouring UV resin on the top, like that, kind of. It says to leave it on for 60 seconds, so I'm just gonna lay it on the top, like that, and kind of balance it, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, dude. They're so cute. Yo, what up? My bag is so full, I can't even close it. So I'm gonna try and clean it out. No, it looks like a lot, but it's all necessary. Except for the receipts, the french fries, and some other things. First, I'm folding the receipts and putting them in here. I'm getting rid of things I don't need. This is my new bag, by the way. It's so cute. I'm gonna try not to treat it like a personal trash can this time. Now I'm gonna stock it. First little pocket's gonna hold my lucky bracelet. The front one's gonna hold makeup I can't go anywhere without. Like this lip plumper, you'll never catch me without it. At least for now. Next, a lip gloss. Blush, this one's my favorite. Mascara. I just found out what eye brightener is and now I can't leave the house without it. Lastly, this mirror that says you look good.
Time for the bigger pocket. This one's gonna hold my inhaler because if you didn't know, I have asthma. Wallet, this one's falling apart. I need a new one. Whatever perfume I'm feeling, this one, oh my god, if you know, you know, it's so good. Running out of time. Lotion. Hand sanitizer, this one only. Cavities. AirPods. And Lysol, you just never know. And that's it. I'm gonna try and make an aesthetic hot chocolate bar again. First, I'm filling the sprinkles. This one's gonna be blue with white snowflakes. Peppermint. Marshmallow. Christmas. I don't know. S'mores. Random blue one I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put them here. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna fill the small containers. First one's gonna have polar bear marshmallows, gingerbread men, peppermint hot chocolate toppers, and these really cute snowman ones. These are gonna go on top. Now I'm gonna fill the bigger ones. Look what I found. I'm so excited to try these. Hot chocolate powder. Did not go as planned. Pretzels. Lastly, hot chocolate stirs. Now I'm just labeling everything. And that's it. It's so cute. Next I'm setting up my glow spa, but it's gonna be Christmas themed. Yo, what up? I'm gonna use my glow spa one last time before I pack it and show you my shave routine. I'm gonna miss this so much, but the new one's gonna be a lot better. Let's do watermelon. First, I exfoliate using any tree hub body scrub. This one's watermelon. It smells so good. I have really dry skin, and this scrub does the best job at removing it, so I just take some on this glove and do circle motions. And I love how glowy and soft I feel after using it. Now I'm going to use Tree Hut's Watermelon Shave Oil. Love this one because it doesn't irritate my skin while I shave. I do like two or three pumps. I always get the closest shave, and it's really hydrating. So I'm in here. Lastly, I use the Watermelon Whipped Shea Butter. Mm, smells so good. Super hydrating, lightweight, and not greasy, which I love. And that's it. Time to pack it up. I can't wait to show you my new glow spot. Okay, bye. Yo, what up? So I... <laughs> went on Amazon. So I was scrolling through all the dumb stuff I was gonna buy and I came across a honeycomb. I've never tried one before and I wanted to try one and we're gonna do that today. It's like a sticky part around it. Oh, 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 we're gonna put it in the plate. Oh yeah. Just look at this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, here we go. out of 10 you guys we're going again this is so crazy that bees made this it's like bees i'm gonna reset my whole house well i'm gonna try i'm not leaving this up till march this time um oops got a christmas tree bucket yay it's kind of sad it's all empty and cold now okay now i'm gonna vacuum Gonna throw things. Got these really cute cloud pillows for my couch. I love them. And that's my living room. I didn't think it was gonna take me this long. I still have. I could just forget this is all here. Next, I'm decluttering and deep cleaning my room. I will see you in part 5000. I'm gonna try a that girl morning routine. First, I'm making my bed. Can we appreciate how aesthetic this looks by the way? You like? Time to hydrate. Now I'm brushing my teeth. I like to work out at night, but I guess this makes sense. Here we go. Oh, time to shower. This is hard. I need more time. Lotion? Why does my leg look like a corn dog? I'm filming a beauty room tour for my YouTube channel, and I'm barely going to be in the video, so I'm wearing comfy clothes. I usually don't eat breakfast. <laughs> what are you doing? I made eggs, toast, honey, and banana. Did you hear that? It sounds like that girl's about to eat her breakfast. Now I'm going to do my skincare. Wash and tone. Hyaluronic acid and eye cream. Moisturize and SPF. I'm almost out. Now I'm going to plan out my day. Did it. Next step, that girl nail. I'm gonna try to become that girl. Starting with my fridge, it's giving expiration date. Um, I'm gonna take everything out so I can deep clean Put most of it in the freezer because it's probably gonna take me a few hours. Pretty sure I can take the shelves out. On my way. Okay, it's really clean now. It's time to fill it back up. I got an egg container. I feel so fancy. This is so extra. Okay, in this container, I'm doing strawberries and raspberries. This one will have blackberries and blueberries. This is so pretty. Am I on Pinterest? I can a whole bag of cherries in one day so it's setting its own container so i can use it as a plate and grappas these are going on the middle shelf i cut up some watermelon so i'm putting it in this container same thing with pineapple this one's gonna have cut up vegetables to snack on got this crisper container thing i don't really know what it does but i'm putting my greens in it oh my gosh i didn't realize it was gonna take this much work to become that girl this is just the fridge like, i wasn't ready look how aesthetically pleasing this is wow <laughs> whose fridge is this not mine it's that girl's it's so beautiful now i'm gonna put the juices in separate i'm just kidding <laughs> I'm not doing that. Putting the cheese and butter here. Coffee and cream are going on this shelf. This stuff is so good, by the way. It tastes like a banana milkshake. Sauces, Capri Suns will go here because I'm addicted. Almost done. After six hours, this is what it looks like. And I love it so much. This is my favorite part. There's so much space. It looks like I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't. Next step, redecorating my bed. I'm still trying to become that girl, so I'm starting a bullet journal. I'm going to decorate the outside first with these stickers I made. 
Hold on, wait a minute. That is so cute. I feel like I need more though. I have a really good idea for the first page. Also, I almost paid $25 for a six pack of these markers when I found this 120 pack for 36 on Amazon, please. It'll all be on my Amazon page in my bio. Skipped a few pages for the index. I'll do that later. I've always wanted a follower tracker. I'm adding in some cow print. Not sure if it's going to look good, but gosh, I messed it up. I don't even have white out. Anyways, I hit 6.2 today. Thank you guys. So we get to fill that in together. Kind of ugly, but I'll get better. I have a lot more pages I want to fill out so I can do a part two or I can move on to the next that girl video let me know. I'm still trying to become that girl and i can't be that girl with dirty makeup brushes so let's clean and organize them I got some new makeup brush holders and they just make sense they have a lid yay no more dust okay let's go wash my nasty makeup brushes i'm gonna use this because i can't find my baby shampoo and i'm pouring it into this bowl it's been two hours i'm halfway done and i'm on the floor <laughs> yay i'm done i'm gonna let those dry i'm gonna use my old beads because the new ones look kind of yellow Everything is pretty much dry, and I organized it by color. I'm doing smaller brushes on that side and bigger ones over here. I'm hoping I don't need a third one. Oh my, I've never, what? <laughs> these are so nice. Let me close the lid. Like, whose makeup brushes are these? They're that girl's. I'm going to take a that girl bath. Bath boom, but it smells like banana. Some Epsom salt, and can we appreciate how aesthetic this looks? While that fills up, I'm going to get everything I need to put on the tray. I just decided on a watermelon theme. This mask for my face, eyes, lips. I'll do this bath bomb. This is so pretty. Can't forget to hydrate. I'm using dried raspberries and blueberries. A book. Almost done, just need a candle. I almost forgot these little watermelons for your eyes. That's pretty much it. This is so aesthetic. Even the freaking water. Oh my gosh, look at the- This is so bad. I'm gonna try to become that girl, but first, I need to clean and restock this room, so let's do that. I want to keep these up forever, but- <laughs> First, I'm picking up all the trash. I'm gonna make two piles for makeup and skincare. Yay, now let's put it away. Now I'm going to organize my drawers and restock. Now I'm just going to wipe everything down. I can't remember the last time I cleaned this mirror. It's pretty disgusting up here. I'm just trying to watch Love Island and I'm over here cleaning my room. Like... <laughs> gosh that took me all day this weekend i'm doing a tour of this room so if you want to see that and help me get to 100,000 subscribers go subscribe to my youtube channel okay i'm gonna try to become that girl but i need cuppetting to do so so we have torture white or sage green i have a dog and i eat in bed most weekends cry mascara we're gonna go see it. my style is next because i need help i'm also getting this pillow because i have one on my couch and it's really comfy white pillowcases lunch bowls and y'all already know i'm taking two of these I hate going outside. Can't be that girl without a cute candle, so we're at Home Goods. Let's see if you have psychic abilities. <gasps> I think I'm gonna do two of these. I'm just kidding. I'm back. This is my situation. It's giving echo, it's giving live, laugh, love, it's giving monotone. <laughs> I'm gonna paint new pictures for my room tomorrow, but for now. Hey, gleamy. Oh. <laughs> white sheets, white duvet cover. Ow. I made an Now I'm throwing the pillows on and adding the butts. Look at this masterpiece. Tell me why this was at the back of the shelf. Like, we don't get enough attention as it is. Got these glow bar things from the checkout lines. Let's see if they work. Wait, what? $10 at home goods. It's so worth it. Almost done just adding a laptop. Notepads and pens because that girl is productive. Shiba Inu. Yay, I'm done. I'll figure out the wall situation later. But yay, I'm done. This is what it looks like during the day. And night. It's so cute. <laughs> like, I'm just kidding. Next step, an aesthetic nighttime routine. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without a sick day routine, so let's plan one out. I'm going to start by setting up my nightstands. This kind of looks like a lava lake. Found this cute jar. I'm filling it with honey sticks and cough drops. Can't forget the normal water. That side's done. Now I'm gonna fill my humidifier on this side. This jar is gonna be for a whole bunch of random stuff like an eye mask, hair tie, chapstick, my inhaler, moisturizer, and this hair clip. Tissue and a trash can. Now that everything is set up, I'm gonna take a bath and shower. I'm just making some tea and I cut up some oranges for a snack. Okay, finally. Now I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I brought this table up for my laptop and write down video ideas. Just put this in the microwave. It's so nice. That's basically it. I don't know what else people do when they're sick, but also if you're wondering where anything is from, I put it all on my Amazon except this. This is from Urban Outfitter. Anyways, if you're feeling sick, I hope you feel better. Love. 
I'm still trying to become that girl, so I bought a gym bag. Let's fill it. I don't even go to the gym. I work out at home. That's my drawer. But oh, just a water bottle. It's my favorite color right now. A squat band. This works really well. Waist trimmer. This jump rope. Found this really cute case. In here, I'm keeping smaller things like tampons, chapstick, hair ties. It's gonna go in the front pocket. Booty bands. Sweat towel. You know. Headband that you tuck. Deodorant. Hairbrush. I found another pocket, by the way. There's a side pocket, and I'm putting hand sanitizer in here. Resistance band. Ankle weights, maybe. I don't know. And AirPods. And a tripod. And a protein bar. Dry shampoo. A change of clothes. I'm just kidding. Well, actually, I don't know. Okay, I think that's yo it up. I'm gonna try to make an aesthetic hot chocolate bar. <laughs> just not understanding how I love how it's 11 at night now. First, I'm putting up LED lights. They make everything look good. I'm gonna use this laptop stand. Now I'm gonna fill the pop jars. First one's gonna have these cute marshmallow toppers. They melt into your hot chocolate. It's so good. Snowman ones too. Next, hot chocolate stirs. I didn't even know this was a thing. I also got them in spoon for hot chocolate bombs. I'm trying to make a back and forth pattern so it looks better. And these, not sure what they are, but they're really good. These are going in the back. I found Starbucks hot chocolate powder at Home Goods. And I'm gonna put them in these jars. I don't have a funnel, so I'm hoping that this works. I'm using a white chalk marker to label them. Toffee bits, crushed candy cane, and more marshmallows. What do we think? I just made it. This was a 3 a.m. purchase, but they'll be on my Amazon page. I'm adding this thing I made and some cow straws, you know? Ooh, why do I feel like crying right now? But <laughs> it's just a hot chocolate bar. It's so cute. Since I'm trying to become that girl, I'm gonna turn Hazel into that dog. Starting with her own closet. This route is going between that and the wall. I got these clips for her bandanas. Just wait, ready? Full body beer, like. I don't have any carpet, so she's obsessed with rugs, so I got her this one. This is gonna be her dresser. It's so cute. I'm putting her backpack and collar on top. Treats behind the backpack. I had to get a good thumbnail. Her socks go in this drawer. Did you just steal one? Her bows, scarf, and hat. More collars. And pajamas. I bought this vine, and I'm trying to shape it into a bow. Okay, we're going with the heart instead. Almost done, just adding this glow bar. And now I'm gonna hang up her clothes. Do you like it? It's so cute. Oh my gosh. She loves the rug. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and turn my new bathroom into a Christmas glow spot. It's time! That's when I stopped the video. Anyways, pay. First, I'm painting my shower doors. Hopefully, this comes off in a month. Just kidding, it will because TikTok told me it would. <laughs> Help. Okay, what do you guys think? I try to make it look like snow in a window. I also got a mini Christmas tree for the bathroom. Let's decorate it. Please enjoy this ASMR bathroom there. Simple but so cute. Time for the lights. Okay, ready? The best thing about these lights? They change color. Can't decide. Tree skirt? No tree skirt. They both look good. Found this mini star. I don't know if it ruins it though. Star? No star. Yeah, no star. Now I'm putting rope lights above my mirror. Changing out the soap. Okay, so far so good. Next I'm working on my shower and dealing with this closet. Scene one part two. I'm gonna reset my whole bathroom while I'm gonna try. I'm turning it into a glow spot. First I'm taking everything out. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I wasn't ready for this bucket. <laughs> new year, new me. Right? Look at this. <laughs> Stop. Now it's time for the aesthetic part of the video. It is so echoey in here. Okay, this spray is broken. I'm trying to make this look aesthetic, but it's not working out. That took me 10 hours. That is not okay. But at least I'm done. Kind of. I still have the decorate. Got a new shower head, by the way. This is not it. This one I'm so excited because it has missed. But anyways, this is everything I'm going to decorate with. So I'll see you in part two. You guys really wanted to see me use my DIY hot chocolate station. So here we go. Let's grab a coaster. Put that back. Grab a cup. Beep boop. Pouring in some 2%. Let's do <laughs> mint truffle. Into the microwave. <laughs> Wow, you've been practicing your whole life. Okay, hi dishes, we are ready for the powder. We'll do one scoop in there. The energy is not here today. Grabbing a stirring stick and stirring. I'm adding one of these cookie thingies. Marshmallows, more marshmallows. A truffle, these ones are the best. And lastly, Halloween Oreos. And that's it. Well, I'm gonna go watch some scary movies. Good night, don't let the kukui bite. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make Valentine's Day themed mystery gift bags for my sister and niece, so yeah. Each bag has a theme, so I'm starting with self-care. I got them both strawberry sugar scrub, it's my new favorite, it smells so good. Face mask, this lip care set, and bath bombs. Next bag is DIY themed, got them cake pop kits, they're so cute. This is random, but I got my mom a grow your own strawberry patch kit, I'm excited. Next bag is candy, please enjoy this ASMR. Just kidding, that was very bad. It is 2 a.m. though. The next bag is something cute, so I found a teddy bear holding a marshmallow on a stick. Forget the s'mores kit. That's cute. And then this donut and milk. I think that's milk. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. Now I'm gonna put heart-shaped candy boxes in the big bag. Another donut plush. And a chocolate bar. It's really soft. And lastly, for my niece, I got a color-changing salt lamp, watermelon body glaze, and a daisy grow kit. For my sister, I got a journal and some Sharpies, flower grow kit, and a Fruit Loops body glaze. Now I'm adding tissue paper, red for my sister and pink for my niece. They look so good. I can't wait to see their reactions. Also, I did one through five, and they'll open up one per day till Valentine's Day. Yo, what up? I was scrolling through TikTok and this cute girl did something so amazing that blew my mind. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what she did. So you're going to need some baby oil. She used a coconut one, but I'm sure this one's fine. 
So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna take out the little dispenser thing on the top. Hello, Boo. Just eating my plant. Can I have a kiss? I love you, but this is gonna get messy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I'll take a brand new highlighter. I got this one at like Target, I think, and crush it. I'm gonna use a clean makeup brush. So here, I keep timing it wrong so I get cut off, but this is what it looks like so far. So pretty. Once that's done, grab a little paper and make a funnel so that it fits in the bottle like this. Now pour the highlighter into the bottle. Let's see if I can do this. Now you're gonna shake it, but I'm just removing the stickers off the bottle. Okay, it's all mixed together. Let's try it. We in the dark. Oh, snap, got some on my bed. Oh, <gasps> look at that. So pretty. Deep cleaning my nail cart because it's so bad right now. I'm just gonna start by taking everything off the cart. Wow, okay, the first shelf is done. Let's see how long this takes me. It's about one o'clock right now. The second shelf is done. Oh my gosh. Wow, now I'm just gonna wipe it down with the Lysol with hydrogen peroxide. This smells so good. Ew, there's so much dust. I took everything out of the bins. Now I'm gonna disinfect them with barbicide wipes. My setup is pretty much staying the same. I'm putting my most used products up top. Still keeping my nail tips and dual forms on this side. Um, wow! I forgot to mention I wiped all the little stuff with Barbicide too. I'm finally on the last shelf and it's 3 o'clock. Are you ready? Bam! Oh. My. God. Woo! Yo, what up? I'm gonna try to be that girl at Disneyland. I just had to get a bubble maker because, yeah. Next, kid drinks and snacks. This is the confetti cake shake. It's so fruity. This is the lollipop and a piece of cake. It's really good. A cookie. Cotton candy. And the blue milk. Also, it has glitter in it. It's called a cute space soda. Carnival soda fries. Not cute, but really good. Popcorn. Next, shopping. I need to find the Starbucks cup. Oh my god. This chai is so good. This is cute. Eat this. And this. I can't decide. I think I'm gonna go with Snow White. Yeah. Two of these. Popcorn. These are all gifts, by the way. I forgot to mention. I'm trying to convince myself not to get these. Mint julep. A beignet. Wrote a bunch of rides, but I forgot to film it. <laughs> I've been wanting to buy this for so long, it's basically chalk wallpaper, and I'm gonna make a chalk wall. First, I'm cleaning the wall so that it sticks better. My walls are textured, so I'm using command strips to stick poster board to the wall so that it's smooth. Just like that, and I'm leaving a little gap on the side so the wallpaper has something else to stick to. I'll try my best to film me putting this on, but with my luck, I'm probably gonna mess it up. The start of the first side is up. Past all of the mess, you can see my clock. It's 9.05. Let's see how long this takes me. What? <laughs> it's 12.40. But... I finished, and now I'm going to take some magnetic tape. I cut nine strips, now I'm sticking them to the wall. I'm taking the same tape. The scenery is divine, by the way. And I'm cutting squares like this. Oh my gosh, these are rectangles. And I'm dabbing a little bit of crazy glue on it. And then you just lay the marker right on top. I wanted to make sure these were secure, okay? That way, I can do this. Can you imagine what it's going to look like with all of them there? Exquisite! It is now three in the morning. I talk too much and get distracted. So I will see you in part two because I'm going to bed. Part two, I gotta finish putting these on. That took forever. They're on now, let's put them up. A lot of you said I should store these horizontally, which makes sense, so I'll just fix them later and then I'll update you on my Instagram or something. This is the last one, I'm so excited. <gasps> wow, it's not perfect, but I'm just happy I came out decent. I'm starting to draw on it and I've already messed up. These markers are not the best, but this is my fifth time doing this, so it is what it is. I'm also making a calendar, which is the main reason why I wanted a chalkboard and I think it looks really cute so far. Yay! I went a little overboard with all the colors because I was really excited about them, but I love this thing so much and I think I'm going to redo it. But for now, this looks great and I can't wait to fill it out. Yo, what up? I'm going to try to make a coffee candle. I don't know what I'm doing, but I've been winging it my whole life and it's gotten me this far. So that's what I'm going to do. First, I'm making the caramel drizzle, so I'm melting some wax for that. I'm heating up the jar and Hazel's going crazy. Now I'm just adding in a few drops of this candle wax dye and a few drops of this caramel latte scent. I'm waiting for this to cool down a little bit and my plan is to put it in this piping bag. <laughs> It worked! It actually worked! I'm using clear gel wax as my ice. Now I'm making the coffee. Here goes nothing. I'm trying to make a creamy brown color. I'm so excited. My place is going to smell like coffee all the time. I'm so scared. I don't want to mess this up. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. Now let's make the whipped cream. I broke up a whole bunch of tea light candles and I'm going to melt them in the microwave. Now I'm just whisking it and then I'm going to put it in this piping bag. Okay, it kind of looks like whipped cream. Oh my god. Wow, it looks so real. Ah, it smells so good. It's so cute. It's Hazel's birthday and she's one years old now. <laughs> She's grown up. Let's make her some treats. Grab about a cup of watermelon, put it in a blender, and then add two scoops of plain yogurt. And we're blending. 
Once it looks like this, grab some molds and pour it. I'm just using a measuring spoon. Aren't these molds so cute? For the next treat, all you need is one or two strawberries. Smash them with a fork and then put them in the mold, but don't fill it all the way. Fill the rest of it up with plain yogurt. Now put them in the freezer for a few hours. I also got her this gift and I put a little bow on it. One more gift I have to pick up, but her reaction to everything deserves a video on its own, so I'll see you later today. Grab a bowl, pour some chocolate into the bowl, melt the chocolate in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds. Your chocolate should look like this when you're done, and I got different colors from Amazon. Yay. Grab your chocolate and place it into the mold. You're going to spread it around the walls. Also, you can use whatever molds. I'm using pumpkins, acorns, and cubes. Once the molds are filled, stick them in your fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, grab a baking pan and fill it with liners. They're done! Once you've taken them out of the molds, put them in your pan. That is just so cute. Fill in the bottom half with hot chocolate powder and top them off with marshmallows. Grab the other half and place it on a warm pan to melt the edges. Once the edges are melted, place them on top just like that. Put them back into the fridge for about five more minutes. Take them out and that's it. Now you know how to make hot chocolate bombs. There's the acorn, the red pumpkin. Okay, let's just try them. Here's my warm cup of milk. I've decided we're going with blue acorn. Hope this opens in time. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's bubbling. <gasps> that is so cool. Yay. And it's blue. 